Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. So let's switch into Let's Chat. Welcome, Murphy. Welcome, Imperameter. So... I was gonna jump straight into the gameplay, but as I found out, there was an update since we last played. I don't know how much this will impact our decisions. So let's go ahead and, uh, I guess review the patch notes together. Sorry if it cuts off a little bit on this side. Let me move this over a little bit. It's good enough. So, uh, I think we last played on 1111. We're on 111.5. I'm just scrolling to the patch note section. Text corrections. I think we saw a few of those in the other game. Unfortunately, I don't think a lot of those we could go revisit since some of those were lore things. Deck builder UI for controllers. We made adjustments to UI interactability in the deck builder to improve the experience. Okay, I don't know what this means. I, I've had problems with this since the beginning. Welcome, Kirk. I, I, every single time, chat, we have gone through and I have gone to make a deck, there is a, or we go to do the quest selection. This has always annoyed me. I don't know what this means. Map selection for controllers. We use the controller. We'll now have a dungeon pre-selected. Obviously, but... Oh, honestly, I, I never really noticed that... I, I'm assuming that's fine. Apparently, there's a secret character. Spoilers. I don't know if that really impacts me at all. We haven't even seen what it originally looks like. Um... I don't think we have the Heavenly Slip Curio, so I don't think that applies to us either. Spoilers! I guess we're fighting our Dark Link selves at some point. Training Hand now features a smoother animation for Trigger Tile Disappearing by the player. Okay. Oh, so the thermostat originally did not properly target. I, I think that was like one of the only things I didn't use under Gordon. I just didn't really care about it at all. I don't think that makes... The crazy rooster is now less loud. I don't know what that means. Some VX has small additions to help it communicate their effects. I don't know what that means. Changes intended for 1.1. Link now is the intended range, forming a 5x5 box without corners instead of a diamond shape. I don't, I don't know if that makes a big difference, honestly. I think Blink is still fine. Blooming and Earthbind's root area effect increased from 5x5 to 7x7. Man! Where was this where we were doing the root challenge? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, they did the same thing to the stun challenge. Remember remember the, the stun horn? I was complaining how useless it was because it only lasted for one turn. The previous patch, they made it... They increased it to, I think, 7x7. Seven seven. So, I think now it matches the horn. And now they made it match the other one, which is nice. Oops. I didn't mean to click off there. Get no love for Raider. I don't know. Uh, I feel... I don't know how I feel about that. Heroic Sand cannot be cast on both the player and any monster. Oh, to, like, protect them for cha enduring challenges. Okay. I, I kind of... I understand. That's kind of interesting. Fun rates of special shrines have been increased. I'm going to be honest with you, chat. We barely saw any special shrines in the last couple of episodes. We had, like, map reveal... That's it. I, I don't remember finding another one in the last couple of sessions. We saw at one point there was the one that led you to the hidden room. We found that literally once in like 40 dungeon runs. So I don't know what the spawn rate was before, but I honestly only remember the either the trade your item one or the map reveal. If there's other ones beside the one that I just mentioned with the treasure room, I think I legitimately have not seen them still. Ancient Effigy will now just stunning action based on the player's HP and the number of petrified statues in the room. Alright, so there's the pause brush at some point. I guess very light spoilers there. Venture Shadow, simple rework. Again, this doesn't mean anything to me. I don't know if we even fought one. 
Conditional trade, a new trigger has been added. All additional traits have... All addition, conditional trigger cards have this trait, making them easier to identify in-game. Okay. Starter gums now properly don't... Tra oh, there we go. Here it is. There's, there's the Traveler nerf. We did it. We nerfed Traveler. We finally did it. I, I have been saying since the beginning that this item literally invalidated, like, every other item in the game. I, I don't think... I, I don't think I've said it any less than 12 times in our playthrough that it is really stupid that just walking around gives you the ra- not the Raider card, gives you the Traveler card. This item is stupid. I'm glad that they removed this because it was like, it's supposed to be like whenever you dash, zip, uh, jump, or teleport, right? It gives you the thing, but it says an also move, but then like just walking builds like all the meter, so it was just guaranteed every room. And I would trigger this multiple times, even without n using any Traveler cards, which made it so unfair when Traveler cards were the thing that would give you movement in the first place, and you were just guaranteed them by moving. Actually, th this needed to happen. I really do feel like that was one of the most powerful curios in the game. Intended for the 1-1 update, but it was actually reverted in the game update process. Six is now intended. Additionally, compensation eight charge has been changed from three out of three to two out of two, ensuring it remains useful. I mean, it's still pretty much automatic with every single thing that you do. So that means it's always going to activate on bomb jump. It's always going to activate basically on dash, is the minimum tiles you could move is two. I think effectively it doesn't really matter that much. I think it hurts some of the hybrid builds. That's fine. I don't remember any of these. But apparently... Every single one of them... Got buffed, except for Planner Prism. I don't think this will really change how I play the game, to be honest. But maybe that'll be more useful. Glacial Library fight in the Glacial Library. The central pillar is now being removed and fighting on higher Miasma levels. Change was intended to be included in previous update was overlooked and been properly implemented. Honestly, I don't even remember the Glacial Library boss fight. It's been so long. Which one was that? Is that the dragon? Let's learn in real time. Yeah, I think it's the dragon. I mean... I'm gonna be honest, we've dunked that boss every time. I, I don't know what they could really do. Yeah, what is that exactly, Blue Donna? How, how appropriate of Blue Donna, actually. Player trap timing. All traps are not standard as previously not function. They just currently at the end of combat or after turn when out of combat. Uh, I don't know what that means, but we'll, we'll nod our heads. Disease new interaction. Healing while disease now removes one disease. Okay. Metal box seems to see the metal box now properly deals damage similar to crystal gems. Oh, ew. Ew, you made Magma City more annoying? Uh oh. Oh, pfft. Well, GG Raider. <laughs> GG early Raiders. They made that harder. Warnings no longer interact with the other cards. This issue was noticed. Infinish won't receive stealth or the higher maze of the spread the instant lore cancellation of the action by the crowd dealings after it. Oh! Oh! They finally- f Oh, thank you, they got rid of this. Oh, man, that was so annoying. Oh, actually, I don't know if that means they, they can't stealth them after that. This- this- this enemy was a problem. Remember when we were playing the Warden and I had no damage abilities? <laughs> This this battle was horrible with stealth. I don't know if that does everything. I wish they just removed stealth, to be honest. I'm okay with them having stealth initially. But after they've been enraged, it just got really obnoxious that they got stealth. I think this just means it delays it a turn, which makes it a bit more fair, but it's still not really that great. Fling will no longer activate triggers of the final tile of enemy movement. This prevents a potential soft lock when enemy would zero would fall into a chasm. 
interesting. I'm just seeing if there's anything... Baleful Shock can no longer target shield effects. Baleful Shot. Let's do a card lookup real quick. I think I know which one this is. So Baleful Shot was one of the... It is... Okay, it is what I was thinking it was. It's a stranger card where you discard an effect card, and you fire a shot with that effect. We we didn't really use it yet, but I vaguely recall it. I, I would agree it doesn't make sense to put shield on that, so I'm glad they just removed it. Great values of some monsters and cards have been fixed. Maybe the Sphinx Raider is no longer bugged. I don't know. Bug from where the effigy would land on our plateau that's been properly fixed. Many card previews with small specific fix. Includes issues such as projectiles from a specific distance previewing the arrow in the wrong direction. Playing on card showing entities that should not be hit receiving damage and more. Don't know if we saw a specific instance of that deck last time. Proper animations. Fix the frozen mirror where some of the prompt when casting a tile socket for 30 units. Too bad we're not using frozen meteor anymore. Sun Sensor will no longer get the player. Infinite immortality if it dies while diseased or by petrification. Oh, we missed out on that one, Cat. That's unfortunate. Most of these I don't think super matter. Yeah, like we didn't really deal with the Shadow Warrior. Player will no longer remain highlighted after the first monster active while playing with the controller. Okay, that's good. Aerialist when it comes as you when targeting a monster over any rooting tile while flying. Interesting. T too bad we never use root, so this has never come up before. We use Aerial Ace all the time. It's an amazing finisher. And I'm throwing out fish features that consistent preview similar to card throw. Okay. Treasure Hunters get accidentally hook shot to a door in Softlock. I'm glad that never happened during our challenge runs. That would have been horrible. Much of to crush the game and cast in the direction of a mirror reflecting the player into a wall. Really? That would, that would softlock the game? Damn, chat. I am really lucky we did not shine spark into a mirror. There were a couple times we played with Traveler. I am really surprised we did not softlock ourselves if that was a thing that existed. Ember Mage will no longer die before being able to deal damage when at their last hit point. Okay, that's good. It's a bug where we're able to scroll down and save two. Yes! Oh, can you please- yeah, can we- <laughs> is this finally fixed? We'll find out, chat. Remember that? I love how it says, like, saving too many decks. The number is like nine, chat. Oh, like, the word too many decks. I'm like, listen, 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 you have one of every color. And a few challenge boat decks. This is not hard to do. Too many decks. Any visual flex related worm have been fixed. Reflections should now properly target allies and stealth. Okay. Alert's ability to summon a black hole in the coast soft locks. He's now properly discarded under specific conditions during healing. Okay. So I think that's all we really need to know. So they finally nerfed Strider Glove. That's, like, the only one relevant to our playthrough. <laughs> like, the other ones are nice, chat, but I don't think they're at all relevant <laughs> to what we're gonna do today. Strider Glove actually getting nerfed is important. Anyway, let's go ahead and pause our AD music, because we don't have the, the, the Dungeon Drafters uh, OST. Let's go ahead and boot up. Although I think it's the first time on this computer, so apologies if we uh, need, like, more than one attempt to get this to load properly. Let's see, will it behave? I'm gonna guess no by the lack of an image. Right, let's hide this. All this dungeon drafters. Okay. 
somewhat promising. Let's move some stuff down. There we go. We did it. I was gonna say, here's the real test. Will it recognize that I want to use a controller here? Nope. Alright, so chat. <laughs> Already, they should really let you swap between using the keyboard and the controller if I use anything other than the controller to start it. So that's not that's not fixed. <laughs> so sorry, chat. They said they're doing all these other things. They did not fix one of the more annoying things. So we gotta reboot. I mean, I guess they're making some changes. We'll give them that. Gosh, what were we even doing last? Let's find out together. Yeah, rip, rip Strider gloves, chat. Nerfed. <laughs> right, chat? Nerf. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it really was stupid. The fact that you could just make that single out all of your energy draw and everything else. I mean, that, that pretty much needed the nerf. Um, I think everything else looks okay. Although, might remove that screen shake, to be honest with you. Use high resolution text. Uh, kind of like the old version. Alright, let's learn. No, they, they didn't do... <laughs> they didn't do the thing that I want them to do. Why? Alright chat, maybe one day. <laughs> maybe one day they'll fix this, so I don't mind it automatically being on town map. But why is it that when you like cancel out, it remembers the old setting? Like at least let it be unlocked or something by default. Like this is how it should load as controller. For clarity. Where you're able to just D-pad up and down. I'm begging you. This is such an easy change, chat. It, I just want you to be in a different menu state when you load. Defeat the Guardian of Magma City without walking and while only... While only equipping Traveler at clear runes. Okay. Without walking. I mean, I don't think this is going to impact our Strider challenge by much. So that means I can only move via cards. Okay. I guess we'll go for that challenge to get rid of the final quest there. And I guess we'll start doing Don't Be a Stranger. So, defeat the ancient effigy as the tower monster. Finish the dungeon floor, exhuming more cards from the grave rather than drawing from the library. Um, we might be able to do both in one challenge, to be honest. So I guess we'll go for the... Oh, oh, and we can walk on the way there as well. Actually, so it only impacts the boss itself. Interesting. So it specifically is beat the boss without walking. I that's I think we did that last time. I think I got cheated. I vaguely recall being annoyed we did not automatically complete this. That sounds like me. I know it's been a while since I played, but I, I remember the disappointment. Damn, seven quiet flutters. That's actually insane. Yeah, we got rid of... I love how Traveler has two different heal cards. Like, there's one clearly meant for people going for the infinite energy nonsense. Because we see if we splash a, even just, like, a hint of the Stranger, the other healing card is better. But I like even just for standard play. Like, if I'm low on health, I heal three, draw two. Damn, chat. Where's that in Raider? <laughs> Alright chat, where's where's my heal? Where's my heal and raider? It would have given them draw ability, then it would be like the risk of getting rid of grit. I feel like that would have uh they could have just called it like adrenaline rush. Oh they already called a card called adrenaline. Mm, that does make it a bit harder. Oh well. Well, at least we won't crash if we shine spark, I guess. 
Um, is there anything else that I need to do? Do we get five extra health so I can afford to tank the boss once? We have a bazillion card draw. Funny enough, we don't really need to worry too badly about card draw. The boss itself is not going to be hard. As long as we draw damage cards, it doesn't really matter. It's more important that we get AP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the, the draw seven there. Plus we have, uh, what's it called? The uh, double shot for draws. So we still have an okay amount of card draw. Yeah, we have we have so much potential card draw with precision. Do we have like good dungeon card draw? I and mean, we don't have a lot of boss card draw. But if we have like seven adrenalines, it's fine. If we happen to get low on health, then we draw two with adrenaline. We have conditional card draw, that's fine. Yeah, energy needle we could use in a pinch. Even just getting rid of energy needle gives us uh energy, which is nice. Hmm. I guess we'll play with this deck. I'm just looking at it. I think it's fine for what it is. I'm not sure I'll keep this for, like, the tower, but for the challenge, having a lot of AoEs is probably for the best. So far, frame rate seems smooth. Can't do anything here. Assuming we gotta beat all the bosses for that to unlock. I'll very briefly check in here. Is there anything even worth doing in here? Increases AP regain, but makes your body frail. I forget, is that the one that halves your HP? Take a look real quick. Oh, no, no, no. It's the one that makes you take double damage. Which also makes it kind of awkward for Raider. I guess they did that on purpose to make it awkward for Raider. Because low HP doesn't matter for Raider that much. You're like, oh no, I have 5 HP, woe is me. Uh, I guess we'll go deal with the Magma Boss. So I just can't walk at all in the Magma Boss. It'd be fun. I was walking there like I was gonna leave. Uh, sure. So they made Magma City slightly harder. I'm just making sure. That is the Magma Boss, right? Magma City, okay. I mean, I guess the menu didn't glitch, so it's technically better than it was earlier. But we'll see as we use the menu a bit later. This should be a pretty easy clear, as long as I don't accidentally move. That That's more where I'm worried. Just accidentally walking and ruining the challenge. With 15 HP, I really have nothing to worry about in terms of, like, surviving the boss. Uh... I forget if I have to... Oh, no, 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 we have to protect it. That's right. I'm like, I know there's some we have to destroy, and then I'm like, wait a minute. I see the cannon aimed at it. That's just our time limit. Uh, let's see. What do I want? Out of range. Let's use this for now. Get rid of that. End our turn. Oh, bomb jump is only one, one per ability that moves you. Oh, that is a nerf then. Oh, that's unfortunate actually. Okay, that's actually a huge nerf to Curio then. Rip. <laughs> So that's per movement ability, not total tiles moved. Oh, that that's actually a big nerf. 
Because before it was just like ultra guaranteed. Also, I did not mean to step on that. Then, I just saved that. Yep, that's why I wanted to save it. Oh well, punished hard. Uh, really in a good position to do anything here. I guess I can just get a free kill. Oh, and then I can't pounce. Oh, I can't pounce the boxes. That's right. That complicates what I was planning to do. I got punished for forgetting. That's how that worked. Rip. I mean, I should probably just use this. I guess in a way it worked out. I'm gonna do this to draw an extra card because of a monster. Not that I had to. Alright, so I could heal again. We got the lantern revealing places. Oh no, no, this is returning. Uh, no, I don't want to use that. Disregard. So we still have a lot of card draw here. I'm not too worried about anything. But yeah, that's a pretty big nerf for this challenge. So I guess this will be slightly harder. I hate that this enemy starts with the retaliate. Do this for now. You're gonna try to chuck stuff at me. I'm just gonna move over here for now. <laughs> Everything getting retaliated. How annoying. Right, chat? You gonna magnetic pull me again? Okay, you're not. Go one, two, three. I need the slime to get closer to the group. The problem I'm having right now. Might be able to do a ricochet now from here. Yes. Draw some extra cards. Quite hit him. Does how much? Three? And where are you targeting? Targeting either side of me. Hmm. And I guess I could burn an energy. Just to get in a better position. I wish Bullseye would work at point blank. So what I'm gonna do is... How far do I want to move is the question. I want to save Boomerang for later. I prefer not to use Bullseye here. I could kill with Axe Spin. I'm assuming I can also, in a pinch... I guess I could just walk backwards to make this easier. Uh, I'll get rid of Barrage. I don't feel like letting the enemy have a turn. We still have an okay amount of health. I say as we immediately fight an- Why are there so many retaliate enemies, chat? This is so painful. Literally and metaphorically. I mean, I don't think there's any reason for me to not do this. Let's draw more cards, then we can heal. Shock jump. Which is perfect. Hmm. 
Hmm. I can't kill that target if I jump there. I don't have anything that would hit this. Hmm. Leaving him alive is actually pretty annoying. Maybe I just go for the kill here. And heal. I could do three damage not too poorly. If I need to, I can walk away from the sorcerer as well. Walk up, do this, then I can adrenaline. Hit the kill. Take that. I'm gonna choose not to heal here. I prefer if we're gonna get another retaliate room, we just get that out of the way. Oh my god, every room! Come on! I miasma sucks here, chat. Holy, I hate this area. Let's never do this area again after this. Can we talk about this, chat? This is not okay. How many things have retaliate? I'll just delete you instantly. There we go. We could have used Flutter in the other room if we really wanted to. Draw some cards. When else are we going to get full bonus for Bullseye? You got 2 HP. Looks like a Bullseye you. We're doing okay here. We just need to draw another card. <clears throat> Although sadly with the Strider Glove nerf, I'm going to draw one less card. So it immediately impacted us, by the way, Chan. So if I go... I could kill the slime with an AoE, which is not a terrible idea. But where is this guy targeting? Nowhere. Let's melee you then. Okay, if he summons another version of himself, it's basically GG. executed. Uh, I might as well just take the healing. Set our cards. Yeah, big nerf to Traveler, Chad. Rip Traveler. So we regain like 8 health, which thankfully that's why we have the other rune. I was thinking about that we get some retaliate monsters. I wasn't thinking literally every rune. Like, this is so dumb. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to do anything. Why would I attack this while they're getting retaliate? We're just going to wait this out, Chun. We're not in a rush. Walk towards me, see what happens. Oh, that's right. It isn't the one we're on precision. You cast it again. My bad. Took needless damage there. So we have pounces, we have hook shots, it should be fun. Every room chat, every room, come on. This is so sad. Um, you know, I might as well as adrenaline into pounce, right? Oh, 
it's not gonna work the way I wanted to. I mean, this should still do what I needed to do. It's just not gonna be as good. Yeah, I kind of regret that. So, unless... I could kill this guy instantly. The question is more, what is this guy doing? Okay, so this will get me out of range. Okay, then, then it's okay. I can just do this. We don't have to worry about him now. This character is so annoying for me to deal with. I will say, this is proving to be quite a hard counter to us. if beta star punishes the enemy or not so we could very easily beta star this creature we know it's not going to do anything we could try to do something like this we could try to guess where it's going to spawn a creature maybe this will work Maybe this will be genius tier. Damn. Oh well, I tried. Jump into the lava and take a million damage for not to do that. Will this root me if I do this? Assuming it will. The problem is more this stupid ogre. I can't really deal with easily. Yeah, it will root me. So I could bomb jump out of here if I need to. I think I will. All he's doing is spamming come at me. This is so rude. Maximum rudeness, chat. So I could do 4 damage if I need to. Sadly, he is just out of range of me doing my multi-hitter. I'm just gonna end my turn then. I definitely do not want to melee this character if I can avoid it. Come back up and do four. I kind of wish Retaliate didn't work on projectiles, to be honest with you. From, like, a fairness perspective. I understand, like, melee moves doing it. It is just kind of unfortunate that, you know, if it was, like, a grab move, I would get it. I don't know. I, I guess if we... I guess if it didn't work on projectiles, it would be pretty bad for, uh, Warden. I just don't like the enemy having it. This is what it comes down to. Whatever. I'll saw you for one. Okay, we're just looking for the exit now. Okay, we found the exit. That's not too bad. That is a lot of annoying enemies. We do. If he says I'm gonna dip out of stream for a bit to join MechWarrior with my brother, good luck, good luck. Ooh. I am not lined up well with these targets. Let's get flight. Give ourselves the extra AP. I get rid of a whole health bar if I need to. I was gonna say, I honestly wasn't sure where that was gonna leave me. Um, could tank a bullet for the turret. That'd probably be for the best. Do something like this.
gonna teleport if I don't want to take the damage. The problem is, like, isn't this guy gonna become invincible? Oh, he's gonna gargoyle more first. Um... If I move in such a way that they all hit me, how much damage would I take? Eight? It's a little risky, but I could go for it. Oh, that only does one? Oh, okay, never mind, we're fine. So I can move if I need to. If I can get in range, I could basically burst. The problem is I didn't draw any energy cards, so we kind of low rolled on what we needed to draw. And then somehow also with the gargoyle statues placed, I still can't multi-target. That also really sucks. So you're going to teleport to one of these. You're going to teleport to that one. Um... Do I just take the damage? I guess I do just take the damage. If I want to get the bonus room. I think this is fine. Let's take the damage. I'll draw an extra card. That buys me another turn when he's invincible to do something. Right, we drew better that time. As long as I go, like, over here, buy myself another turn, you have to come towards me. How is he still not lined up with more than one object? That's actually mind blowing to me. I right, see so you're going to become in you're going to morph and then become invincible afterwards. But I have a little bit of time to kill you. So I could I jump over here. No, I don't want to do that actually. Hmm. I mean I could maybe this will make yeah, let's do this, actually. We're gonna let our turret thing take some damage this turn. We're gonna deal four. Actually, never mind. This will kill. This does four. Bye. Right. GG. I tanked for that one pillar chat. True story. Now, just don't kill myself on the explosive barrels, and we should be good. That'd be very sad. What a sad way to go if I die that way. Uh, these are healing things. I might as well take them. Just in case those the final statue could be cursed or something. Give myself a chance in the next area. Let's go ahead and reset our cards. I guess our card troll hasn't been too crazy. So I guess what I can afford to do next time is, uh... Probably just put in more energy builders. I mean, we have like 10, don't get me wrong, but probably a little more energy builders and then like another treasure hoard. Thank you. Actually, you know what? Since it seems to be behaving properly, what happens if we just go at max game speed? It seems to be behaving much more consistently. So might as well speed that up a little bit for chat. We have one healing area here. Hmm. They're sadly not lined up to Volti jump off of that. That would have been so sick. The Shine Spark does two. about what I want to do here. Hmm. This is tough. 
So if I line up with the target, I could do three damage and then shine spark through. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Because I don't want to take damage from the slime. I also need to be away from where I'm currently at. Let's just draw us another card with Curio. Yeah, with the Curio nerf, we do have... We're probably not going to get the bonus room here. I didn't draw particularly solid. That is so awkward that I cannot hit this diagonally. And then I still wouldn't line up with enough objects. That is so sad. So there's no way we could do 4 damage. We didn't draw a boomerang. If we drew a boomerang, this would be over. Good bomb jump and then land in the lava if I really want to hard commit to, to killing the other target. I don't really want to do that though. Hmm. I think we just lose the treasure room here. I, I just don't think we drew the right AoE to deal with this room. If we had, like as I said before, boomerang, or if they ever lined up with shock jump, being able to jump twice here would have been big. But the fact that I can't go where this crate is means I can't even, like, remotely line up with the other creatures, sadly. I do need to figure out what to do here, though. Do this. I could initiative strike them. It's not going to cause precision kill. Yeah, I just don't see how I could... Because I have to kill so many slimes here. Without Boomerang, I don't know how I would do this. Because they're still not in a way that I can shock jump in a useful manner. Like, the most I could do is this one, maybe. Maybe get a cheeky kill here. Oh, uh, that's not too bad, then. I guess that was kind of a fortunate split. I'm not gonna lie, that is kind of a fortunate split. So we would have been pretty shy. I could block a bullet here. Maybe that's actually the play, just block the bullet. Yeah, I guess I could block the bullet if I need to. Do you have two health left? You're gonna heal, which I don't want you to do. I guess I'll burn my energy then. Burn a melee twice. Take a bullet. Um, This could work, but I like the enemy coming to me and saving more energy for me. Yeah, this gives me way more play potential. I can clean them up with shock jump afterwards. That makes sense. You just have one health, so we'll bop you. Uh, ooh, they're not in a way that I can really take advantage. Do I really... Can I really not land a shock jump there? Uh, so I guess I'll... Dash? I think that's the right play. And then if I go over here, I should get Curio, right? Okay. To then do this. Alright, so we're gonna force a Curio draw later. We took damage to, uh, stall it out. I think that's healing. I still think that's really deceptively hard to see what symbol that is. On the floor, but whatever. So if I do need healing, we could come back there. We tank two damage, so I think that's fair. Draw an extra card. We have Aerial Ace, which is going to be our boss killer. I don't need it on this floor. I think I need it for the next floor. Um... burn in energy. I want to leave the flay for now. Let's do this to get more energy. We'll do kill you, one shot you maybe? We'll draw an extra card. So I think we have good incidental draw for like rooms. 
I'm not sure if I'm super impressed with their other options, though. I can't quite target the thing I want to target. I could zip and gain flight if I need to. Yeah, let's do that, actually. Charge our Curio up. Bomb jump immediately over the target. Big threat eliminated. Although, sadly, I can't line up and do anything else, unless I really want that one to die. I'd rather keep the position. Oh, right, you can heal off of those. Uh, the other one died instantly. Cool. Um... This, this doesn't really matter. Let's skip the curio. turn, right? I'll let him get a little closer. Not in a rush. This should be GG. Get little minor amounts of healing, which is always nice. So we have one spare heal as we go in the dungeon. <laughs> this is a horrendous room. Where's Boomer Where's our Lord and Savior Boomerang chat when you need it? We've been abandoned. I think I just activate the boss kill. I don't really want the summoner doing anything. Like, this thing needs to die. Do not want that to go unchecked. Axe could be very interesting here. The question is, who do I punish the most with? I guess I move over one. Like this. I think that's the best. Oh, that's a stun crystal. Oh, right. For some reason, I thought that was a retaliate crystal, or like a shield crystal. I mean, fortunately, they're not going to do anything either way. That was kind of an oh moment. That's fine. Let's unroot ourselves. On range of you, right? Yeah, I was like, I remembered one of them gave us immunity. But I couldn't remember, because we've taken such a big break, I honestly couldn't remember. I would not have axed there if I remembered that, but that's fine. Um... So you're not going to move no matter what. I guess I just use this now, right? Now that was an amazing draw. That gets us out of trouble, and it gets us a kill. Man, Sharp Dash is so good, chat. Guess I energy up just to end the fight early. Save the Curio. I think it's more important I save the Curio. Oh, there's our boomerang. Let's see what our extra card is. You have Retaliate 2 on. Um. I'd prefer you to just die. <laughs> right, Chad? I'm like, oh, wait, wait a minute. I don't have to care about this at all. Wait a minute. You didn't give immunity to him? GG. Do we can still heal? I'm pretty good at health. Oh, this room is interesting. Um, jeez, nobody's lined up with me. This is very awkward. Good energy burst. If I move two tiles and then adrenaline, I think I could get a nasty turn. Now the question is, how nasty do we make it? That's potentially a lot of card draw. I could kill you instantly if I want to. 
Let's do something like this. This will be nasty. All two cards. Oh, there's our draw card. It's like a precision kill you. Draw a card. I mean, when else are we going to get the draw ability there? And now it doesn't really matter what they do. We're pretty much a hard counter to them. So I think I want to hold on to the draw card for now. I could just heal now and draw a card. I think I'll do that, actually. Save our other draw card for a different room. I can even use it in between as well. I could shock and then just end the fight. Let's do that. So if I want to draw like a million cards, I could right now if I want to. The question is, do I want to use an AP in the next room or not? You know what? I don't think I do. Let's just draw immediately. I'll get one less card, but I can serve all my AP and get a Curio. I think that's worth it. Yeah. We'll put a couple more treasure hoards for bosses. That way we can load our hand up like this more often. Given that Curio isn't automatic anymore. As you can see, we have a ridiculous amount of potential card draw. Uh, ooh, that looks beautiful, actually. Clear up the room a little bit more. I get the kill here if I need to. Uh, deal five damage, huh? Uh, not gonna work the way I wanted to. I might just end my turn. I might just go down one space to dodge. Anything else I want to do with my points is the question. I don't really want to split them this turn if I can avoid it. Let's move one space. Get the curio card. And see where the enemy moves from here. Okay. So we know the slime is not going to be any threat to us at all. I could do something like this. Only we could just do slightly more damage. Damage you and then kill with this. Draw another card. We're going about card neutral. They can't hit me because they have to move first. Um... Just sharp dash to recharge the curio. I think that makes sense. That way we get guaranteed card draw in the next room. While still cycling through some cards. Like sharp dash is good, but we could definitely draw better. If that was an oh, if that was an energy card, I would have been so happy, chat. You have no idea. Oh, this is about to be oh, almost a killing spree. I could pounce into pounce if I need to. Anyway, chat, you ready for the killing spree? Oh, it's not going to trigger on the first health bar. That's right. Uh, in which case, I need to do four damage. Almost. I can almost do something useful with this. Reposition. What do I want to do here? If I axe, I'm going to deny the puzzle room, which to me I'm not as concerned with. So you're going to spawn in place. Three damage is not enough to kill any of these instantly. Welcome, Calvisham. Hmm. 
So that's going to put me in a bad position. Is there any way I could target more than once? I definitely don't want to get meleeed if we can avoid it. If we had, like, one more energy gain, I could have been able to, like, do this into something crazy. Now it's just kind of mediocre. I'll go over here for now. So we'll do... Kill the targets that are near us. So sadly, without energy, any energy removal, I'm in trouble. I guess I didn't have to melee there. That could put me in trouble here. Yeah, I guess I didn't need to melee there. Oh well, this should still be fun. We could kill you incidentally with basically anything. The question is, what do I want to kill you with? Just need like a little bit of damage. I'm so sad. It's like we just need to do like just the littlest bit of damage. Now let's do this. Not able to bounce off of him in a meaningful manner. That's so sad. Do I just take the damage, is the question. I don't think I want to. I know it's burning a card, but I think I really, really don't want to get more damage on me if I can avoid it. Like, just not lined up with them. So this is going to gain us an energy. I can hit the box to draw a card. But it doesn't move me in a way that is helpful. I guess I could just do this. So it doesn't hit anything close to me. No matter what, I have to burn a movement. I guess I could do... I'm um, jumping to two melees. Save my other abilities for later. If there's any healing left over, I would like to heal a little bit. Yeah, let's heal in this room a little bit. We're looking pretty good now. Okay, I found the exit, so that's a good sign. Fortunately, they started invincible, which is about as bad as it gets for us. There's not a useful jump I can do in here. What are you doing currently? You're going to teleport to this object near me. You're doing what? Magma near me? There you are. What a jerk. Yeah, I think with the Curio nerf, I actually am not drawing cards fast enough. We're seeing the nerf in, in real time. I would have had another card here. So this is at least three rooms where I didn't draw a card where I really needed the card. So sad. The nerf is real, chat. Do I shock jump just for one kill? I don't think that's worth it. Let's go in the corner for now. Yeah, that nerf, that nerf actually hit me pretty bad. Like, I knew it was going to hurt me a little bit, but I didn't realize, like, how bad this was. I would have probably changed my deck up a little more. Okay, this is what I want. We lure them in a way that's useful to us. we will split them up a little more. <laughs> one day, one day, chat, we're going to get the triple hit with this barrage, and we'll finally get to enjoy our victory. Oh, I can't do anything fun. You're going to potentially heal people and fly them, which I really don't want you to do. But what can I do to guarantee your demise? I'm in kind of a weird position due to not having a card. 
I don't know if there's anything I can do for this. I think I just gotta go over here for now. It's so annoying that they have flight. Oh, did they just give me a free out? You're gonna injure your ally, right? Yeah, you're gonna hurt him. Which I'm okay with. Can't quite kill you, though. So if I axe spin him, they'll heal each other, but they'll kill the other guy. Is that useful to me? That's the question. I could, in theory, pounce kill everything. So you're not gonna attack this turn, so... Ooh, you're gonna be back in the corner. Mm. I'm not gonna get a good opportunity to hit this character again. Let's spin the axe. This might also stop him and force him... Oh, guys, I was gonna say, it should force him to teleport somewhere else. I have to do this to get out of the way. The problem is, it's gonna leave me vulnerable. Just don't like how... Yeah, just don't like how that's set up, sadly. I think we gotta take the damage here. Oh, they didn't kill the other guy with their AoE? Well, that's actually more annoying than I expected. That's unfortunate. You're about to attack. You're about to also explode. They he didn't heal each other. Wait, did they just not? Did they just choose not to do the magma burst? Oh, well, that's kind of annoying. So he's alive, which is exactly what I didn't want to have happen. Um, I have no mobility skills because we lost our card draw. Let me. I don't think I want to hit him and split him. I think that would be a mistake. I think for now I'm just going to end my turn. It's going to hurt so much, but I need this room to die. So fortunately we have situational card draw, or we would be in huge trouble here. I'm going to choose to go, I think, full screen on this one. You have to gargoyle more. Question is... What do I choose to do in the meantime? Do I get closer to him? How injured is he? Still a lot of health. I could try to kill him next turn. I could get rid of his first health bar. Into boomerang. It sound it doesn't jump to the gargoyle more for us. We would have draw oh, drawn some cards there. So I think this battle is over. I just have to reach this guy. He's like the only threat left. We're gonna draw up to five. Keep the shark and storm. Let me get rid of a bullseye. Those are kind of awkward to deal with. So we did find the exit. So that's not too bad. I guess I'll just leave. Not really interested in diving in this floor. We have a completely abysmal hand. If this is what we're using for the boss, we're kind of in trouble. So we need to make sure we end with the boss hand. Oh, that's such a bad hand. Now we're going to do this.
I'm gonna choose to draw a card off of this box. Okay. So I could do four here. It's not bad. Then I can shoot him and to shoot him, draw a card. Okay, major threat deleted. Hopefully we get a good card here. Double aerial ace, so I can kill any target that I want now. The question is, how threatening is tossing ogre to me? Let's teleport over here. And then I guess I'll just one-shot him. So that way we can start drawing cards per turn. I think he's worth deleting. But I'll activate our Curio. So we'll have... Yeah, you're not going to do anything of worth. So I'm going to get into melee range with you. We have a decent chance to draw a multi-hit here. Speaking of which... Kind of exactly what I wanted. Thank you, multi-hit. Bounce. <laughs> right, Chad? Like, that, that is literally exactly what I wanted. Okay. That's pretty much a perfect draw. Although, sadly, I can't kill him this turn. So I'm gonna have to Curio draw. Okay, is there any card I want to get rid of? We get rid of Barrage. That's probably our least impactful card. Let's burn it so we can draw a new card in the next room. Yeah, I think Bomb Jump, Boomerang, Shock Jump. These are pretty much our power, power three. Like, these will solve every problem, and Bullseye is just there to maybe fish for a card. Maybe. So I could just replace the card immediately with Bullseye here, which is not a bad idea. So they're just easy cards I can cycle out. Yeah, like this does 4 damage, which is amazing. I don't ever expect a poly hit with it, but it lets us burst mini bosses. So that was a super good trade-in from my standpoint. That is a lot of meter we're about to gain. Let's see what we can do with this. Thank you, Boomerang. Boomerang is like the best card draw, Chad. It's so beautiful. This card does everything. Oh, another Boomerang? So disgusting. Question is, do I just Shock Jump? I think I Shock Jump. Get some damage on the back row, Demon. Let's do this to maximize our damage here. Just showing you the power of Shock Jump, in case you forgot how busted it was. Yeah, don't mind me. Just gonna casually clear, like, the entire room. Um... The question is... Oh, he's got five health. Boomerang is Chef Kiss, says Dango. Welcome, Dango. Oh, I can't quite kill him. It puts me in range to do a lot of damage. And out of range of the slime, which is what I want. I still technically have more meter if I want to just delete an enemy. The question is, do I want to? Bubble Duck says impressive turn. Thank you. I think I could do anything fun with this. Like, even if I do this, it's not going to lead to any interesting damage. So we want to keep Pounce for later. Do I greed Quiet Flutter for the boss? Is the question I'm thinking about. Like, we definitely need Flight for the boss at some point. I think I'm going to try to greed and not use this as long as possible. Um, I'll come over here so I can just draw a free card. Yeah, let's come over here so I draw a free card. And maybe if I need to, I can pounce chain kill things. Oh, the curio goes before the normal card draw. Oh, that's unfortunate. That slightly messes with my plans. I could just delete this entire room, though. That's like card draw. Yeah, Boomerang is one of my favorite cards, for sure. 
Click one damage to zip targets. So if I aim this well, I could in theory kill. I don't have enough AP to set this up. What we're going to do, this guy should come towards me. I'm just going to let them do it and kill them with precision dash. I just need to do something like this. That'll trigger the Curio. And that puts me about in range to get melee kills here. Don't really want to burn adrenaline for this guy. I feel like that would just be a waste. We'll melee him once. So we'll just move one space. Wait. Yeah, no, no sense in doing that. I don't see anything I really want to discard from her hand. We'll leave it as is. I want to keep quiet Flutter for the boss. I think I'm going to greed there. I'd like to draw into our draw cards for the boss, but it probably won't happen. Well, what is this hallway? Wait, how much damage is going to hit me if I don't move? Oh, nearly infinite. I guess that's fair. Well, goodbye, Pounce. You're here for this exact reason. All praise be to Pounce, chat. This room would be so atrocious without it. Uh, I could cycle Adrenaline. It's not a make or break if I have it for a boss, to be honest. Because we, we, the challenge is we just can't move, so we more need mobility skills than anything else. And he stunned himself? What an idiot. Oh, I got my boss killer. I was actually super fortunate that we just drew into that. We're going to redraw a card. And we drew another adrenaline anyway. I'm just going to move a space and wait. Should be GG. Bonk, 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 chat. So at this point, we're just looking for the exit. I have everything I want for the boss. Energy, mass damage. I probably want to get rid of another adrenaline. I don't like that I'm being forced to use another pounce here. Trying to decide which one to hop to. I guess if I go to this one, I can hop back to the other one. Pounce is so good, chat. Um... is more what are you gonna do right, so if i don't move i'm gonna take damage i move up to and then wait see what i draw unfortunately i'm gonna curio draw which is kind of annoying because i'd rather have my standard draw before curio that is one thing i if i'm gonna make one suggestion to them i really hope that curio draws go after regular draw i feel like you're just kind of getting cheated out of cards most of the time doesn't really feel good. Do I aerial ace now is the question. I'm really lacking in AoE. That's the problem with reading this Quiet Flutter. Because Quiet Flutter is going to let us deal with the boss. If we don't do this, we're going to take a lot of damage in the boss room. So I don't mind burning our boss damage move because we have a lot of turns to potentially build it back up. So I think I aerial ace. Does a damage. I don't know if that matters for what I wanted to do. Is I I can't kill them either way with my triple shot, which is kind of annoying. Guess I'll go over here then. I just wish I could do them in a different order, but I can't. Could decide to. Oh, I could have hit them with Cardinal Shot. Thinking 
about it. What are you gonna do this turn? You're gonna fly them? You can't hit that tile, right? Okay. And I'm gonna come over here then. The kick kill this target immediately. None of them can reach me this turn. I might as well take advantage of that. I shine spark to delete these enemies. I'm not too worried about getting stuck here. Sadly, I can't shine spark and kill multiples. Ooh, he got healed from the other ability. So what I can end up doing is... One, two, shine spark. Double adrenaline. Oh, this would be... This would be a very dangerous thing to keep for the boss battle. In any other scenario where we could move, I would have loved this. But we need to... We have not drawn a single card draw ability, which really sucks. Curio nerfs are real. Okay, I'm gonna end turn and then I'm gonna burn both the uh, adrenaline so I can start drawing real cards again. up if I want to do the shot here. Let him come towards me. See what we draw into. Alright, so these are movement options for the boss. That might not be too bad. But I'm a little worried we're not drawing our plus five card draw abilities. Really? They're in a way I can't multi-hit off of this. That is so sad. Well, I think it's time to go around the world. I guess if I get over here, I might be able to kill them with a diagonal. Or I could just go through here again and burn the damage. I get free damage by going back through here. I guess that's not bad, also. I could get rid of one of the bombers. Can't do anything interesting with this. I put him closer to kill range. I think I need to get rid of you, or the battle's just gonna become too annoying. Alright, so we're just gonna... I guess I could've moved, but honestly, I'll take the damage. Put it to the left. I guess that makes sense. We'll do this. Oh, I actually don't have any movement abilities. That is really awkward, given that there's, like, I think 35 in our deck or something ridiculous. That's kind of an unlucky 50-50. We're about to take big damage here. I don't think I can avoid this. Hmm. I could Quiet Flutter. I'd really prefer not to, but I think to avoid taking, like, Petrify and everything else, I think I do have to fly here. It's kind of annoying that they forced me to burn that. I need to get out of the range of the demon, but so before I teleport, like I have to go over there, then I could get punished by him, but Toxic isn't that bad. I'm more scared of the 4 damage from this, like that would be super bad for us. Let me go in the corner over here. He cannot reach me from there, right? He cannot. So I could kill the Fringe Goblin. I guess that's kind of worth it. Oh, we don't have to think about them going forward. <sighs> now I get bomb jump. Where was that earlier? So sad, chat.
Do I just take the poison damage to get the kill on the demon? I'm thinking about. I think I do. We'll take the poison damage from the other character. I don't think it matters. I need you to die. So he can't reach me no matter what. I could go in the corner to force the guy to walk more, which I think I want to do. That's fine. He broke stealth for pretty much- oh, there's our draw five. Perfect, so I'm gonna hold that for the boss room. I knew we would eventually get to it. So you are going to consume, which is fine. You can't reach me this turn. I don't think I really want to shoot that. <laughs> Thanks, game. Where was Boomerang earlier, right, chat? So sad. We'll take some damage here. I I 100% want to keep to the vault for the boss. Bullseye is kind of useless. We can use that to restock later. That's fine. We could go in a root fest with this enemy. I don't think it really matters. Okay. Our HP is a resource. We might as well just use it. Though so we didn't get healing from the statue, which is fine. I don't need it yet. The question is, do I need to reset my cards yet? I prefer to go at least one more area before we need it. <sighs> I think Boomerang is too greedy there. I think I just gotta play it a little slower. So I could feel up here if I need it. Let's get rid of both of these. We could draw better. Well, maybe not, apparently. We got stunned, so that was a good positioning on my part. We could shield dash. Might as well as use it. That was kind of a big failure on the enemy's behalf, I'm not gonna lie, chat. That was just kind of sad. The healing's trying, tried to save him, but can't always save stupid. We're just looking for the exit. I have almost everything I need for the boss. We need to draw into Flutter again, or we're gonna be in trouble. Ooh, they're not in a way that I can really take advantage of that. I think I have to boomerang this. Alright, so now we have what we need for the boss. Client Flutter, draw five, and the ability to do whatever we want from here. So I could move... I don't need Shock Jump. There's also not a way I can reset this. I could do this to zip around. What would that do for me? It would do anything for me at the moment. So he's a problem eventually. The demon's a problem next turn. I only do one damage, because Bullseye... Bullseye's... I don't know. I, I might take it out of the deck full time. Especially after the Curio nerf. Like, this just used to be a cute way to stock up on cards. But now that, like, I don't draw every single turn... I don't think I can afford to keep these Bullseyes anymore. Kinda sad. With, with uh, the Curio at its full strength, I would have been like, whatever. It's damage and usually a card draw. But I think I just needed to be pure card draw going forward. So we'll take out like three of those, put in like a, another Jettison and then like more Vault cards. We'll leave like one or two in out of the five or six we have in the deck. That'll be my adjustment for the nerf. Uh, that's not bad. Maybe I'll go for this. So I could shock in the middle if I want to. 
What horrible damage would we deal to ourselves if I did this, though? Kind of morbidly curious. That's not that bad. I could kill him. Then we're not fighting the big problem. Not sure how I feel about that. He has immunity, so we need to leave. Got another quiet flutter. Okay, so I could use that for actual AP if I need to. Hmm. Dude, you're definitely gonna hit me if I don't teleport somewhere interesting. I guess I can burn the this to draw another card. If I attack once, twice, move, I should be out of range. I think it's kind of regen and shield. Oh, that is that is hilariously terrible to deal with. Um, I think you have to die unconditionally. I am so sad that the enemy teleported to that one. I should have checked. Wow, that was kind of unfortunate. Now I have to waste turns not fighting this. It could have gone to the Kray in the upper left for clarity chat. That's what I was thinking it was going to do. That really sucks. And now he's full healed, so I can't really do anything unless... Do what you need to do here, right? You can't reach me. If I just melee, I might be able to kill him here. Hmm. Not with these cards, though. So I could sharp dash to start dealing with him. Question is, who are you? Of course, you're doing that statue. Uh, let me think. If I sharp dash through. I can draw another card. The enemy's cut off and can't do anything to me. I would like to kill this guy so he can stop healing these targets. So that's a problem. Through yet another bullseye. This is so, so unfortunate. We're about to take big damage here. So I could kill him. But can I teleport away with the, the, the other move? Maybe? Okay, yeah, I have enough. Okay. 100% he needs to die, or else the demon is going to take like 30 years to kill. We're going to Curio draw, which is good. There's Adrenaline for later, which would be huge for us, actually. I might just burn it now. No mobility skills, kind of blows. So I think no matter what, I take damage here unless I get energy. I don't think I can avoid this unless I really want to give up Quiet Flutter. Uh, I really wanted to save this for the boss. Just kind of an annoying series of draws, to be honest. I hate that I have to use this. It makes me kind of uncomfortable. I, I would like to get rid of this. I don't even care if it hits anything. This card is so dead in our hand, it's unreal. Give me new cards. Alright, that works. So we know he has to go away from me. And it says Gargoyle Morph, but it's not showing me where he's putting them. Is that bug? I'm pretty sure it's supposed to tell you where he's doing that, but whatever. What? Oh, oh, he skipped his turn because one existed? Is that why that happened? I didn't think that's how that worked, but whatever, that's fine. I thought he had- I thought he would replace the ones that were gone, but apparently not. 
just cho he chose to skip this turn. I think at this point I reset my deck. Get the Quiet Flutter back in, because we used quite a few. The odds of me drawing another one were pretty low. And then this puts all the boomerangs back in our deck, which would help us here. Speaking of which, chat. <laughs> Spe speaking of the card I was hoping to draw, <laughs> one of the cards. Yeah, this is fine. Perfect card draw. There's one more enemy over there that would have worked. Uh, I don't have Quiet Flutter, but we could do some d decent damage here. Excellent damage still. I think I'm just going to melee you. Put you closer to kill range. Healing Shrine. Hmm. So he's gonna melee me, but then he's just gonna get healed again. It's so annoying. The healing shrine threw off my numbers. I guess... Uh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, I guess it does hit the full screen. That is kind of annoying, actually. In which case... Come up over here and deal with this. to ricochet off of, which is so sad. I'm gonna attack this turn. I don't have any good damage cards. Like, I could use my Cardinal Shot, I guess. Needed something a little stronger, though. But what is he gonna do? Can I afford to just melee, melee, melee? Not afford to melee, melee, melee. I can do one melee into Shine Spark, maybe. Draw another card. If we're lucky, we draw into Quiet Flutter, and then I'm happy. That's not a bad card to draw into, actually. Don't worry about that. Bounce is not a bad card to pick up. Just get rid of this for free damage. Be better mobility skills. The damage is looking okay. I'm just looking for the exit. There it is. Okay. So now I can afford to set up cards. slightly better range to deal with this. That's so sad. I think I'll do this to draw cards. Talk jump could be good. But I need to move forward first, I think, for this to be useful. We're gonna do this to draw another energy to make counts better. That way, if I want to, I could kill this guy. <laughs> now I regret not having the bullseye. If I had one thing that did one damage, I could shock jump there. Like, bullseye, walk forward, shock jump would have been pretty powerful. Hmm. This is such an awkward position to be in. I can't really do anything. This key goblin is actually messing me up. I really do not want to use my Draw the Bolt. Because I want to make sure we have as many cards as we can for the boss fight. Oh, do I really pounce for two, though? That feels so terrible. I think I have to. We could get at least some kills here. Let's start clearing the arena a little more. It's 
this is probably fine. I forgot about stun. That was bad. I thought it was just regular damage. Damn, that sucks. Well, we're gonna have to rebuild our hand for sure. That really sucks. Alright, we're still fine if I can draw a flight. If we can't draw a fight, flight, then we're in big trouble for this boss. I'm not sure what to do. I'm really injured is the problem. Is there any way I can just check one more room? So if we fight another retaliate room, it's just kind of GG. I'm not going to survive it. My my hand is terrible for the upcoming challenge. That puts me a little out of kill range. This might be fun. So we need to cycle our hand to just literally anything else. Uh, can this, I'm gonna reset my health cards later. I guess if I wanted to get rid of my hand, I could hit the crystal to stun. That would be kind of risky for later. Let's take one fight here. I have an okay amount of cards here. I should be fine. Oh, of course it's this enemy. We're gonna lose a lot of health, but this is a lot of card draw potential, so let's see what happens. know if I have enough help to kill this enemy. Oh, no, I have one thing that kills it. Okay. I was gonna say, I'm like, I can't afford to hit that again or I just kind of die. I swear, if this leaps in the lava, I will be very tilted. Please do not leap in the lava. Okay, good, good, good. Come over here. Get rid of you. So most of the problem enemies are gone. Question is, what are you doing? Probably gonna toss the other guy. Let's do this to reset. So we need way better cards than what we have here. Bomb jump is fine for the boss. We need to get rid of double shot. We need to get rid of bullseye. Question is, what do I do for that? So you will summon something, right? If you're out of range. It says you're gonna toss something at me, but I don't see anything in range. So I'm a little I'm a little confused at that, but I'm gonna back up either way. I might just blow this to draw a card. I think that's the right decision. I need either mobility or card draw, and that's neither. If I don't move, he's going to do some big damage to me. He's definitely going to toss the crystal at me this turn. Question is, where is he centering it? Ooh, so I need to use my full mobility here. So damn, he's going to cost me a skill. Let's get rid of Shine Spark. That's probably the least useful one on the boss fight. Bomb Jump is more damage and I have more control. For where to land. Adrenaline's not bad for the boss fight. Really? Wow. That just kind of blows. I'm just gonna wait. He hit himself? I did not know he could do that. That's kind of special. So what if I just walk up and melee him? Is he still gonna go for the object? Oh, he'll throw me. Oh, that makes sense. That's <laughs> this fine. One is special. Now we've learned. Anyway, let's get rid of this, draw the card. Not liking our hand for the boss. It's kind of a problem. I think we're gonna have to redo this challenge. I think the curio nerf really, really messed me up, and then the stun right at the end was a big blunder. 
Because we're we're just not getting the same card draw we were getting before. And it, it has made a difference. There were at least four rooms where I just couldn't draw anything because we had stationary damage cards. Like I have adrenaline and then zero mobility skills. So I think I have to get rid of these cards. But like I could try to force us to draw something better for the boss. So this gives us a chance at drawing a mobility skill. But not being able to move at all is really brutal. This is so risky. I don't even have anything I could- I, I don't- I don't think I could do the- I don't think I can risk going in the other room and resetting it, sadly. Even if there was healing here, which there is, if I took like 5 damage, I would be in trouble. So we're in a pretty bad position for this boss battle. I don't think this challenge is going to be won, sadly. I mean, we could still beat the boss. I'm just going to have to redo it, which is kind of tedious. So we're in a good position for bomb jumps. That's kind of fortunate. We did draw a flight, so we're not out yet. Problem. Without the ability to move, this becomes significantly more difficult than it should. Let's Adrenaline. To do this, we are at the mercy of drawing a mobility skill here, which feels pretty terrible. Let's do some big damage. We're gonna get the Curio draw, which is good. I could melee three times. Okay, got rid of a health bar. So we are at the mercy of a draw skill. Could hit their shield just because. Oh, that hits you even though you're in the sky? Interesting, did not know that. We drew a mobility skill. Sadly, I'm not able to target anything else with this. What are you doing this turn? Allegedly destroying me if I'm looking at the targetable area. I mean, I think I just gotta go for damage if I could do damage. So, one-third of the boss health down. Can we move in a way that would benefit us, though, is the question. I guess this isn't terrible. You still hit me if I'm there, you do. It's so annoying. I think I just gotta take the damage. So we have a quiet flutter to teleport again if we need to. But at least I'm out of what I'm assuming is the big damage move. So we're gonna just hold our turn. Now he's not gonna hit me at all from here. I could just throw a boomerang at him. It's another health bar gone. But he's lost. 66% of his health. Well, actually, no, 50%. If he had four health bars total, he should have two left. Alright, so now we're at the mercy of uh, Draw Go. I don't have any mobility options. I don't want to teleport unless I really, really have to. So we're gonna hold the turn here, I think, and draw a card. Plus, he'll maybe get closer to us. Hopefully we draw something nice here. We got a zip skill. Might not be too bad. We're gonna take four damage here. It might be worth. So we're finally gonna draw another card with Curio. We're gonna melee while we can. We'll take the damage here, that's fine. There we go. He's about to do big damage to us if we don't move. Do damage again. I 
So we're slowly getting there. I would like to teleport out of the way if I can. The problem is, I don't think I can dodge this. I definitely don't want to line up with him. Question is where to go. So if I... It's just like a slightly better distance. So if I go down one left one with the teleport, I can at least hit him with the axe spin. And we are immediately going to flutter. I do not want to take fire damage here. I got rid of stealth. That's fine. Well, it's all down to what I draw. I'm not lined up with him, though, which helps. I wanted to avoid that explicitly. So he will magma dive, which is fine. I don't think this matters at all. I think I just end my turn, because I can't move. Remember the challenge is, if you move, you lose. So I have to draw another card here, which is probably for the best. If we have two cards to deal with him, that's fine. So we might have enough damage here. I can only move with Bomb Jump, which is really awkward. Oh, this is so awkward. I don't think I could do anything. We have to draw something better. Man, if we just had one more movement skill. I can't afford to be tackled by this. Oh, he lined up with us. That's actually huge. I don't really care what he does now. Did he... Is he dead? How much health does he have? My brain can't math. He's got 10 health. Oh, we... Actually, GG, we win? Oh, you're an idiot. You let me win. Oh. Wow. Okay, that was a... That was a comeback chat. <laughs> wow, I had no draw cards. We believed in the heart of the cards. Thankfully, I don't have to redo this challenge. GG. Oh... That's 20 cards in a single turn. Yeah, that's typical Traveler stuff. Alright, that was a pretty good series of draws. For not remembering his mechanics super well, I think we did fine. I might as well as upgrade these into better boosters. I got nothing better to do. But anyway, we're gonna have to... If we want to use that deck again... What I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of four of these. Let's do three of these so I have more consistent card draw. And one jettison. Where's my jettison? Unless I already have... Wait, did I... Where is jettison? Oh, there it is. Oh, I had one jettison. I don't think energy is a problem. It was more the card draw kind of died out on us. Honestly, I'm kind of curious if I even want to keep this Strider Glove after the nerf. I might actually stop using it. It's not trolling quick enough now. Two AP might be worth it. Just thinking about what my alternate would be. Hmm. Uh, Planner Prism got increased, so it does four damage to close units. Okay, that's fair. I saw that in the notes earlier. Oh, that's pretty free damage. Just do two damage to everything close. That's actually not bad. <laughs> I probably need that on Raider, honestly. And now we have the old move, one tile. Yeah... I don't know what I would want in return, though. I would want AP, but... I don't really see anything in here I'm, like, super crazy for. Oh, Clean Mirror is so good. I love Clean Mirror. Uh... Vampire Hood is hilarious. 
I think with the changes there, that'll help Raider survive the uh, nonsense that's there. Barbed wire is there. If there's anything in here that's too crazy. Pre-flight is not bad. That's what I would normally have to do, I think, against that boss fight. Honestly, I'm not really sure. I'll, I'll think about it a bit more, but let's go resave over this deck. Oh, do I not have a 90 card one? Oh, I do. So at least here I'm going to get more card draw with a hint more energy gain. We do have a decent amount of energy gain in the deck. I think because we're not drawing like literally every turn, we're only drawing like one card maybe at the start of combat now instead of always. That That is a pretty significant nerf. And honestly, the way it's set up, I almost... I'm curious if I would rather just have the draw a card to get the guaranteed card draw at the start of every room. I think I actually would. I actually, like, we have a lot of stationary abilities where it just doesn't do anything. And it's kind of sad. So I, I think I'll stop using Strider Gloves going forward. But anyway, let's go hand in this thing and see what else we need to do. I'm assuming we're done with Traveler now. Get our little curio. End of turn, roll back to previous turn, start a turn while in combat. Oh, that could be an interesting raider card. You suspect the guide may return to the mainline to go after the Runesmith's Master. You'd be correct, she asked me how to get to the islands from here. The Runes from Crypto Chief Smith at this place is Richard Bunny. I think the guide may would have been introduced for flight. It's curious. Um. Oh, it has to do with Harai in town. Damn it, she was this curious about Harai. Ancient temples and treasures she should have asked me directly. Do you want me to go on mainland and help her? No! No, I didn't... Ugh. I was just doing curio stuff. Oh, I hope I didn't accidentally do an ending there. That's really annoying, because I don't remember talking to her or looking for her. We just kind of got that conversation arbitrarily. Okay, I'll just choose not to talk to her if she comes back. Hopefully that's good enough news your journey. Here I thought you would show an unreachable destination, but still you saw it through to the end. Color me impressed. Here, take this card. It's the rarest in the collection. Journey's end. Oh, look, it popped up on, steam, on stream. Nice. I mean, I kind of like Energy Needle. It's very cheesy. I don't know if I like that as the unlock for doing his thing. So I, I guess we're done with his stuff for now. We'll save. Uh, I guess what I can do is... Let's go upgrade the card packs. On the off chance there's a card I'm missing. Question mark. Then we'll do more stuff with the stranger. So at this point, I think we have basically everything. So let's go ahead and open 10. Maybe we'll get cards I don't have yet. I got a rare Fateful in, though. Oh, you know what was silly, chat? You know what? I just read this card. We could have been doing infinite AP like five sessions ago before I did anything with the stranger. I just looked at this again and I went, oh. Do you want to know why, chat? We have, uh, we have all the adrenaline. Like, we couldn't have done this at the very start because we didn't have the cards. But with Copycat, copy all library cards already cast in the current turn. So this card costs one AP to cast. But... You can copycat, presumably copycats, but more importantly... You can probably copy Adrenaline. <laughs> so, I think you could just copycat Adrenaline Loop over and over, right? I 
I mean, well, I guess they have patience on there. Maybe, maybe they stopped you from doing that. I mean, you could dupe a lot of adrenalines, though. So if I don't mind burning a lot of turns in a dumb room... Nothing stops me from doing this out of combat. Because I don't need to draw cards. So I so the loop, the demonstrated loop would be at least one copycat adrenaline. Although I guess it has to be a library card. Yeah, maybe they removed it. Because I, I don't think copies count as library cards. I guess that's slightly more fair. But we could still dupe Adrenaline into doing dumb things. We could draw, like, all of our treasure hordes and dupe them if we need to. So I guess if this... Okay, so I guess if this doesn't apply to the copies and that doesn't trigger it, then it's not infinite. But we could still dupe the ridiculous card draw of Traveler. So maybe we'll do Traveler Oracle just to try it at some point. We already know the Stranger has, like, it looks like at least one infinite due to how uh, morning seems to work with cards. It, it makes it a bit inconsistent with random, but technically if the only cards in your graveyard are the cards like Adrenaline and Morning, then I think it's an infinite. Destroy target mod that is one current hit point copy of Premonition. Uh, nothing too crazy here. Oh, you can't, you can't speed up the uh, animation there. Uh, what, what's our Raider card bonus? Are there cards we have not received? I'm assuming there are. But we did not draw them, it looks like. Killing Arrow sounds like what I would use to kill bosses for the most part. 10 damage is kind of insane. So if I know the boss is going to charge into a wall because I've, like, fought the boss before, I could just target it. Or, like, that tower boss. I could probably just place this on the tower boss and there's nothing he could do. And that can lead to wombo combos. Let's see, anything else that we should care about? I do like the mana loot. Anything fun in the boosters? Uh, as I said before, I assume we have every card in here now. It should just be greens. Yeah, look how many transcend gems we're getting from that. Master Spark. Okay, there we go. Look at that, chat. Look at that. We're finally getting better ra <laughs> raider cards. Summon an ally clone of all enemies suffer sleep. Ooh. Unless you make yourself sleep immune, then that card's probably godlike. I mean, I don't know about you. Duping bosses seems pretty dumb. So yeah, we have like a million gems now. So basically every time we open a booster pack, we're getting at least three to four more. Let's see. What challenges did we have left? Finish the dungeon floor, exhuming more cards from the graveyard than drawing from the library. Defeat the ancient effigy while casting cards to the archetypes. While only using the stranger. Okay, I was gonna say. So that is kind of annoying. I know there's cards that can do that, so we're, it's not like it's impossible. But I don't know if I really want to combine the two card types. Alright, so what we're gonna do... Let's save. And we're going to go ahead and just clear a deck. Let's change our runes out around a little bit. Get rid of these. The stranger. Let's go for the one where we just easily cycle through our deck. Yeah, these seeks. These seeks basically are the combo builder. The fact that this is only rank one to me is insane. So we want these. We want as many mornings as we can acquire. That lets us have more, so th that way we could just draw seven exhumes. That would be basically GG. I think what else we would want for infinite. I think, well... 
I guess with infinite kunai... I only really need a handful. This card can lead to a lot of copying, which is interesting. So the, the way I view this, chat is that every time I use infinite kunai on a prop, I'm gonna get two back. And since they're copies, they don't count towards our hand size, which is important. So I could just have literally near infinite kunai, and they could duplicate themselves. So every prop is potentially like seven or more cards. I could put like two in there if I really want to for utility. It does move you two spaces. So I can use it to technically move faster. So it is a movement skill I should probably put in there. Um... Queen's Arrival is godlike. Rave Summons also has an exhum. I don't want to put too many cards in the deck. We have a lot of chess moves, which is fine. Let's do as many exhum cards as we can afford. Rare is fine. We can see if we can copy a lot of cards that way. Because that also lets us build up a hand size, I guess, on the side. Anything else I feel like duping? Really? Oh, bull dashes. Get our one cheap blast. I don't know if I really super care about. Get a couple of those, I guess. I'm gonna keep our deck size relatively small. And maybe what I'll do is I will get rid of... Rare for now? Well, no, no, no. I need something to draw with our Seeks. Maybe get rid of our one of fun ofs and just get more teleports. So it, it benefits me to just have a whole ton of these cards. And we'll draw nine bad breaths and the equivalency thereof. That should be good. I'm assuming it'll let me do this with only 59 cards. I don't really need a lot because we have Exhum. In fact, I probably still have too much even for Exhum. Oh, I can't have another deck slot? sad. Guess I'll start deleting our decks, because I don't plan on using these again. Wait. Why am- What? Why am I not allowed to save another deck? Is this a UI bug? Come on. Seriously, what is going on? Hold on, they told me they fixed this. Chat, what is this? <laughs> Chat, wave your finger. Chat, I want you to do something with me. So we're we're gonna count to four we're gonna count to 14. Spoilers. You don't start at the number 14. <laughs> They- I'm telling you, this is the kind of stuff... Please fix this. Every time I go to do something with the decks, something happens. Every single patch. I deleted a deck. I added- I saved in an unknown slot. Question mark. <laughs> Ludana says rut row. Exactly. I just- like, can you- Dungeon Drafters, can you please fix this? This is- this is like really- I'm- I'm sorry to really harp on this, but this is, like, really basic stuff. Like, listen. It- when you build a series of test scripts, let's have a little conversation. You need to test for something other than the happy path, right? So, like, the normal thing is if there's a new slot in the save deck, people will save there. But you also have to assume, because you have a use case to delete a story, 
that you should try as one of your regression testing scenarios to save where you just deleted. I'm just saying, chat, this is very basic QA. This is this is very basic QA. Like, update your test scripts, <laughs> look at the test plan, make sure it incorporates this scenario, and then make sure you have a test script to run this. Kills me, chat. Kills me. Every time. Without fail, every time we've done it, I have glitched this out. And I'm like, I take like zero minutes to test it, I swear. It's like, do you know, do you know how many, how, do you know how many bugs I would find, chat? Because this is what I normally do as part of one of my many tasks at work. All I do is critique stuff like this. But anyway, let's just do a save floor. I don't really care. So we've beaten all the other dungeons. I just want to make sure we exhume a lot of cards. So if I have to burn a lot of stupid cards in one room, that's fun. That is a lot of cards that I can't do anything with. That is kind of awkward. Also, I didn't change my curio, but that doesn't really matter. Not really matter. Um, it's gravestone. And I can exhume it. Does exhume not do... Am I misremembering what Exhum does? I thought it would take something that's in our graveyard and put it back in my hand. Is there a reason it doesn't take Morning or the other card back? You know, I'll just throw these cards away. I don't really care. I'm a little confused. We'll go over here, though. Oh, is there some kind of criteria where you can't exhume exhume cards? That would have been good to know. That's kind of unfortunate, as we'd like to say. So I'm not going to get a card back. But I can draw all my Queen's cards, which is insane. Okay, so maybe they did want to prevent the infinite? Maybe it existed in other versions. Alright, that's a little unfortunate. We might have to go through this again. I I'm assuming that's a nerf that did not exist when we originally did this. Uh... Here I... Stock. I guess I do, because I put all my Exhume cards in there. Draw three. So yeah, I don't think that's going to work then with the challenge, because if I can't cycle those cards, I don't know what I would do. That actually makes it more annoying than it should be. I do love that I have, like, near infinite uses of these, though. It's kind of hilarious. So I'm not sure if drawing the card with Seek counts against the challenge. guessing it does. Okay, so. New plan. So we can't loop it. So maybe maybe they got rid of that in one of the patches. I swear we could have got... I swear we were looping it before. I, I swear, like, not this patch or the previous patch, but the one before it. I thought we could morning into morning. I wonder if they nerfed that and I just missed that in one of the patch notes. That's kind of unfortunate. That does make infinites not really possible. Because otherwise... Yeah, let, let's see what the trait filter says on Exhum.
Or actually, what I could do instead, let me, instead of doing that, let's go to the guide. We look at the rates and effects. Draw cards without the exhumed tray from the graveyard. Okay. Okay. Fair. So let me rethink this challenge then. Clear the deck. Uh, I don't really know if it... Oh, that's very glitchy. Look at that. I should not do that. But anyway. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. What do I want to do? Do I have a curio for exhuming explicitly? Additional energy wouldn't be bad. Discard a card, discard a phantom card, and heal one if the card was discarded. No, thank you. Why would I... Why would I ever get rid of phantom cards or copy cards other than to use them? No, thank you. Not a good incentive. I could just reveal the whole map if I really have nothing else better to do. Gain 3 AP whenever loot is collected. That's kind of hilarious. Uh, I don't want to draw cards. End of combat, all allies are transformed into treasure chests. Oh yeah, I remember that one. We haven't used that, but that sounds fun with the Oracle. If turn, destroy enemies with 1 HP that aren't at max HP. Back to turn. Hmm. Yeah, don't... At the start of turn, exhume 3. Okay. Maybe we... Maybe with this, we could do the jump. Well, that is so glitchy. Oh, no wonder I get confused. Okay, 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 chat. Hold on. Bug, bug number two. <laughs> so, several times in this playthrough, I have selected a curio and then got confused because I remember seeing the curio, but the curio was not selected. So, they forgot. If you don't press anything on the D-pad to show by default where the controller goes. Bug number two, chat. I'm telling you, we we could very easily QA test this whole thing. If, if they need me to do it, chat, listen. I'm going to go like, this is very basic stuff. Just pick up a controller. I guarantee you, you can find this. I believe in you. Because <laughs> I was like, why do I keep doing this? Remember, chat, this like three or four times. I like thought I selected a curio and then I'm like, oh, weird. I thought I selected it. It's because I unselected it, thinking that I had already done it from sometimes the default here. Because sometimes I open this and I want to close it, and that and I forget what button it is sometimes. Alright, so in which case... So, I don't want Seek then. I probably want as many mornings as I can handle. In fact, let's... Oh, I don't- I need more- I need another knowledge rune. Let's go get knowledge runes. So I- I don't want to interact with the curio person anymore, sadly, until we beat the game. So I don't want to advance the plot any further than I feel like I have. Oh, you just want money for this? Oh, I'll just purchase all of them. My chat, you're a fool. Eight mornings is huge. So I want to make sure I have everything that has the word exhume. Has this little trait to it. I want to draw basically as many of these as I can. Get a couple of these. Seek is kind of like a two-way street with it. I don't think I want it for the challenge. Normally this would be amazing. Right? Like, we have the Queen's Gambit kind of ability, so drawing, like, eight of those is insane. So even in, like, a so Like, I think Stranger definitely benefits from being splashed more than being solo. Not that it's bad solo. It just clearly has, like, a lot of nonsense potential with Mourning. Like, it makes other decks... It makes other colors more consistent by splashing it, and it's still really good by itself. So, so far, I would say probably... Traveler is still my favorite solo color. 
maybe strangers above oracle for me now that we have some of the cards we don't even have all of them and a lot of them are just really useful like full teleport three damage in a massive aoe is huge uh the ability to damage and heal everything is huge they have a million mobility options as far as i'm concerned and you have like little cheeky infinites without needing to do anything here i don't think infinite kunai will help us in what we're looking to do here I could take four re heals though, I guess. So yeah, so like we even have, it even has recast abilities. Like it's just really good, honestly. I'm just gonna take all the teleports. So we're gonna go in with like, what? A minimum of 40, I think it'll let us do. So we're eventually gonna need like a million prayer cards. And technically we might get lucky and we might be able to draw the other archetypes for the other boss so we're probably gonna need to bring in basically eight prayers <laughs> i don't think any less than that will really work question is what do i want to do here Heart is suffering's poison and remove poison and heal it based on poison value i'll simply like apply poison on the target interesting so i can basically cure myself with poison if i need to kind of an interesting utility card Fire shot that inflicts seven poison. Uh, swapping places with enemies is sometimes useful. Let's do a couple of those. I don't really like RNG stuff. I'm gonna be like, no thanks. If I'm playing like an ultra tanky build, maybe. I think I really care about any of these other ones. Mailstorm would be amazing if we could spawn more enemies. For allies to take the damage. Like if we split a slime, for example, it lets us deal more damage to the slime. But I'm not really sure. I'm not really convinced about the rest of these. Let's try to go for seven more cards. I think that's the bare minimum we need to continue. Time checkers is an interesting way to get AP. I'm gonna be careful I don't have too many Exum cards, because right now we have like 16 or something ridiculous. So, just take a couple of damaging cards. Can't discard shield, okay, so that was one of the changes they mentioned. We'll do a lot of bull dashes. That should be fun. Let's try that same deck again. We're just going for the easy challenge clear, and then we'll try beating the other one first try. So I think we're making progress. We completed the Traveler. Hopefully we beat another boss. That puts us on pace for dealing with other things. I'm like, I have one card. <laughs> I really need to draw more. So I exhume for free here. That's kind of an unfortunate draw. I want to take damage here on purpose. Please hit me. Thank you. Oh, it even counts overheal. Interesting. We need more cards to exhume. Did our zombie just hit the gravestone and then end his turn? Kinda sucks. Hmm. We just need to keep drawing more exude. We should be good. Or more cards that could be. Used. 
So it's just it's a free two damage. Kind of nice. Hopefully our exhumed thing kicks in before we draw. This is where our draw. This is where this going first makes a difference. Perfect. Oh, if it poly kills the teleport. That's fair. Okay, now I think we're exhuming more than we've drawn, which is good. That's what I want to be doing. Next turn, I'm going to try to burn as many cards as I can. We'll take the challenge. We'll exhume. We're running a card draw. We should exhume the next set of cards. That's a card draw. Drew a morning, which is interesting. So basically, I just need to do stupid things over and over. I don't even have to do things efficiently. Just so that I'm constantly drawing more cards here. That's all that matters. So I should have done this more than I've done the other abilities. Oh, getting this back is kind of sick. Nice. So I should I should roll again with Exhum. It's huge. I don't want to recycle my graveyard. Is the thing is that it is. Oh, I drew before I exhumed. Oh no, I exhumed anyway. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Kill this target. Here. Go diagonal. Draw random cards. So I just need to make sure for every card I draw, we draw at least two more. We should be fun. And plus, with our trinket constantly exhuming, it could be fun. Solar Arrival into probably nothing for now. That's probably fun. Let's use the Night Jump here. Get a recast. And we'll exhume up to three, right? I just want to just burn cards so that way I can exhume them. That's huge. Although, interestingly, that time I exhumed before I drew. Why is that? Because I last time I thought I drew two, then drew two from exhum. Unless I misread the animation. Thing. You. You. Love the night movement. You. I'd actually just like to leave the dungeon if we can. Damn. Swap places with him. Hmm. have like a lot of good projectiles with this. I guess I'll just fail the challenge real quick. That should be fun. We should exhume three. Oh, now I'm like thinking like, wait. <laughs> Why does it seem to sometimes trigger before the draw? I feel more confused now. I feel like something weird happened. I mean, it doesn't change my strategy. Just find it weird. Uh. Uh. Soft. Oh. Okay. I was like, did you soft lock me? 
I was like, don't you dare. Did you did you feel that pause? What was that? Like four seconds? Holy. It had to think about that. It was like, I have no idea what to do. I thought for sure it's off locked. It that gave me a long time. Just nothing happening. Uh, let's do something like this. The game did have a brain freeze. That was kind of scary. Damn, actually ended. I don't really care if they root me. The odds of them killing me are basically zero. Oh, look, they exhumed me a card. How cute. I'm still rooted. That's so sad. But basically, I just kind of god stomp all over them. There's nothing they can do about this. That ability is just so powerful. I definitely feel like the stranger cards are a tear up. Like, they are both damage, mobility, and healing as well. I think they might be better than Traveler cards. I think Traveler has like an engine built in where it could get like near infinite card draw or like near infinite AP. And I think that's why Traveler will still always be relevant. But this is just insane for a monocolor. Okay, I feel pretty safe in that we have probably dealt with these enemies. I really like the Key Blast. I wish we had more of those. I like the chest movement dealing 4 damage. I could just choose to move there, which is kind of neat. So it's like, it's just a better version of Cardinal Shot, honestly, for me. Yeah, the game definitely spooked me a little there. I wasn't sure what it was doing. I don't need to dodge. <laughs> right, Chad? They're in my world now. I don't I don't have to care about anything. That was stranger. I'm a little sad this place never gets me asthma. Sure, we'll bull we'll rush into danger. Who cares? Funk. We'll stun him for sure. Using it for its intended purpose, how dare we? See, so yeah, with the stranger's ability to heal constantly, I'm not really that worried about anything at all. If I'm in like a slightly bad position, that's fine. The only thing that it's missing at this point to make it like the perfect solo one is it doesn't allow multiple AP. If it had AP gain, like Traveler can has like four million cards that give it, I then I would put this as the number one slot. I think AP is very important in this game. So there's not a lot of easy ways to Gain it on some of the colors. Uh, we'll come over here. Because whatever we do just does not matter at all. Hopefully we draw another card that allows me to draw an exhume. A little disappointed we didn't. That's fun. Oh, now we get it. Whatever. Yeah, that'll make up for the card draw we had earlier. We're one cast away from exhuming again. The only thing we need to refresh at the card restore is uh, anything related to exhume. It's such a beautiful card. I love that it kills before I go there too. Like I wanna, I wanna state how unfair this is. Think about movement skills that normally take the place of the enemy. Normally, like you, if you pounce, you'll probably get hit by like the AOE explosion and stuff like that. But like, this one is just fantastic. I mean, look at the mobility I have here. It's, like completely insane how unfair that is. Like sharp dash might lead me near a target, kinds of things. This one doesn't matter. And it even ends up being like a draw three. So this Curio, I think, is probably the best. Now that the Strider Glove has been nerfed, I think this is my new favorite one. I kind of wish there were other ways to exhume on other archetypes. as like a rare one of fun of card. But oh well. 
Can't have it all. Yeah, the fact that it can uh, exhume three means I could purposely just choose not to restore my cards, which is an interesting decision, tactically. Okay, I think we can complete a dungeon floor, right? I I'm assuming I've passed this. Unless it doesn't count the bonus dungeon. But I feel like I exhumed a million cards. Okay, there we go. It counted. Go in the mirror. We'll talk to you. How is your progress with Mastering Chaos? Going well? Really? These are more complex tasks, so good luck. <laughs> Alright, so we just reported it in. I have to clear with five different archetypes. Is there anything else we did not just straight up purchase? <laughs> right, chat? Like, I guess we could send target mob to another floor. Why not? False promise. Knight's jump. Oh, Knight's jump's fun. Oh, why wasn't I purchasing these? Oh, yeah. Let's put them up to sevens. Place target, then place an alpha star at the target's rotation. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, see, this cautious dash, this is what we're going to have in the other one, because it's a way of being defensive and having mobility, so I have no reason to not just, like, cap these, honestly. Let me just cap these. Will I even hold on money? I don't know if I really care about the rest of these. Another seek would be good. Honestly, I might just get, like, nine seeks. One more prayer. Grave summons is good. We'll get a couple of these. i got nothing better to do with my gems at this point. In fact, how much would it cost to just buy out the store? Not that much, I don't think. Do that then. There we go. <laughs> we can also just toss money at them. That one's kind of funny. We're at, for the first time in a while, we're at a semi-reasonable money total. So much money indeed. Well, I guess I can buff the boosters. Not that I think it matters. Yeah, we have as many knowledge gems as we want. I think basically rune-wise we're good. Oh, I forgot where the other beer was. Let's take it again so I can remember. I saw it earlier, but I was like, where does that go? Oh, what's up there? I don't think that would have helped me, honestly. Anyway, um, bu -bu 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 -bu. I guess we'll open the packs, actually. Oh! It could give you something other than... Golden Pack of Fortunes. That's actually big. That might actually give us new cards, then. Yeah, see, we got almost all of our gems back immediately. While still getting things like Alpha Star, which is a good boss killer. Hoppy Five Premonitions. I do love that card. Alright, let's see if we got any new ones from this one. More Nightmares. Oh, new card. Black Hole. Destroy target unit and spawn a black hole in its place. Precious units around at the end of the round. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. Here, what a chat. What an important pickup to get before we went into the next dungeon. I just have the, the point and kill and it kills everything near it. Chat, just point your finger. Gone. Be gone. This is perfect for what we're about to be doing. That was very timely. Alright, let's let's clear this. I think I'll leave it on Exhume 3. So we probably want as many seeks as possible. The question is, do I want HP? I probably want one thing of HP. Because I'm not feeling confident about the build yet. Let's just get a little little taste of HP. Because that also means I can heal more. So I think that'll kind of play into what I want to do. So I want basically as many seeks as I can. I want a lot of mornings. I need some good generic cards. Key Blast is here. Um, I'll take one Dig Deep. I want as many Gravestones as possible. I want as many Queen's Arrivals as possible. I want as many Solar Arrivals as possible as many knights jumps as possible. Do we have a lot of really good seek targets now? Black hole absolutely going in the deck. 
Um... We'll get at least five bad breaths. Where's the zip part? There it is. Get five zips. I don't think I want more than this. I don't know how much we're gonna fight stealth monsters in the tower. This is more of a, I just don't know. Because it, it would be very much a waste to bring otherwise. I could get bull dashes. Um, I should have a decent amount, because I can exhume while I'm waiting to draw my exhume cards. I think I could just stock up with more cards that look like they'd be usable. Oh, we need prayers. So we need a lot of prayers. Um... Alright, we should be able to cycle the prayers to some extent. Hopefully this is good enough. So we have, like, all my movement abilities, black hole, something that gets around in vulnerability. I could use with a few less zips, I guess. Yeah, let's let's tune down our number of zips. I want to increase the odds of me drawing prayer. Let's try with just 70 cards and see how I feel about that. So if we draw any prayers, we should be able to draw a seek to get them. And that means I could just basically draw into mourning and stuff like that as well. But the question is more how often do I get card restore? I don't feel like this is very greedy. I feel like I've thought this through pretty well. So we have, you know, seven seek targets for seven seeks. Two, three, four, five, six. Technically seven with bad breath. So I think we have an okay amount. We have a dig deep. We have the gravestone summons. Do so we have a lot of ways to potentially exhume or draw into it? I guess the question is if there's a five of something that I want, I would consider putting it in here. I guess it could summon Spiderlings as decoys. They are surprisingly useful at taking attack detention. I don't know if there's something that was more useful to use, comparatively. Like if Helpless Frogs was any good. I don't think we ever played with that. Oh, Infinite Kunai. Uh, we'll, ha we'll have the one of fun of Infinite Kunai. <laughs> if we draw it, we draw it. <laughs> that, that will make up potentially running out of other abilities. Um... I don't think I really care about most of these other abilities. Spiderlings definitely are our weakest card, but exhuming it is kind of funny. Like Poison 3 and Disease 3. I don't know if we're gonna fight a lot of healers. I don't think I care about causing status ailments for the most part. Ollie hit heals. It's kind of funny. In... We, we do have anti-heal technically with bad breath. It does hex. I guess with it hexing, I could afford to do one more. Oh, Chad, look, it's, it's so confused. I think we're going to say... Oh, yeah, see, there's where we're using Jettison to make Raider playable. I do think red-green is a good combo. Um... I probably like that more than our other deck that's here. So let's see how this feels. I have a good amount of cards. Basically about a quarter of my deck I can't exhume. But I have a ton of things to seek out. So if I draw any, anything, I can just hold Seek and then draw into craziness. Obviously, Queen's Arrival, Grave Summon, or even some of the Morning cards are pretty big to draw. But the problem is, like, I really need to get to Prayer. So hopefully I didn't over upper. So I have a 10% chance of drawing it on the first card, and it goes up over time. I don't want to get flooded with them, and we do have Seek to kind of fix that. Maybe that'll be fine. We also have Infinite Kunai as backup, as I said before. I guess we'll try going to the tower for the first time in a while. But before I do that, anything else I should do? Yeah, okay. So we have bonus health to survive hits. That allows us to store up more health, because we naturally have a lot of healing cards. 
I'm assuming that's, you know what, I'm not playing too greedy here. I think this should be fine. With Exhum, I'm not as worried about having a max deck size. And 70 plus cards is already pretty good to begin with. So the fact that I'm going to be getting like 15 to 20 extra cards on top of that, the cycle ability is pretty big. Right, so I immediately drew a morning, which is fun. Go to floor 10. So I could just go to floor 10, apparently, because I've cleared it before. Interesting. That does make the tower a bit more fair, I will say. I was worried I'd have to clear it all in one go. So I guess I'll go to floor 10. So based off of what it's saying here, so it'd be 10, 20, 30, 40. So there's 40 floors of the tower. Okay. That's kind of neat, I guess. It's a way of extending the dungeon. I don't think there's anything too crazy that I want here. We'll pick up bonus shards. Would have mattered more if we're going for guild toss. Let's take the normal warp here. Most of these rooms should- or most of these floors should be pretty short, like three or four rooms or less before we go to the next area. <sighs> Why can't I go here? Would have been so good. I don't have to- oh, just- oh yeah, speaking of which, actually Kirk, we were talking about this before about card design. How come this gets a kill ability and Raider doesn't? <laughs> Chat, why doesn't Raider get kill? Look, they even have it, Kirk. Where's Raider's kill cards? They got like two of them? So disappointing, Kirk. Because they like, think about it. They have the one where like if you kill and you, you know, you could teleport to them. But they don't have like a regular projectile giving you bo bonuses or stuff like that. So they don't even need a new mechanic, based on what we mentioned before. Um... Wow, that is so powerful, actually. So these enemies potentially do have stealth, which is interesting. I can't go where boxes are. Well, that's important to know, I guess, for later. Let the enemy come towards me. So if I did have anti-stealth, it would have been useful here. Unfortunately for them, I have a lot of really good ways to heal. So the more cards we play, the more we can exhume. And I think on average we're going to exhume upwards of like 15 cards with our relic per, per area, I think. I mean, look at the look at this chat. This is just wow. Exhuming this is insane. It's gonna be so gross. Yeah, we could cycle those cards over and over again. That's super good for us. I still have heal cards, by the way. Speaking of exhuming. Let's hopefully just redraw those. Hell yeah. I could just kill those instantly. I have no reason to not do this. I could just eliminate these here. Damn. J just look at that chat. Just damn. This this is what this is what top tier feels like, chat. Do you even do anything? Are you just throwing a projectile? You're so done. Alright, chat, sit down. Actually unfair. And then we're gonna exhume those cards back. That's the best part, Kirk. Look at that. Ugh. Actually busted. <laughs> so I only have two cards in the grave so far. So Traveler does burn through their cards pretty quickly. Whereas Stranger does not. So on longer dungeons like this, I could definitely see Stranger pulling ahead. 
So I, I, I think we can all agree we, we're feeling the tears of the card. Like, Raider, Raider feels like booty until you get to, like, the four and five stars, and it feels, like, borderline unusable until then. Oh, my God. Just look at this, chat. Just, oh, just dump on him. What are they looking to do? Who cares? Perish. You know what? I'll just hop over to them with the night move. So good. So just, we're going to draw another card. So we have like 20 other ways to exhume in our deck as a reminder. We haven't drawn any Seeks. We also haven't drawn any Prayers, which is a bit concerning. We do need to draw those at some point. So I'll just teleport on in. Who cares? Get rid of you. Oh, right. Small well, mistake, but that's fine. Ooh. Let's see. I guess I could do something like this. And just heal up on the other enemy. Yeah. Let's heal. That's so fair. Okay, Chad, you can misplay for days with Stranger. Not punished. So, what is the goal here? Kill oh, kill a unit while you're there. I mean, I could technically do the teleport stuff, but that's... Just wow. Man, exhuming that every turn is disgusting. Holy, the Queen Teleport. I don't even think it's like that high rank. Is that only like, is it that? Can I check what it is? I don't think I can. I can see what it is. I can't see how many stars it is. I'm curious if it, I'm assuming it's at least a four star. I don't think it was a five star. Black Hole's a five star. We've only just started getting it. There's the prayer. Right, so let's copy. Welcome, Charlie. Hope you're doing well. Oh, no. Chad, not Divine Cross. Speak and you shall be disappointed. Oh, this is actually kind of bad for us. Uh. Um... I'm not in a good position to deal with any of this. This is very awkward. I guess I'll bad breath it. Poison him. Shouldn't be able to do that much. Sadly, he's immune to Hex. We're gonna get hit here, I think, no matter what. What I could try to do is this. Spawn some blockers. That way next turn he just takes massive damage. All right, that works. Doomed again. Godlike. Wow. It's actually GG. I think he's just dead. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> just getting hard bullied. Holy. Are we gonna exhume a card? And draw the prayer. We just need to draw into prayer and then we're fine. Uh, I do not want to recycle our cards. That would be so sad. I could heal for one. I'm not sure how much that really matters. Hopefully you're doing well, Charlie. We're experimenting with the new uh, archetype. We didn't really play very much before. But it looks very, very, very unbalanced. Just fine. We don't have to always believe in balance. Wow, the fact that it can hit both of them like that is kind of bonkers. Wish that would target 
this thing. doing this turn, you're just gonna move. Let's say kick him over here and deal with the clan. I do this for maximum? Doing this turn. Punish the clam. Well, there's Seek. So if I can draw a prayer again, that would actually be huge. But he's gonna kill the clam automatically. I don't have to do anything. So just get out of the way there. So now we just need to draw into prayer, and then we're good. So I could cycle that card nearly endlessly. Um. really matters. We're gonna burn this. Wish we could. Wish we had a prayer in hand. So if we get another prayer in hand, it's over. Alright, so we're gonna exhume three. Hopefully that will be prayer, because then I can seek the rest of the prayers. And then we could go Wombo Combo. Or if it's Queen's Gambit, I can draw all the Queen's Gambits, like, immediately. There's a prayer. We drew into the prayer. To... Or that was Solar Arrival. Damn, we drew everything but the one I wanted. <sighs> we could have had multiple prayers. That's fine. We'll, we'll just pull them all now. That's a lot. So basically, we just need to keep moving in here, and we should be fine. Uh, the question is more... What do I want to do in the meantime? Do I feel like teleporting? Should probably move in a little bit. Use a prayer card. Again, these are just free cards forever. They don't count towards our hand size. So prayer potentially lets us build up for a boss. So it is like Oracle in that sense, where if you're allowed to just sit here and build up, it is pretty broken. And then we can exhume all of them from the grave again with a Seek. That's pretty good. I could have Seek to Seek, though. I think that might have been a slightly better play, but whatever. We'll live with our decisions. Teleport to target position, gain 1 AP. Oh. Wait. <laughs> wait. Wait a minute. Hold on. There's a teleport that just gains AP? Wait, there is still Traveler cards we haven't seen yet? Um. Oh, okay. I guess I'll look forward to that later. Hmm. We don't have, like, really good damage options right now, sadly. Like, even if I bull rush here, I can't kill this target. Hmm. Guess I could do... Do you have to... Because ah, you're out of kill range, which makes that more annoying than that should be. I don't mind taking damage. Damage is fine. I just want to make sure that we are setting up for big damage in the future. I could weaken them if I need to. Just wait until I get hit, too. That might work better. You're going to start spawning annoying things. Let's wound you. That's fine if we get rooted. What we want to do is... Probably just keep praying. And we probably want to start finishing off our foes. You're gonna attack me this turn. Would like to not deal with that if we don't have to. Three, perfect. I drew one of the many cards that I was hoping to draw. We had a lot of outs, don't get me wrong. We just kill these guys instantly. I think I want to do that. I can choose to seek Queen's Gambit if I want to. I think I 
If I want to set up for the boss, I should probably keep praying. Sadly, I don't know what floor the boss is on. But either way, at least I could say I built up a hilarious number of cards. You're not going to hit me because you're going to do the 360, right? Yeah. So again, we have a ton of copied cards. Sadly, the Stranger cards are probably the least valuable. Go ahead and exhume. Get more prayers. Honestly, do I even need to move if you're just going to charm me? I don't think I do. Oh, I did Solar Arrival by accident. Oops. I mean, that's also fine. Now we've got a good rotation going in. That means I could just draw my prayers back. Yeah, that's fine. To me, it doesn't matter in the long run. Like, ultimately, I'm still going to get what I want from this. Which is hilarious. The fact I could just keep spamming this is insane. Like, look at this. Kind of worth it. Now we've got good retrievals in the grave. It does make the prayer a little more awkward to get to. That's okay. That's why we're going to keep sacrificing them to the grave. And sadly, we can even draw copies of prayer in theory. The blind knife is okay. Ancient gaze inflict petrify on our units with less current health than the amount of stranger runes equipped. Should be basically everything. Most things have less than five health. So we have an oracle card, a traveler card, a raider card. We just need a warden card and then we're done. Oh, we have one. Okay. So, I, so the challenge is already completed, technically. I just have to get to the point where I might be able to use this. So sadly, because we have so many cards, we're basically never going to be able to do much of anything. In terms of drawing more cards, we have to burn these before we can draw more. But fortunately, the more that we use, the better off we are. We're going to exhume three next turn. I got a pretty good odd of getting another prayer back. Speaking of which. So we're building up a lot of card advantage. If we could get AP gain, this would be huge for us. Got Gamma Star. That's okay. Uh, I'm just going to come in the room and basically one-shot it. Yeah, that seems fair. So if we could keep drawing the Queen's Gambit and everything else, I think we're fine. Again, if we take damage, I don't know if it really matters. I think it's better just to keep copying random cards. Oh, copycat? Oh, no. <laughs> Chad, oh, no. You gave me copycat? Oh, no. We have so many things that could be duplicating. Wow, I mean, I might as well go for it, right? Where's the downside? We're going to teleport into a prayer. And use copycat? Yeah, that seems fair. We don't have a lot of AP gain, but man. <laughs> Just, we have so many choices. Now I can copy another random card with prayer, because it's funny. But I think I'll save it for when we need to get our curio count up. I love that I had four turns to clear the room, but like it just absolutely doesn't matter with Stranger. So, 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 so ridiculous. Oops. Where's my mouse? Give me a second. <laughs> or not. Give me one second. Weird. Okay, we're good now. I guess the game was hiding it. We exhumed again, and we drew another prayer, because life is unfair. So now we just need to start drawing the Queen's cards again. Otherwise, we just heal two every turn. Which is still pretty insane. They're going to self-destruct and do whatever. As long as I move a little bit, we should be good.
there's an example where I need our curio count to go up. We're gonna copy, we're gonna use prayer to play another one, which should count towards the curio. It did. Good, good, good. I could still potentially build it up there. Double the value of all effects currently applied on the target. Okay, that could be good with the hex breath. I'm not gonna slot it in my deck on purpose, but that's fine. So we're now bracing the chaos and RNG of everything. Which, to be fair, it is, it is working pretty well. So kind of like Oracle normally just building up a million copy cards. We got some interesting utility. Sadly, some of them I'm just going to use for the sake of using them. Like, I don't super care about Turtle Push. Golem Swing at least stuns targets. So if I'm at a bad position, that's not bad. Yeah, Escape Route is a nice pickup. Barrage is a nice pickup. Dream River is pretty mediocre. Flash is really good because it's AP. Divine Cross is actually pretty good. Compared to some of the other stuff we have. Not sure it's like the best possible, but... Yeah, so we need to start burning abilities like immediately. So if I move over to... We will hit more than one target with this, but what are you doing? You're gonna hit me for damage. I don't think that matters. It's more important I shut this down. Yeah, I think that's more important. I'll take damage for that. So they're, they're basically dead without me needing to do anything else. Um... teleport in and melee. I think that would probably make sense. Get our curio usage out of the way. You're not going to do anything of interest. You're going to die over time. You're also going to die over time. I think it really matters what I do here. We're going to exhume three, which is huge. Hopefully we draw a cream card back. Oh, we got more solar arrivals, which I just said before is probably okay. Ooh, what's that card? Road to Riches. Jump to target tile or any tile in range with loot. If collected, draw one. Okay, draw potential. We're gonna go ahead and teleport it on here, because it's funny. Yeah, we still have a lot of great cards. I have very little to worry about at the moment, which is also a good feeling. our hand against this. I'm gonna play more prayers. You're not gonna hit me this turn, are you? No, you're not. Are you gonna hit me this turn? Or... Alright, let's go in the corner. And I'm gonna use a prayer. Ooh, I love Shuriken. It's either Shuriken... It might be Shuriken Storm, actually. Which is fine. Regular Shuriken. So that's another AP gain card. So this is huge. This is a pretty good card to save for a boss battle. So we have two AP gains. So I guess that's I guess that solves the problem of the class not normally having AP. Just draw into every other class's abilities. It's fine. Let's do something like this to remove their stealth. Uh, I probably just want to teleport in place, right? Maybe not. Is there any other basic thing that I want to use here? Pushes them away. Kills the other guy. It has an okay chance of killing. <laughs> I should spin to win at some point because it is funny. Unfortunately, he's got three health bars. Or not three health bars, he's got uh, three pips left. Make it annoying to kill him. Alright, let me teleport over here. And I guess while this thing is trying to figure out how to grab me, let's use this. Wow, it targeted me. That sucks. Wow, chat. What was that? A one in five? Brutal. Brutal and sad, in that order. Kill one of those. I 
could use the knight for movement or bishop to kill the far target. Oh. Wait, was that not lined up with it? That's fine, I'll just jump over here. Should be good. Alright, so I should start being able to draw cards again, which is huge. That enemy is kind of annoying for us. Having a lot of health bars... Unless I draw Black Hole, I don't have, like, an easy option against the target. What is this? ME 1291 shards or else? Uh. Just a gatekeeper. They took all of our money, but... Spoilers, I don't really care about money. That's all he does, I guess. Whatever. Uh, is it worth exhuming? I don't think quite yet. I mean, restoring the exhumed cards. I think we're good. I still have a lot of draw potential. Money's for losers who use charge weapons, something like that. I mean... I don't have any good ways to get the Queen's Gambit. I guess I should look at how many of our... We only have two mornings. We haven't drawn any of our Seeks. You know what? Let's just keep going. If I draw a single Seek, we should be fine. Or a single Morning. Be good. Maybe in, like, three floors I'll take it. Which, again, I don't feel like I'm being all that greedy. Like, we're going to be exhuming basically every other turn. They're gonna punish me for staying here, which kind of blows. We're gonna move over and then use Prayer. Drawing kind of bad cards with prayer, which is a bit unfortunate. Need to start hitting big or drawing into something interesting. Good spiderling, but we really need to get out of here. But could Knight teleport out of here? But then, where does that lead me for damage? Yeah, second wind is just very mediocre. I mean, it's, it's fine to have as a backup, but it's not what I'm looking for to get out of this situation. So basically, we just need to draw into our Queen's cards. We have a decent chance of drawing into them. We still have, I think, four in the deck. And we can draw any of our Morning cards and also potentially get what we need. Um... I don't like the situation that I'm in currently. We're gonna buff him, which is fine. I need to not get hit by this. Will you... You punish me if I go there, you will not. Okay, that's big. Okay. They have a lot of health. Do we have all these copy cards? But I don't think they're worth using yet. I don't remember how Petrify works. I might need more stacks of it for it to be useful. So I could just burn this for the sake of burning this at some point. He's not attacking. He hitting me there doesn't matter. Mostly just want to get out of the knight's range. The knight should take damage here. There we go. We drew what I was looking for. Which was an out. Oh, so never mind. That is just a game over. Damn, if only we had more of those. I don't need, like, a ton of those. But even just having, like in the deck would be huge. No, any count of Petrify at all is an instant game over. Assuming that everybody gets Petrified. That's pretty huge. Um... Still don't think it's worth resetting our deck yet. I need to basically just burn these cards. Like, I'm gonna get rid of Spiderling. And get rid of Prayer. 
That way we could draw more cards. Did I draw? Dash to direction summoning barricade walls and three damage to any unit collided with. Um, I don't think it's good to spend our arrivals. But for now, I'm not going to do anything with them. Oh. So we actually completed the floor. I mean, I'm just going to keep going, right? Why would I leave? <laughs> right, Chad? I'm like, wait. We have so many cards built up. I don't see a reason to leave until we at least see the boss. Um, I'm gonna say no to you. So this is just another dash skill. Okay, I was curious how that worked. Damn, I want to draw Seek so bad, Chad, and we just cannot draw it. It's so sad. We have a lot of heal cards. Is there anything worth using? I don't want to use my AP ups yet. That does injure them and then put them in range for a barrage, maybe? Maybe that's actually worth it? We could just use any of these other abilities in the boss battle. Yeah, I guess that was worth it. Huh. Huh. I guess we're seeing the synergy of Traveler Warden. Oh, we're getting more prayer cards, so I'm just obviously gonna use more prayers. Because these are fine. These are just basically gimmies. What is this? Bestow Retaliate 1 and Inflict 1 to first target Rob, then first target inflicts... or 1 to second... Oh, oh, we can throw our money now. Picked up to 10 instances and 1 damage for every 250. Okay, so we have our boss kill. I just need to get money as we play. I forget how to see how much money we have. Only, only 130. I spent it earlier. That's kind of unfortunate. Well, maybe it'll be useful eventually. Rip. Wait, that doesn't hit this target? Is there a reason this doesn't hit that other target? That I should- what? Oh, it was just glitch. Oh, of course. Chat, chat, of course, never mind. Of course. Of course it's a good Um, I think this is more ideal for me. Getting the targets out of stealth is huge here. Kill you before you do anything terrible. Oh, I didn't realize I was in range of the Tesla. That's kind of annoying. Let's heal and then kill. We should get another exhume. We have some decent AoE, and I'm gonna finally draw. Oh, my okay. bad. And we can finally draw into something fun. Ooh, interesting. Um. What health do they have? Six. You will be aggressive. I don't want to have the warlock running wild. If I walk forward, I can root the room. Maybe I'll do this. Is there a gravestone, maybe? I mean, we should be able to summon like a million monsters at this point, which is why I was also thinking this is good. This should be huge. We should get a lot of damage, because we should go first. So we just outright killed the target because they were hexed. Just huge. I basically don't have to do anything in this room, it's already over. Oh, end turn, I guess. <laughs> right, Chad? I mean, that's kind of sick. Can we just exhume? 
through the bad breath again. I mean, that's a pretty good counter to them. Sadly, I didn't hit the thing to get healing, but that's fine. They can exit, but let's let's go into another room. Take a challenge room? Yeah, sure. This looks pretty easy. Okay. Free kill. Here. heal if I need to. So I could make them fight each other. I think that's the intent of it. I could do multiple sets of damage, which is okay. Draw a wall here, which is probably fine. Or curio a little more. I probably want to hex this thing and poison it. Oh, I don't need to worry about them at all. I see one glowing and one not glowing. He drew basically what I wanted, so GG, I guess. Again, we're getting tons of healing, which is really nice. a little more. I'm gonna keep one for healing for later. I don't think I really care about Command Thorn that much. I could just get rid of it at some point. I could nice jump there, but that feels like a waste. What do you do again? You heal each other. Okay. Then I probably want to get rid of you to do anything else. Stupid AoE damage when struck. The other guy's already dead, I just have to walk out of here. Hard. I'll take healing if it's on that floor, otherwise we'll do further. Still have a lot of ways to heal. Not feeling super weird or anything. Points. I guess going forward we won't pay the shards with the idea that we'll draw into the one where we could throw and get abilities. Gotta save up for those Jaya uses. Hmm. No. I really like this combination of enemies, to be honest. I can't see how far this hits either. I could just go for the easy heal. Try something like this. We'll get healing and maybe activate the Tesla. No, I didn't do anything. Thanks, game. I'm gonna spider lane just as a decoy. Cycle our cards out a little more. End our turn here, I think. Perfect. <gasps> they teleport into the heal. That was disgusting. And what are we gonna zoom into? Oh, perfect, actually. We still have a lot of heal cards, which is why I said before I'm really happy we brought the extra health. Because if I mess up, it doesn't really matter. And we're definitely taking as many shards as we could get. Every 250, I think, is another throw. So right now it does, uh, what is it? Potentially three damage, but it gets through, like, multi-health bars. If we could save it up, we might do, like, a one-shot. Oh, we have 1570 now? Never mind, we have a lot more than I thought. That's actually pretty significant, because getting 6 damage is pretty huge. Um... I could bull dash, but that just puts me in a really bad position. 
you have a lot of movement, if I remember correctly. You're, you are the one that I'm worried about. Not in range to do anything either, which is really awkward. I guess I could move back down in this space. And I could bad breath them if I need to. So you're immune to disease, but not immune to poison hex, which is interesting. So I could hit both of them with this. I think this would be worth it. And just get the easy kill here. So eventually the other guy will just die. I could walk up and use the knight ability if I need to. Actually, he's in a perfect position to punish. Oh, he can attack diagonal. Interesting. Well, time to back up then. <laughs> Just stall him out with poison. Oh, we drew the other queens. Nice, nice. I just need to get rid of a card. Can't use it arbitrarily. Unfortunate. Uh, I could root you in place. Uh, I don't like how spread out these are. This kind of sucks. Like, I could, in theory, hit some of these. Although, interestingly... Well, maybe because it only does damage as enemies, that's why the other one didn't work, because they don't technically count as enemies. Even though I really think they should, but whatever. So if I burst this thing down, I don't need to deal with the room. The question is, can I burst it down? I've only drawn one raider card so far, which is concerning. So I can't use it arbitrarily. That would get me out of danger. Feels like such a bad use of the teleport, though. If I move one further forward, at least I could teleport over here and get started. Then it doesn't line up with the thing I actually need to damage. Uh, this feels terrible. Like, I could do that, but then I would get punished really hard. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I guess, bull dash for now. That way I could draw another card and also exhume. Okay, got another heal, which is good. Let's take care of the enemies here. We're going to teleport over here, I think. huge for us. And if we move again, be out of range. Yes. And okay, we finally dealt with the threat. And depending on how much damage he has... Oh, this should work, then. Maybe we'll do something like this. Use some chest movements. Deal with the enemies. Perfect. I'd like to take a heal if we could. Yeah. Might reset an exhume here. We, saw, we somehow have not drawn our seeks. Like, remember, chat, we have seven in the deck. We used one. Like, there's 40 cards left, and we just cannot seem to draw it. So I'll go a little further without resetting our cards. That's fine. Oh, he's asking for more than we have. Never mind, I do have less than I thought. Now we drew our seek, which is huge. That means I could draw all my queen's gambits out of the deck. I think I do want to do. 
That way we can get this card more guaranteed. I think Chad would agree. Like, this card is just so overwhelmingly powerful. I, I need to draw it basically as often as possible. That's huge. Like, just two of those in a row just cleaned up the entire room. And I'm gonna Curio it, more likely than not, again. Yeah, see, we got it back again. And I get another prayer. This is what I'm talking about. Kill him with Sniper. Look at how many cards we have in hand chat. Like, this is insane. Let's go start duping more cards. So we have more options. I think I got another heal spell, which really sucks, because I don't want those. Uh, draw another card. We got a good. Oh, okay. The bug can potentially be a decoy. I'll take that. I mean. I mean, at this rate, I have pretty much the perfect graveyard. I still have a million seeks left. We have five left to draw. So maybe in like floor 26, I'll reset it. But like right now, I don't care. We have like such a beautiful hand. I'll do whatever I want. I guess it makes more sense to teleport here first, like this. We'll take the damage. Zoom. Perfect. So many targets killed basically instantly. Love it. Rid of the real threats. Ooh, you restore the enemy to full health. That's kind of annoying. Interestingly, I can poison that. Already lined up. Unhexed before he got hit. That's interesting. Kind of unfortunate. I thought he would get poisoned there. Alright, we're dealing with the clams. We're gonna exhume another three. Perfect. We're gonna use prayer. There's another raider card. Like four damage to target unit if, if target is a prop. Okay, I mean, that's fine. Sometimes we just need damage spells. That's fine. I'll, I'll take that as a raider card over a lot of our other choices. So I can still get a little bit of healing back. We have a ton of cards. I'm just getting rid of these so we don't have to worry about them. Right now we could do four damage with our other attack. We could do a little better, I think. Let's summon Spiderling because it's just free fodder. I don't really care if it gets stunned. If it dies at all, that's exactly what we want it to do. Ooh, morning to get our cards back. That's actually perfect. We drew into a prayer. That's also amazing. So our setup for the boss is insane. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. another three all teleports wow chat oops all teleport oops oh, it hit me i don't even care what are you gonna do about it nothing that's what so i'm basically back at full health again because life is unfair um i have three ways to heal myself so i can get six health back i could shut down any normal encounter i have really strong teleports but with enemies this week, it doesn't really make sense to move or do anything. Let them come to me at this point. Oops. Come to me. And we ended at full health. <laughs> just... What a ridiculous card series. What's in this room? Oh, just these guys. What?
Get rid of one queen ability. I would like to draw a seek at some point again to get our queen back. I think that card is amazing. We might revive one of them, which is fine. Huh. <laughs> we'll wait. We're patient. Bonk. What does this card do? Uh, okay, it was just being weird with me. Draw two for each Warden card in hand, heal two for each Traveler card in hand. Wait a minute. Does that count the copies? <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, chat! Uh oh! Uh oh! <laughs> um, well, we're saving that for later. Holy. Okay, Stranger's the best. Stranger's the best solo color. Chat, uh oh. <laughs> Just draw eight cards? What is that indeed? Holy. Tears are real. I take back what I said. They could get energy gain through RNG. It's inconsistent, but when all your cards are this strong, doesn't matter. Holy. So I could just literally come back from like 5 HP. Just absolutely stomp them. Do I reset the grave is the question. I didn't draw any seeks. If I did, I would, I think. How many seeks do we have left? We have one. A lot of queen arrivals in the grave. Uh, how do I scroll the graveyard? Actually, don't know how to do that with controller. How do you do that? I have no idea, but not being able to scroll that is kind of annoying. We have got at least two mornings in there. We got at least two grave summons. We have several queen arrivals in there. I think I could go one more floor without resetting. Then I'll probably reset it just to get our seeks back up. And we'll just draw live into anything. It doesn't even matter. Only they were like one pile closer to each other. That would have been huge for us. I don't want to bad breath them. I guess I could do something like this. It's more important I take out the the knight, and then I can teleport back on this crew if I need to. That makes more sense. There's our C. Oh, chat. Oh, chat. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Well, well, as we like to say, GG. They they put in a, they, they tried. I just, I don't think it matters. Look at this. I can do whatever I want. Actually unfair. I'm so glad I held out for the Seek chat. You have no idea. Now we can draw things other than Queen's Gambit now. It's huge. Oh, we got more prayers? Yeah, they're gonna need some prayers. Let's get more cards. Uh, we got one that's free AP, so that's good. So we got we got a free boss damager. Let's draw another card. Oh, we got more AP for the boss? Chat, yeah, look at that. So we have three AP gainers for the boss so far. This is this is looking like I just want to go straight to the boss at this point. We even have Shuriken to draw cards, chat, and get more AP. So we actually have a four AP turn on the boss and several ways to teleport out of the way. So we could do whatever we want at this point. It does not matter. Deal with those. I don't really care if they split and hit us. We have like a million ways to heal. I love that I don't have to play carefully at all with this. Like this card is like so powerful. Like, I, like it is literally just gonna instant clear everything I use it on. In fact, we're gonna go to another room to get more fights. 
Like that's how one-sided this is right now. I'm not even I'm not even feeling remotely concerned. No, you're not having my money. Like, oh no, chat, there's a character with retaliate. If only there was a way to hurt the entire room. Oh wait, there is. Of course there is. Holy. Get dunked on. Ideally here I actually don't use another card. But I think it's okay if I do. Not quite lined up with them. They're also not close enough to jump. I want to keep one Queen's Gambit, but I think I need to kill the problem enemies before they do anything. These two in particular get very annoying. Uh, let's move this way. There should exhume three, which might be more Queen's Gambits. Oh my gosh, I drew another one. We're absolutely going to use this to get over here. And I'm absolutely going to use that to get over here, and then I'm going to punish you. I didn't realize the pop-ups were there in-game. That's fine. Let's deal with you, I guess, with a teleport. Have a shield up. That is so awkward. Shield actually made me stop. I was gonna kill him real quick. Before he started regening. But it's okay. I just let him kill the other guy instead. I changed my mind. to draw more prayers, but I don't think it's going to happen. I feel like that's kind of greedy to expect. What's the puzzle in here? I actually physically don't see it. Passive is bad. Okay, I can't kill an enemy while they're there. Which is fine. I mean, I could just do whatever the heck I want, right? Is it while I'm here? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Just wow, chat. Just actually wow. Of course we were gonna pass the don't kill on that tile. Um, if we were not about to draw three... I would have loved to have fought everything in this room. Let's get another fight and then I think reset. Give so much money, chat. Oh, that was bustle. So I can almost deal 10 damage with our boss killer move, by the way. So let's exhume three and then I'll reset our deck, I think. That's so gross. Oh, it's so gross how many cards we just drew. Uh, let's get rid of these. So I'm gonna make sure I... Ooh, that means I won't have a Queen's Gambit. That card is really good. I don't know if I want to do that then. Um... I mean, I probably want to reveal the target. Oh, I should have teleported, actually. Um, well, time to find out. Will this let me target? No. Okay, then, then I can retreat, maybe. There are a lot of annoying enemies here. Let me do this. Just wait for doing anything. Burn more random cards. Let's go. Teleport, I guess. No, that's not good. I guess this should work the way I want it to if I do this. And I can end. Where do I want to end my movement? Maybe here? No. Hmm. I guess over here is fine. I want to deal with the clam. Let's do this. Hopefully the thing does not attack immediately. 
Uh, giving wound kind of is unfortunate. Oh, I got put to No! They put me to sleep! Oh, my bonus cards! Oh, come on. That's unlucky, RNG. That's actually unlucky. Man, they could have put them anywhere in that area. Okay, well now we have no reason to not go reset our stuff. That is so annoying. Yeah, that's really sucky. These enemies real quick. Yeah, we gotta set up the prayer again. That really sucks. Alright, we have prayer again, so I can't afford to reset the cards. I think I'm going to do. Now we now we need a seek versus like like I want a seek. Because I, I can't afford to get the other random cards at this point. Let's get rid of these. Man, that really sucks. You teleport in, kill you, get a revenge. Let's let's reset so we can get the maximum amount of seeks. That way we can guarantee Curio back into the queen. I think is what I'm more interested in. Oh, I don't have the ability to do so on this floor. Uh, it's fine. We'll go another floor then. So unfortunate. So we need to draw something that duplicates prayer, or just exhume it repeatedly. That's sad. So those ended up being the, the nemesis of us more than anything else. Um, I want to do this just to guarantee the kill here. We're going to teleport into a melee, into prayer. Alright, we drew Flame Ring, which is terrible, but at least it's something we could use. I don't know if we need... Do we need to hit the boss or just use the cards? Uh, just have to use the cards this here. The one is back. We're obviously going to take this fight. Drew kind of terribly there, but we drew super good with Exhum. We'll take that. If only they were just like a little, a little closer together, it would have been brutal. Um, what enemy do I deem as the problem enemy? Probably just the casters, but I don't have a good way of lining up with them without moving again. Like technically, I could move up and then queen scam it again. Yes, there's nothing that stops me from doing that. Theory. Need to get some healing. Not worried yet. I don't like this room combo though, I'm not gonna lie. Losing those bonus cards is very brutal. do this so that the, he kills both of these targets. That's what I need to do. Use the damage we take. Oh, the ice slide. I forgot about the ice slide. That really sucks. Uh, not great. I could kill the mage, so we're good there. We need more healing, though. The problem is this ice slide is going to troll us really hard, so I need to do 4 damage. If I teleport here and then use Bishop, we should be good. Alright, so now we're very low in health, but we have a lot of outs. Alright, so I could do damage here. You do damage here with this. Then I can also technically get a. I'm gonna get rid of the Bull Dash, actually. I'm gonna make sure we draw into a seek like immediately. I'm improving the odds. We still have a lot of seeks left. I don't want to reset our hand yet, though. Sadly, we're given the chance. This is the if if we had the cards from before, I would have reset it. Right now, we have to keep going as is. 
Like, I can't afford to not be able to exhume what we're doing here. I'm trying to force us to draw the Seek. Oh, we're at the boss already? Man, that sucks. I forgot it was on the 24th floor. So I don't think I could do the challenge now. Unless we just get really lucky. I'll do this and hope we draw a Seek. Oh, it's just a challenge room. Never mind, I thought it was the boss. Oh no, it is the boss. Did we get lucky? Oh, we did get lucky. Oh, there's the prayer. Uh, what are you doing this turn? Just reanimating, nothing else? That gives me some turns to set up. Alright, we just need more of the other elements and we're good. Alright, we got three. And we're gonna exhum. Alright, so what can physically hit me is the question. You can. You're gonna checkerboard. All of you are gonna checkerboard. Okay. So. Okay, let me think about this. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna use as many prayers as I can. Oh, we got the heal and draw. That could be useful later. Scar just select a library card and copy it two times. Um. I could get rid of a prayer to get more prayers. Not a bad idea. <laughs> right, chat? Like, I do need to draw it. So we did Oracle. So we just need Warden. And the others I can use pretty easily. But we need to be able to zip out of here. It's... I don't... I don't know how to read that. Though it can be hexed. Is it a... I guess it's immune to poison? I guess it's how to read that. Because the five and the immune are overlapping, which is kind of weird. Um... Will you hit me if I go over here, you ill? It is quite annoying. <laughs> I need some time, so let's teleport up here. Oh, you split into other enemies. Oh, I forgot about your gimmick. Um... I just want to be out of melee for like a turn. Can you guys just go away? I guess I could combat slice for more AP. And then use flame ring to get flame ring again. I guess that works. So now we just need warden. Okay, we'll make a comeback, <laughs> despite not being prepared for the boss. I don't think that anything can hit me here, right? That's just all I'm looking to check. In which case, I want to use more of these. Oh, we got a boss damage spell. It's actually huge. So we don't have a lot of cards left in our deck, which is super... I didn't think I was in range of that. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I thought I was out of range. Maybe not, then. Then I am probably in trouble. What do I do? I could zip through, get a shield. Do a lot of damage to the head. I could heal. I think that'll put me at a stone gaze range. Right? Because I it has to have more health than me. I'm assuming it can't work if I'm at 11. I think this is actually fine. I just can't get hit again. I'm assuming this can't work on me because I technically have more HP than it does. I think that's how that works. I could split that really need a movement ability to get out of here. Let's go here. Things doing? Let's go here. Get a shield. 
remain here, I think. Use a bishop just to get rid of it. We'll zoom next turn. I don't think I could hit by the Petrify there, which is huge. It's gonna reanimate the things that did get petrified, which is fine. I don't really care about that. Let us go. We need to keep drawing more cards, so we need to do damage. This boss battle is never gonna end. We have a we have a boss finisher with Brilliant Arrow. I still need to draw a Warden card at some point. Oh no, I did get petrified. Oh, so I am on a time limit. Ugh. So now it's just kind of RNG whether I get what I need. I need a warden card. Beetle for every each, each traveler card in hand. Game one oracle. Uh, we're gonna have to keep casting. It's so unfortunate. I'm gonna choose between winning and getting the achievement. That really sucks, actually. Man, that one sleep set us so far behind. I don't even know what to do at this point. None of the none of the abilities we have in our hand help us is the problem. That really, really sucks. I could summon a bomb beetle. See, like, we have all the payoff cards, but we we no longer have the cards to make them worth using. So we can burst and deal 10 damage. So we just need to survive a little bit longer. I think I'm gonna move here and then Traveler card again. That way we can Curio next turn. Okay, we drew a warding card, so maybe we're in business. So maybe if it considers its overall health, I could out HP it at some point and become immune. Because Ancient Gaze, I think, is equal to its current health. So, in theory, at some point, we should be invincible. So, we can almost destroy one of the fists, which is pretty huge. So, I can. Knights teleport, I think, over here. Then will that be enough to survive this? I think it is. Get rid of you. Alright, so it's one less thing that I have to worry about hitting me. Our health is pretty good, so we just gotta hurt the boss a little this turn. And I think we should be fine. I need the ability to move, dash in a direction, and attack unit at the end with 6 damage. There are exactly 7 library cards in hand. Fortunately, I have 6, so that's not useful. Love the values of current HP with caster's current AP? Absolutely not. Um, Damn, I have no mobility skills at all. That really sucks. I have 14 health now, but I think the boss still is more than me. It's so annoying that I drew no mobility skills. Like, if I could have shot the Brilliant Arrow here, we would be fine. This is going to be real tight, unfortunately. Oh, it's two when you game over, not three. That really sucks. Man. It all happened just because I lost those cards. That really sucks. Also, I thought I had another turn. Ugh. Do I feel like doing that again? That took a while to do. Also, the game is really lagging. So they're still having the issue with random slowdown, which is sad to see. They still have not fixed that issue. So I guess I'll give it one more try, and then I'll give up. So I had it. I just... I might just make myself immune to sleep over bonus health. Because honestly, that was like the only reason we didn't win, was because I got slept at some point due to the stupid jellyfish. I'm not even going to change like anything on our deck, I think it was fine. So we're not going to talk to her. 
there anything I feel like I could have drawn that would have helped me more? I don't think so. Let's change our rune for the funnel area. Just immunity to sleep. I really don't want to lose that again. We never drew our infinite kunai, which was awkward. We had a lot of teleports, but we also just kind of didn't draw them. So we know floor 24 is the floor we have to worry about. Hmm. Not gonna talk to her or the other person there. This is just the Heartland. Came to defeat. Her eye is strong. All's well that ends well. I mean, her eye said this is the key to finally being the real enemy. Seems as if. I just want to get more curios. We do need some cash for the final area, so that was really sad. We made a lot of progress, but one mistake cost me the entire run. It really sucks. Um. Do I start on lower floors? I think I start on floor 10. I don't think it takes that long to go through this. I think starting at 20 would be a mistake. I, I need to build up for the challenge. The problem is more the challenge. I'm not worried about, like, beating the boss, but having to sit there and do prayers, like, that is just... It's super bad for us. But let's just do it again, and we should be able to do this in one try. We drew some heals, which is good. Again, I'm not super worried about the card loss. It's more just the time loss than anything else. I think we have everything we need to beat the game. Just as long as we're not doing a stupid challenge. It'll be fun. Um... redraw what I just used. You... I don't want to use Grave Summon yet. It's a good, it's a good pick up for later. There we go. We got Queen's Gambit, so we're off to a good start. Out of the way. Let them come me. There's prayer, so we just gotta hold out. We just need C, and we're good. We're gonna burn other cards in the meantime. Alright, so we're back to where we need to go. Oh, so that roots. Uh... Should be fine. enemies. I'm gonna use the spider lane because I need to scroll more cards. We'll exhume three. I should get most of my interesting cards back. You get rid of as many cards as I can. Gravestone is still sadly not worth using. We wait a little bit longer, it'll be worth it. So now we know the boss is on the 23rd floor and not like 25 or 30. We did gain more information there. Unfortunately, I drew another morning, which is not great. I'm gonna use prayer to start copying to begin. Recreate the disharmony of the archetypes from the time of the portal. I mean. Oh, a weird summon. Let's exhume. We'll, we'll wait to exhume. Let's use the queen ability first. Do 
Bishop 1 and not the Queen Gambit. That sucks. Because I have no teleport now. Did we get something good? Okay, there we go. We got the Queen ability back. Perfect. Kill you. Kill you. Move out of the way. Basically, we just need to trigger prayer and cycle through our cards a little faster. But we're applicable. We'll get rid of things like Bishop to hopefully draw into something fun. Get rid of our summon card, because it's mostly useless. That card I wish I could get rid of forever. Honestly, I probably could have gone down a, uh, a couple of the summons. Having one is fine. Having, like, three... Oh, I regret that. But oh well, I want to beat it with the same deck we had before. Go this way, get some money. Oh, shield dash is a terrible draw. That does literally nothing for us. to draw into Seek super badly. Shield doesn't prevent that damage. Shield is so whack, chat. Right, so we need to get rid of these immediately. Don't have any good way of dealing with the Taru. We could try to knights out of the way. Okay, I wasn't sure if killing him would get rid of the summons. That makes sense that it does. Ooh, another Queen's Gambit. That's actually huge. The more that we have of those, the more likely I am to cycle through them, which is what I want. I guess I can afford to... Field dash through. Move over here and use a prayer to hopefully draw the prayer back. We need to start generating more cards. Alright, so I have a warding card. We still need the other types. I redrew the prayer card, which is good. I'm gonna copy a target proper gizmo. I don't even know if I can use this. It's actually super bad. Draw another card. Oh, that I can use. Um, Summon this over here. Come over here. Okay. He can pull me towards him if he wants. Oh, getting more teleports is good. Leave for free. Gotta move out of the way, right? Hopefully we're gonna draw into more interesting cards. There's infinite kunai. So we're gonna show why this one was dumb. So now if I just need to move around, I can just throw these kunai repeatedly. This is a good way of potentially recharging the curio, actually, now that I think about it. I wasn't thinking about it like that before, but right now, it's super good. Yeah, there we go. So we have an engine for the curio now, which is good. The dumb thing, chat, is I could just keep doing this. That's why I was hoping we were drawing it to some extent, but I guess for Curio charging, this is also fun. So we now have, like, near infinite mobility, which is good, so I never have to walk around ever again. I don't want to. So these can get out of hand pretty quickly, as Jack can see. Oh, that's just a regular table. So I'm happy that we now have a mobility option, pretty consistent. We can just keep using this over and over. My hand is going to be, like, so unusable when we're done with this. And we pay one to get two. And we're just duping over and over. 
And the nice thing is I could just throw these in case I'm looking to get more curio charge. Means that I should get it between every every fight now, which is actually pretty good. So I'm glad we eventually drew our one of card. Even if I don't get what I need here, we should be able to exhume the the same nonsense over and over. Speaking of nonsense. Yeah, like look at this mobility. I do a damage and I move two tiles. So I could be pretty safe against the boss if I need to. I'm still doing chip damage. We still need like a finisher or a payoff. Don't get me wrong. Actually, and seeing how many QI we have. Oh, we drew a seek? Can I draw a prayer? Good. Alright, uh, we're we're in a good position, chat. Alright, our patience was rewarded. We drew our infinite kunai back. No, I don't want infinite kunai. I chat and it doesn't matter. Alright, so I can throw a kunai to move. Oh, I can't do that because it... Oh, it sucks. So I have to have at least a space next to me. That's a bit unfortunate. We're gonna have to get rid of these kunai in between because I don't feel like micromanaging this many. Let's go over here for now so we can dodge the thrown object. Hopefully they teleport away from me. Perfect. out of range, but apparently not. That sucks. Uh... You're gonna need stuff and hurt yourself, which is fine. Um, I don't have enough of a graveyard for that to matter yet. I could poison the real one. be the worst idea ever. He not died from the spinner there. Didn't he take three damage? Crazy. Alright, we're just gonna repeatedly spam these. We have a pretty good onto drawing our prayer again. Oh, did I get a Zuna draw? Is that what that is? It is. Gust isn't bad. That'll help us with all the annoying flying enemies that were there. Okay, I'm 100% out of range now. I'm gonna keep casting Kunai, I think, and prayers. Do another prayer. We're getting a lot of raider cards, which is awkward. Zoomed the prayers back, which is good. I need to slowly get out of here. We're gonna do this just to build our curio meter. I guess I could just chuck these to build meter. Although apparently if I can't jump at least two tiles, he doesn't do anything. Yeah. Let's use that to build the curio to make sure that we get back the cards I actually want. I think it's a good idea. Okay. Accidentally hit a boss. Cool. Another prayer. The odds of us exhuming something useful are pretty high. Yeah, that'll do. Though with how many kunai I have, I should in theory be able to draw whatever I want. I don't think there's anything he could really do to stop me at this point. As long as I leave myself with one kunai, it doesn't really matter. I do. This is pretty cheap. 
But you know what? We'll, we'll take our time with it. <laughs> Fine, chat. Just make sure he just has no ability to do anything, and we're fine. We're gonna build some meter on him. You hit me from here. So the reason I need him to be here, just for chat clarity, is I can't draw with the curio if we're not in combat. Like, I need to do this to make sure we draw all of our abilities. So as, as slow as this is, I need to do this to make sure we keep drawing our prayers just like that. Okay. And you hit me with anything. No, you cannot. Let's go ahead and use another prayer. Drawing everything but what we need. Okay. I mean, we're, we're getting a lot of raider cards, but dot dot dot. Do a little better. What are you doing here? You're gonna throw us here? So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna throw kunai. Get more kunai. And now we should be able to exhume again. Let's go ahead and make sure that we draw this again. There we go. So we should be able to stack our hand with like nearly insane amount of card advantage and there's nothing the game can really do to stop me from doing this. I will have my revenge, yeah. Look how many kunai died in sir. And I still have the original kunai, by the way, which I should absolutely throw away. It's literally useless. I'm trying to get rid of the bonus cards in between our other cards. That way I can keep her hand a little more sane. So he has to summon more. Eventually, we're gonna get rid of these, so that way all the cards are together. The next time I get a batch of kunai, I'm not gonna bother doing them. No one's surprised we drew prayer. As long as we have a kunai, nothing's gonna go wrong. I think I could throw another one just to build meter. Some prayers here. At this point, the only card I think in our graveyard is prayer. As long as we move out of the way every turn, which we move to by using the kunai, we should be good. That is super clutch. Maybe I'll add in more infinite kunai just to make this consistent. I wasn't planning on cheesing it out, but we're here now, chat. <laughs> I drew my infinite kunai pack again. So dumb. Yeah, maybe I'll put in two instead of one. I don't want to have, like, a whole handful of them, if it makes sense. Uh, we'll use another prayer. We still have not drawn... Gordon? Oh, I guess we did draw everything then. Disregard. We're gonna go ahead and flip. Actually, are we within grab range of him? Oh, we got the meteor attack? Or dragon tomb? Yeah, whatever. Now, if we could have gotten uh, warning back with itself, this game would be over. Sadly, we gotta respect it for a little while longer. Copy time. Okay. That ability is pretty terrible. I might honestly just get rid of that. I don't see a world in which I would use that. Raider cards are potentially really big pickups for us. Out of range. So unfair. And we could just pray our way there. And again, because of the fact that we are going to exhume them, we draw them back automatically. Do we have some good AoE kills versus the normal enemies? I'm not entirely convinced the rest of our hand is all that good. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. We're actually in a pretty awkward scenario to deal with this enemy. I gotta walk forward and then kunai? Well, I'm glad we have more kunai to move out of the way, right chat? That could have been really bad. Is he only chasing me? Is he refusing to summon objects? That's actually hilarious. 
be able to prayer again. Okay, so we got a good... Okay, we got a good boss finisher. <laughs> the enemy is actually refusing to do it. I is, Did they realize players would cheese it? That's kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. That is actually hilarious. Um, well, then we'll just teleport out of the way and heal, right? Like, bye. The odds of us drawing that back are pretty good. Ooh, Slime King is a fun summon. I don't mind that in the boss room. That is a big decoy for us, actually. Oops. That's actually a really good pickup. That's an amazing decoy. Discard Phantom Card, Fire Shot that does 1 to 2 precision copy and mimic. But it says 1 to 2 damage. That's not fair. How useful that's gonna be. I guess I could poison him. It really matters what I do at this point. Rare. Okay. Oh, now he's gonna. Now he needs stuff. That's fair. All right, Chad. Now we have like the wall of items. Can we all agree? Like this is just silly. Even if he tries to throw at me, it doesn't really matter what he does here. Oh, is that the invincibility one? Ooh, I wonder if that gets through uh, stone. So we now have a boss thing, by the way, chat. Just keep in mind, they buffed Heroic Stand. Originally, it was immune to. Now I can target other characters with it, and it lasts for three turns. So I can basically do whatever I want in the boss room now. That was huge. That was a huge pickup. Magma mode is not that useful. Flexible Jolt is fine. I could use Stalactite for the boss, because the boss can't really move. So jump to Cardinal Target or inflict 4. So we got Pawn's Advance. We have Leaf Sage, which is okay. Tornado is going to help us with all the annoying flying enemies. Blood Snot with Wound is actually good on the boss. Eruption is really good, I think, on the boss. As long as I have flight, I'm gonna actually hit myself with it. Um, I don't know if Dragon Tomb will work on the boss. Reflecting the boss is kind of funny. But having reflection there is huge. Oh, oh, it's that reflection. I'm sorry. I thought it was the little... I thought it was the summon mirrors. Oh, no, I do have the mirror master. I, I want to get rid of this. I literally have no purpose for this card. And we're gonna draw so many cards. I I'm not gonna be able to do anything with this. Let's go pick up this card. Sadly, we did not kill him on the tile that would open up the other room. But we drew so many cards. Does it matter? I'm going to go ahead and use Probably another prayer. So many bots. We have four kunai left. Summon for each traveler card in hand. That could be fun. See, now we have a payoff for Bard's Trick. So right now, it's like a million turns of stealth. Dip across the distance based on Raider cards in hand. Inflict two damage for each Traveler card in hand. Okay. So we have a, we got a couple payoff cards, but we can do better. Like, we're no longer fighting to beat the floor. Like, that that, that is already a given. We should be fine. We just need to just play more cards. Like, I could teleport just to deal with this enemy a little more. Maybe that's worth it. We'll clear that out and we'll do more prayers. Yes, I should duplicate some kunai. I'm at the front end versus the back end. You know, very fair things that we're doing, chat. They're just totally fair. Very balanced. Put our kunai up front so they're easier to deal with. Get rid of the one kunai that's in the middle of nowhere. There we go. So... 
Sunstrike is huge. Draw two for each Warden card in hand. Okay, there we go. See, now we got our payoffs. We're good. <laughs> right, town? We are now good. We just need something that gives AP. Weirdly, we I don't think we've drawn a single thing that's given AP. Despite how unfair our hand is, we have surprisingly not drawn it. Somehow. Question mark. Yeah, none of these involve AP so far, which is really, really unfortunate. Uh, we might as well just do the bonus challenge, because we're just gonna curio. Uh... Do I want to use any of these here? So this can basically one-shot a target if it's by itself. A lot of obstacles. Attack combat inflict two for each point of damage. Del. Okay, so we have like, if the boss is not immune to wound, we have a way of really racking damage up. Because we do have to make sure we kill in a semi-timely manner. I need to move at some point. So I think I'm gonna deny over here. Yeah, let's do that. And let's get more cards. Genetic pool is kind of terrible. Okay. Rogue def- or I think it's Rogue Defiance. Could be good. Oh, it's worth a I mean, it still grants immunity. So again, if, if if immune one means we could get through Petrify, that's great. I don't know if it can, though. I don't really want to rely on that. We could do that to just be immune to enemies, and we could face tank. So, for example, if I stand in front of the boss, and it's two fists hit me, and the head slams, I potentially am still doing three damage to the boss, when normally I would have to evade. I think having cards like that is important. We're all, like, just far enough away that I can't, like, really chain kill any of these. A little disappointing. I could get rid of Grave Summons at this point. I think I just need to draw more other cards. I can zip through here if I need to. I don't really want to summon the Spiderling again, but I do need to get rid of these cards somehow. Of you. And I guess it just over for now. Alright, so we're doing decent damage there. We're sadly gonna kill the tomb, I think. Oh, we're not. Never mind. Alright, well then they're gonna serve more of a purpose then. So we exhumed again. They should AoE me. There we go. Get a boss kill move. Uh, Desper first is okay. We'll eventually draw what I'm looking for. Halt is not bad. Alright, so they protected the tombstones. They actually are going to do quite a bit here. Oops, zombie. Let's make every mob stun. And we can just do prayer. Killing arrow. We'll do it. Okay, so now we have we got a boss kill. Okay, so we now have 10 damage. We need to do 40 damage on the boss. So we have 10 damage just guaranteed now. I could potentially do 16 damage to the boss. If wound stacks, then I have some pretty good cards. On the boss, we'll see if they're immune or not. I don't think Phantom Throw is really all that important to have. We have some okay boss damage cards, but we do actually need to do a lot of damage. Like damage to all enemies based on number of units in the area. Echo Slam is huge. Gonna drop doesn't really matter. Gus is more there for whatever. Gonna root a random enemy because we do need to use a Warden card at some point. All the central positions suffer 3 damage and inflict damage in 1 to all enemies. 
I don't think we have Meteoric Jump, actually. That would have been a good mobility option. I think that would have finally made Raider feel good. Having, like, seven mobility options compared to, like, the one we had for, like, the longest period of time. Do nothing, discard, copy the last card previously. Um... I could use that to copy a Queen's Gambit. I'm thinking I probably need to do those. For a card I can just throw away for free. Oh, Kunai is a free throw away. Because they just want a Curio. Oh, it's Thunder Allies too. So we just drew Kunai again, which is unfortunate. I guess I can do prayer. Mill five different effects occur based on the archetypes of discarded cards. I don't think I really want to do that. Uh, I think from the standpoint of the duplicating things, I could mimicry the ten damage ability. So that would actually be huge for us because I could do twenty damage to the boss now. So, if we could just draw like one or two more of those cards, our win is guaranteed. Let's summon some more allies to move these targets. So we'll do something like this. Just to get our damage on. And I guess I'll throw a kunai. We're lined up with our allies. Actually, I don't think this really matters. We can just detonate them early. Doesn't matter. So the minions are under control. The summoners are in trouble. Probably want to poison these targets. Let's shut them down. Get a kunai for using a kunai. And I guess draw cards next turn. Our summons are back, which is huge. If the other guy doesn't teleport somewhere interesting, he's gonna take a lot of damage. He's gonna take a lot of damage next turn. He curioed a useless card back into existence. That's unfortunate. Um, I'm gonna summon just a regular summon here then. We did not draw any of our prayer cards. We, we had, like, seven in the grave. We drew three. Four of the cards on our grave are not there. I think we drew, like, the only ones we can't duplicate. That is so sad. I think at this point I just used Kunai. And we have our payoff cards if I need them, and we'll probably need them. Build up the curio value. Okay, did good damage. Killed one of the more annoying creatures. Unfortunately, our other summon had poison. Limits his effectiveness. Our other ally is actually in our way. I have to melee him. He's actually blocking us from doing anything. So he's gone. So all the summoners are dealt with. The tombstone did its job. Use a kunai. Use a kunai. And gain a kunai. That works. Although I think they just died now. Unfortunate, so I'm not going to be able to grab the cards again. So there's like no reason to reset our grave at all at this point. Yeah, I have a million cards, so our payoff, based off of the number of cards we have, is phenomenal. So we don't have the throw money, deal damage card, but we do have the I exist, everything dies. So there should be no way I lose to this boss unless I somehow use my bonus cards again, which we have sleep immunity. As long as I don't die, that shouldn't really happen. Uh, so you will attack the nearest target, if I remember correctly. I can summon you here. 
Then I can kunai out of here. Get out of range. Then I can start my prayer combo again. Fishing bait, kind of useless. I mean, do I really want the other target near me? Not really. We're gonna go ahead and flip out of here. He can do whatever he wants. It really matters. Use another prayer. Okay. We now have two boss kill cards. That's actually huge. So we can dupe the boss kill card to do 30 damage. So yeah, this should just be over then. I, I can do 30 damage in three turns. And we only need to survive 8, I think. And we have immunity for at least 3 for 1 AP. So I have a guaranteed setup to do 30 damage. So we've almost 100% won on this boss. I think I will pass the turn. I'm gonna use the fish bait because I think that ability is not that useful for us. So we're gonna melee you. And I'm gonna use prayer again because life is unfair. I swear, if this spawns an enemy near me, I'm gonna be so mad. Uh, we're, we have enough kunai to continue going. We have a bazillion raider card inputs. So if we need to draw base off of warden or whatever, we should draw like our deck at this point. So I'm feeling pretty good. We should just be done with this pretty soon. I need to start throwing random kunai. That way we get our prayer back. And it should be basically GG from here. So make sure we, we have at least two kunai left. So it revived the other target, which is fine. We expected something like that would happen. We're gonna go ahead and spawn here. And we're gonna go ahead and... I'm not gonna use infinite kunai here yet. I'm gonna wait because that way I increase the odds of drawing something useful. I will use... You just melee you. Let's go ahead and use up these kunai. If we're really desperate to build meter, we should be good. We actually did get kind of low on infinite kunai. Been spamming them so much, we were like legit almost out. But now we have enough to get a full exhume. So at this point, we have basically infinite cards, thanks to infinite kunai. Draw three, should be a prayer. Indeed it is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and prayer it up. Oh, Adrenaline is huge. Oh, Tesla Coil is even... Tesla Coil is really big, actually. Oh, that is so good for us. Our damage dealt on those cards is going to be so high. We just need to do some AoE here, so I could poison him. I think I will. The question is, how do I deal with the rest of the room? Do I even need to bother dealing with the rest of the room? This <laughs> is actually also an honest but true statement. Do I even need to bother? I don't know if I do. No, I don't think it matters. Draw another card guaranteed. Um. I probably want to move closer then. cards back, which is huge. We should die from poison over time. I don't think I really need to do that much else. I chip him out with this first. So by the time he's able to do anything, it shouldn't matter. Play another prayer. What is that ability? Wind pool? Oh, that one's okay. Um, I probably could throw something to build more meter. 
There we go. The regen will keep him alive, which is kind of annoying. Let's just go ahead and stomp him real quick. So let's use Infinite Kunai again. That way we get the guaranteed curio in the next room. And I can work on stacking these up again. I could get rid of these three. Have a whole pile of kunai. This is so unfair. Look how many cards. Look how many cards I have to sort through. So dumb. Oh, I guess we didn't do the treasure room, which is fine. I don't think we're going to worry about that too much. I think at this point I just need to win. Wait, what? Answer that fancy itself a card deal or try to help adventurers by giving them cards. Dang. Unfortunately, I think it's the Nautilus, which is the more annoying enemy to deal with here. Um, you have two health bars, so I can't just one-shot you. But if I do this, you're going to get hit by the AoE explosion from the other enemies. Okay, I mean, I think I have to do this. Oh, you're not the ones that AoE when struck. Oh, never mind, that makes life simple then. I'm just gonna dunk on you then. He's prayer. Did he just walk into the enemy shot? What a dummy. So he just straight up gave me another warden, or another, no, no, no. give me a uh, traveler card. So in theory, I could use that as a boss finisher. I'd prefer not to though. Let's go ahead and use prayer again. What is that card? Oh, Onsen. Um, I might just use it for the sake of it, to be honest. Although, it's better just to hold on to it, I guess, for the bonuses that we have. Now, let's end our turn, that way we draw free. I mean, I don't mind him throwing cards at us either. That's fine. I'm totally okay with this. How did we not draw a prayer? Oh, we drew a prayer. That kind of sucks. As I said before, we have like seven of them in the grave. So like, when when at least four of those cards are unretrievable, that's pretty bad luck to only get one. Destroy target combat unit and summon two clones of it with half its HP. Oh, it's pretty good. Orpheus, if target is asleep. So we have a lot of Oracle cards. So our big payoffs are like really deep in here. But technically I can draw like a million cards. Where's the other big payoff? in here somewhere. Holy. The other one is summon beetles for every traveler card. So that is a lot of beetles. <laughs> I love it forms an F. <laughs> you know what, chat? I think that's appropriate. <laughs> I think if I summon this on the boss fight, just big F in the chat. <laughs> just, just it's over. So I can zip basically full screen. And I can do 10 damage. So I think I have 40 damage in hand now. I don't technically need to do Traveler Loops anymore. But there is an addiction, I'm not gonna lie. There's a big addiction for it. Can I just melee you without using cards? I'd really prefer that if I could. I guess I'll throw Kunai. some of these. So there's no reason for me to not recharge the curio every time. It does make the run take significantly longer, I will admit. it's This is definitely very slow, but the guarantee of me winning the run is higher than other decks. So it's like, I don't think this is real-time advantage, but it is still sick. I like it. I'm removing our infinite kunai somewhere else. Nice. We should be more than good enough here. We got, I think, a surplus of at least three. One more cards. It doesn't even really matter if I reset the grave anymore. I mean, I could. I just, I don't think it matters. 
Um, so we basically don't ever need to restore our cards. So if there was like a survival mode where the goal was to just last as long as you could without using a shrine, uh, I think this, this archetype could do it very easily. So we have all these kunai in case we need to build it and or move the boss fight. So I'm not really worried about our mobility. We have a damage move that just straight up does 10. I can one-shot a fist that the thing has if I need to. Funny enough, we haven't been drawing new cards in forever. I only have, like, one damage move for this entire area. It involves just using Queen's Arrival and getting it back over and over. Which, to be fair, I mean, it is working. But it's like, yeah, we could do a little better in some ways. Oh, they're gonna target him over the other creature. That's fair. Um... Hmm. Can I bishop you real quick into a hell for it? Oh, you didn't summon anything. Expecting you to. Interesting. Can you hit the other target? You can. I would really like that bonus. I don't think I can stop this though, unless I have a full screen AoE on one of my other many cards in here. I don't think so. Yeah, because there's objects in front of me was the problem. I could block him with the Tesla Claw, but that's a really good ability. I don't know if I really want to do it just for that. Um, Polymorph is okay. Place four glyphs and repel. Oh, this puts it around me. No, 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 no. I thought it would just let me do that. Um, I don't think I have a single way to save this character. Oh, unless this- oh, this does pierce through. Oh. Well, that seems like kind of a waste. Do I have anything else that would work? But literally anything else? I don't think I need this. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not gonna use this on the other fight. If I really need to to save him, I could do that. I'm gonna save Echo Slam for the boss. I guess if I was closer, I could have gusted. Yeah, let me just use one technique here. Let me use the tombstone, because it's going to take him forever to get out of that. I just don't even know where it is. There's so many. We have so many cards, Chad. I don't even know what to do with all this. This should be fun. Why is he flying towards them? He's got to be kidding me. Let's draw another card. Oh, jetpack will be fun. That's a good mobility skill. Please don't move towards them. Okay, good, good, good. No matter what, he can't reach the other target. It, it says he can, but I'm like, I'm pretty sure he can't because the ice slabs are there. If he gets hit, I'm going to be so sad. Because I can't hit him with these abilities. Um... Do something like this, maybe? Fish bait would be huge. I think I can hit him straight up with Infinite Kunai and kill him, which would be very funny. Yeah, there we go. Take some of these. Is this a lore book, actually? Oh, it's new. That's fine. As I said before, I don't think it really matters what we do anymore. I'd rather just draw new cards. We don't need more. So now I can... Oh, I got rid of the Queen's Gambit. Actually, that was a small mistake. I didn't care about losing the learning cards. Like, their their purpose is served. Like, there's nothing more I really want to do with them. I think if I teleport in and then poison, this is what I want to do. So getting these repeatedly back is fine for now. So I could just multi-kill them here. I think that would be pretty huge, because I'll get all three of them back. That's pretty big for us. And I can use the... Yeah, because having three teleports is fine. I don't need big damage here. Uh, let's get rid of Infinite Kunai. Go a little further backwards. Oh, I killed on the don't kill floor, I think. That's unfortunate. Um... I don't have a good follow-up for this. I just throw another 
kunai. So sadly, I don't think I'm going to get the treasure room because of that. They did die of poison, which is huge. Do something like this to punish them. I'll take damage. Then I can double kunai excavate? That would be huge. For zoom, I mean. Okay, we could just get our health back. If we could just get our health back again. Then I can throw kunai that I don't need. Just rebuild the curio, get the cards back that I want. So no more learning until we draw cards, but we also have the ability to draw into it again anyway, so I'm not really that worried. We have like a million Warden and other cards. We have 30 damage on board. I just gotta beat the area, I guess. Uh, I could Kunai one more time. Alright, let's focus on getting to the top. Let's not worry too much about getting learning. Get a couple of these. Should be good. Okay, let's wrap it up, because I'd like to go to sleep after we're done with this attempt. Curios. Yeah, missing the queen. Getting rid of the queen one was a mistake. I didn't mind getting rid of the learning. I thought we still had the queen in hand. To be fair, we had so many cards, it's kind of hard to tell what's in our hand at any given moment. Um... We really just need to draw more generic cards, so I think what I'm going to do is throw this to move. Then what I want to do is teleport... Teleport? Or something? I think this should be fun. I just want to potentially draw more cards. Okay, that's not a bad one to get. We need to fill up our graveyard first, though. Let's do... Teleport. Into... We're gonna draw a card no matter what next turn. It doesn't matter, I could just make it like twice then. I'll make this complicated. Alright, so we're slowly cycling through our deck, because I'd like to draw more cards. Strong Spiderling is such bad luck, actually. Really bad luck. We should be able to exhume. So sadly, Spiderling is probably the only card I don't want to draw now. I wanted it before we had like a consistent combo going. But right now it's just kind of pointless. He should block. That's what I was expecting would happen. That should miss. Be able to exhume. Hopefully not. Ugh, of course we exhume the Spiderling. I was like, hopefully anything other than the Spiderling, and we should be fine. But getting the Kunai back is okay, because it's just more ability for me to build meter. I could summon this thing here. Get some free damage on the group. And I can do... This should be fine. So we're very slowly chipping them out. <laughs> well, a little less slowly when the allies hit each other. Um, I need to get rid of our knight ability at some point, so let me just get rid of it now. And just... just. I'm gonna draw another card so I can cycle more cards, that's good. We should be able to finally get a better rotation of cards. Okay, we, we got prayer back anyway. Somehow. I don't know what the odds were of drawing it, but I find that funny. Well, I definitely just want to keep kunaiing. Ended up with the spider leg again, which really sucks. Um... There we go. Alright, 
Fly. So we have Learning in case I really want to use it again. But at this point, I think we're good. Oh, what's this? For a gemstone, all props of this room will become something else. Or? I don't have any. Well, that's unfortunate. I wasn't sure if I picked up any at some point. Alright, well, at least we saw a unique shrine, I suppose. Go to floor 19. Oh, you're just letting me skip from 15 to 19? Oh. Well, okay. I mean, that's four less floors I have to do, right, chat? Like, okay. So 23 is the boss floor. I don't need anything else. I could technically draw more learning, which is hilarious. Like, I, I got rid of the card and I still drew it again. Despite me only drawing, like, 12 cards total. And then we can draw, like, near infinite cards with Warden. So if I need to duplicate anything, we're fine. I should probably make one of these all the time. Let's see what's in the bonus room. Um... to go for the challenge room. As long as I can bad breath this, which we can. That's, a that's actually really huge in dealing with this enemy quickly. And I can kunai into kunai. We can get rid of a lot of his health here. from poison damage if I really want to. Just draw a card at random for beetles. Get rid of one of our many kunai. I guess that's not the worst thing to do. But he'll die no matter what on his next turn. Not this turn, but next turn. Should be GG for him. Hopefully we've exhumed something good. We exhumed the kunai. It's not quite what I mean by something good, but that's fair. Well, I guess if I just want to draw cards again, I could just throw the kunai. Get some kunai. Oh, we drew Queen's Arrival. Okay, there we go. Now, now we're back on track. I can do whatever I want now. Get us some bonus kunai. Oh, we didn't flip after I shot him? Interesting. Well. There we go. Do we have Queen's Arrival now? I think we're good. That means I finally have a consistent AoE for the room. Band Breath is also a pretty good AoE, so I just kind of teleport in and just wreck the entire room. Better if I do this. Then I can Bad Breath if I want. Ooh, out of range. Unless... I throw a kunai get the kill and bad breath. We'll deal with that. Nice! That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. You have to move forward, so I'm gonna go ahead and just throw a full kunai to make sure that we get our card back. Nice, we got Bad Breath back. Sadly, out of range of me doing anything fun. Let's summon our thing over here. Be a good decoy for later. He's gonna summon some objects. Go ahead and throw some kunai. Which we have a lot of. I think we got everything we need to do whatever we want. So we did 3 damage to him. 
should be fixated on hitting our ally, which means that we should be fine. Not be targeting us here. I can still get closer, though. I'm going to. What is in our graveyard, by the way? Solar arrival, prayer, and we get our prayer back. As long as we're not in chuck range there, we should be fine. Oh, he still targeted me over the summon. Interesting. He's a prayer. Oh, we got something that gives AP, because we can't retrieve this. Okay. So we're still somehow powering up, even though I intentionally did not want to do what we're doing. I find that kind of funny. Let's flip out of here. Even if he chucks at me, he can't possibly do anything to hurt me. This should just be GG for him. He should take a damage. And then he could just die to random kunai. Thanks, random kunai. Oh, well. So now we should be able to get our prayer back. <laughs> literally the only card in the grave. I could technically get rid of other cards, but there would be no purpose, because I'm going to draw them again anyway. Yeah, I'm not paying you money. Just queen scam it. So sadly, I don't have two to make this really quick. Wish we drew, like, one more. Technically, I could duplicate it with our, one of our abilities, but... Yeah, poor, poor Gravestone, or Grave Summon. With how aggressive we're using Infinite Kunai, it has no purpose. It was a good backup if we don't draw Infinite Kunai. Now that we have, it's just kind of pointless, sadly. Um... Damn, I wish I just had, like, one more damaging move. Uh, I don't think it really matters which one I go to. Let's get them really low, and then we'll finish them off with other abilities. That Retaliate does a lot of damage to us. Fortunately, we can roll the card again. Wise, we're looking pretty good. Health wise, kind of okay, but we're about to draw a three, so it doesn't really matter what we do here. Good pray again. Why not? I mean, at this point, it's just powering up our other cards. Okay, I got another mobility skill. That's nice. Uh, I don't really feel like doing extra combat rooms. I just want to end this. Now we're on floor 21, so we're two floors from the boss. Be one more real dungeon floor to go through. Should draw prayer again, because that's all that's all we have in our deck at this point. Um wow, that if that didn't root, that would have been like the most perfect spot to spawn. Something like this to get healing. in hand. I would like to prayer again at some point. Just deciding how greedy I could be with it. None of them can reach me this turn, right? Let's pray. So many oracle cards. Here. And 
we can dash through and kill. I think it's huge. Or I could just leave him alone for now. The Curio. I think I want the Curio. And we can summon next turn, this thing to kill. Even if he attacks me here, it doesn't matter. Our three cards. Now we have the Queen's Gambit again. Or Queen's Arrival, I mean. Uh, yeah, we have tons of mobility for the boss. I just need to use it. I think I just end my turn. He's dead. We're immune to sleep, which is the only thing that control us. Yeah, see that they have like a they it despite saying they put it in four tiles, they could only put it in one of four. I think I failed a 50-50 before when I got hit by that. The first attempt. Uh I probably just want to use Kunai here if I can. That way I can draw my prayer back. Okay, so we're just gonna guarantee the prayer. And we'll finish this. That's a fun card. Swap into some very silly shenanigans. Um, I think it's just melee. I'm immune to sleep, so this should not do anything to me. Uh, my hand looks a little better. We can knock him out of this, but that doesn't help me with the remainder. How do I deal with the stealth? Bad breath hand? Because if I do this, I can't use the knight ability. They're just not in a good position for it. Maybe it's better to do this? teleport to the side and just try to draw our card back with infinite kunai probably fun next turn we can summon you and then we can just hold our door kunai i guess i could draw another kunai if i really need to Buddy back. Use a prayer. Our prayer. Eh, just got some mediocre summon, sadly. So he's almost died of poison damage. I can't quite get around him, which is kind of funny and awkward. Are you really gonna force me to burn the bad breath? I think he is. It's kind of annoying. Oh well. Alright, uh, so let's go ahead and kunai out of here. I go across like this, be able to go across to here and get the curio charge. Big for us. Assuming those are the pacifist floors. Okay. Let's go ahead and teleport. Oh, Do we not draw the queen? Oh, oh, we drew none of the. Oh, we drew all the bad ones. Come on. Man, any of those would have been fine. Knight would have been fine. That's upsetting. Damn, actually getting trolled.
Well, I'm sadly gonna take damage here. Uh, yeah, I should probably reduce its health as much as I can. Wait for the other creature, get some healing. I go for prayer again. Not a very useful card to draw, sadly. So I don't have a good way of dealing with the other guy at all. I actually think about what I want to do here. So he is too tanky for me to kill in one shot. False Promise technically gets around him. Could kill him with it, I guess. But then how do I move out of here? Oh, I could use the knight to move. That'll work. There we go. I guess this is useful. It gets around his obnoxious retaliate. And I can just do whatever I want here. Be fine. I should probably throw a knife just to get closer. Oh. That's fine. We'll do this to Curio. Did he just regen himself? That is kind of unfortunate. I'm gonna have to damage him at some point, doing something. Let's do this. Let's just kill these annoying threats. Oh, there was a pacifism. I couldn't see the pacifism pad. So annoying. I don't like how that how is that's like 80% obscured by a column. I did not see that. Um, let's see. I could summon you to delay. At this point I just need to build more kunai. This is fine. Right, so as long as I walk away from him, he can't really do that much. I'd like to Curio at least one more time. Maybe draw our clear condition. I don't think I'm gonna get it. Unfortunate. Alright, we should draw our cards back to where we need them to be. So that should always include something to deal with these enemies. Uh, I could teleport in and then bad breath them. That'd be worth it. That's... I just want to see one thing. If I teleport here... Does that immediately hit the first turn? It does. That's actually cute. We still gotta deal with the other creature a little more. Do something like this, maybe? That did a huge amount of damage. And I can probably... pull our arrival again. He's got 5 health. Damn. I was trying to check his health real quick. Um, I can't do that then. Man, if only we had 2 Queen Gambits. So I, I'm kind of in an unfortunate position. We really needed to draw another seek or something. It would have been totally fine. I really don't want to get stunned here if we can avoid this. Like, I will kunai backflip out of here to not get stunned. Don't get me wrong, Chad. Like, I am not messing around with this. If he wants to heal off of that, whatever. Do something like this. So GG to him. Drew the card I wanted back. That's fine. So one floor away from the boss, and then we're gonna take a break. But I imagine there's not too much left of the game, unless there's something beyond the tower. We could probably beat the game tomorrow. Then we'll decide how many endings we want to go for after that. Immediately 
I did not want to walk forward. Immediately. Uh, so this is fine. Get rid of your stealth. I would like to poison you. Just to guarantee that we kill him sooner without me needing to hit him. I can work over here, kill him. Throw a Kudai. Actually getting surprisingly low on Kudai. You should just be dead. I don't have to do anything else to troll him. Oh, now we drew a C. Oh, it's a bit late for that. That is so unfortunate. I mean, I could draw my queen's ones. Do I, I don't even think I want to get my prayer back. Like, I could dupe the prayer. I prefer to get the queen's gambit or queen's advance back. That should be fine. I still have like a million kunai, so I'm not super worried about this. Let's try to draw into the queen spell so I finally have clear. There we go. Now we can use it on queen's arrival. Ooh, there we go. That was painful trying to clear without this. There we go. Problem solved. In fact, I don't even want to do anything. We'll just... some kunai, I guess. GG to that enemy. Let's go ahead and use... I guess I could just legitimately throw infinite kunai. I don't think it really matters. Then throw a few more of these just to build up the curio count. So many cards. This poor... The poor game is trying to render all these cards. I feel so bad for it. Like, how many cards do you have? Yes. Hit me if he wants to. It doesn't really matter. Um... Teleport on him real quick. But I believe we're now at the boss. I might as well see what the puzzle room is. <laughs> I'm sorry, what is this? Hitting this ball will launch it away in a direction. Good luck, have fun. Oh, there's bowling pins. I see. Um, I don't think it really matters. I'm not really a character that can take advantage of this, sadly. So I can just Queen Gambit's kill him. I want to have at least, like, three when we go in the boss room. So I know I can use at least two, so I can get them back through other means. Looks like I have to get a strike in one go. That's fair. Let's go ahead and use the Curio. Or the Infinite Kunai to the Curio charge, I mean. And that way I should draw every card that's in my grave except for the ones that literally can't be drawn. So I will get a uh, probably Bad Breath, Infinite Kunai, and Solar Arrival. But if I get Queen's Arrival, that's also fine. I think we are way more than prepared, so I'm willing to just spend like a million turns to delete the enemy. Keep in mind, too, I'm going to draw like 12 cards when we get into the boss arena. So I'm definitely going to have my revenge on this boss. It should not even be close. Boss time. Wait, what? Oh, maybe it was on 20... It... Was it on 24? I thought it was on 23. Hope it's not random. That would make me kind of sad. Well, anyway. Well, I drew... The weaker end. That's about what I thought I would draw into. But you know what? It doesn't matter, because I have everything I need to do in this area. Uh, I just need to get a little closer. I think I could kunai flip forward. That would have been so sick. I'm just gonna go ahead and move this to the queen's... Ability does more. 
I'll do this to slow them down. I could just kunai flip out of here, which I think I will. Get the curio back, get our cards back. So that's a way of me, like, basically drawing into the answer repeatedly without me needing to worry about it, which is nice. So the odds of me getting a Queen's Gambit are pretty high. Keep calling it that. That's fine. Do this then. Deal with you. Zip through because it's free damage. Do this again because it's free damage. Uh, I don't have anything that just does four damage. That's our only weakness right now. Kunai, then we make sure we draw our cards back. So the odds of me drawing what I want back are pretty high at this point. I mean, there's like, what, two cards I can't draw that are in the graveyard? I can't get Seek back. So I have a... Th so I think it's impossible for me to not get one Queen's Arrival back. If I get all three back, it would be amazing. I drew two. It's pretty good. But basically, at this point, I could just stomp all over them. There's really nothing they could do. But we're just looking for the, the exit. Alright, so you do have to get it all in one turn. That's fair. Um, do I feel like clearing the other room out? I mean, maybe I'll get a card. I don't feel like playing bowling with this character. Bowling makes more sense when you have a lot of turns in Adrenaline. Oh. I want to bad breath these. And do a teleport, maybe? Should be massive damage to them. Perfect. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and spawn one more set of kunai, I guess. That way we should draw pretty much all of our remaining cards. We're sadly not going to get as many cards overall compared to before. Like, we got some decks, but yeah, we, we had a lot better the first time. Okay, sorry, 24 was the boss war. Okay, well, I mean, I'm just going to draw as many Adrenaline cards as possible and be immortal, so I don't think there's anything they can really do to stop me. So if we have to keep playing beyond this point, I'll stop at 430. So many cards to go through. I think before we do anything too crazy, why don't we... Jeez, where do we even go? Um, I don't want a patience, that would be a big mistake. I just draw a million cards, so why not? The odds of me drawing a Seek are basically 100%. <laughs> so I better, I better be able to draw something that I can use here. Okay, we we drew a million Seeks. Okay, we're good. So if I have any questions later, we can deal with that. Let's go ahead and use... What else can I use? There should be one more thing that I can set up. Where is it? So many cards. Like over here somewhere. It's summon the Swarm of Beetles. I might wait a turn for that. I would like to do an adrenaline thing so I can move closer. Whatever is in here. I think what I'm actually gonna do to conserve movement, I'm go oh, geez, there's so many things to menu for now. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. The way I'm here. And now I can do the thing where I can move and do damage. And I'll, I'll make myself immortal next turn, so that way I have more immortality turns. So we've used Adrenaline. I need to use Blue, Warden, and Fire at some point before we kill the boss. I know I'm going to be using 
Traveler a lot. So I just need to make myself immortal next turn, do some fire damage. That'd be such a sad way to lose the challenge. Then we'll do Warden, maybe Slime King. Could Slime King him. But I before we do that, where is Adrenaline? It's in here somewhere, I swear. Oh, we used it already, my bad. Uh, then I think I could just smack him for damage. Where is the card that I'm looking for? So many cards. Um... Yeah, that does an entire health bar's worth of damage. Yeah, you can counter shock all you want, that is not gonna help you. Let's summon a million bomb things, because it's funny. So many. Then from here... discard and copy. What's the, basically, I just need a fire ability to go off. Doesn't even really matter what it is. I guess I could summon in general the Slime King. Black whole one of the creatures. That wouldn't be the worst thing. Save it for a bit later. Um, I guess I'll end my turn by just dealing 10 damage. Do we still need to use fire? I need to use warden. We'll do that next turn. Let's go ahead and use this now. So we basically set up to kill before the enemy ever gets a turn. So our bomb army is moving in. They seem to Why is he detonating? Oh. I don't know why he did that. That didn't hit any targets. Slime King should be a good decoy. So even if they reanimate, there's really not that many targets for them to look at. We just need to use fire now. Or not to hit the Slime King if we can avoid it. Do 4 damage there, which is good. The stealth is gone, that's fine. So we did Oracle, we did Traveler, I just need to make myself immune. I just can't even keep up with what we're scrolling through. Hmm. I mean, I could just summon this here and let it zap things. That's fine. I forgot to see where I was standing to dodge that damage. But the boss fight's already over. I don't think it really matters. Could have had a flawless victory, I guess. But anyway, let's go make ourselves immortal. <laughs> For many, many cards, where is it? So... I mean, I could just summon the killing arrow. Just GG to the boss. Even if it tries to do anything now, I don't think it matters. Let's make sure we use a warden card. It's in here somewhere. There we are. We're completely immune to damage. Um... I guess I could copy a random card because it's funny. That would hit my Tesla, which is what I thought it would do. We drew Prayer back again, which is hilarious. I might actually be able to outheal its ability to petrify me, which is also kind of sad when you think about it. That, that's pretty sad. So next turn, I mean, he's going to die like literally any second. I don't even think I have to do anything special. So allegedly he's going to hit me with this. I'm just going to go ahead and just...
There we go. Increase the amount of runes that can be equipped by doing that. Ancient Nemesis, defeat the Roman Guardian. Oh. I mean, like, our victory was a foregone conclusion. I would like to go back to town. I, I'm not... Am I not seeing the option? I don't, no, no, I don't... I don't really want to go to floor 28. I mean, I could keep going. I mean, we have, like, 5 million cards in hand. I mean, I guess I could keep going. It's just we're probably going to have to delay Wild Arms. I was hoping that would just be the exit. I don't know. I guess I'll leave it... I guess I'll leave it up to, to chance. Do I just decide to beat the game? I mean, like, at this point... I have, like, infinite cards... The only thing I don't have is invincibility from Warden anymore. That's the only downside. I have Retaliate, technically. I, I guess? And I guess in theory I should just go beat the game. So many cards. Let's use Prayer. This is funny. So we lost two of our boss killers. I would like to get a boss killer eventually. I can seek our seeks out, which is funny. Uh, let's seek out our prayer, I think. What else can I seek out? I could seek out the queen ability. I really need to. Although I think it makes more sense just to dump what's it called. Let's do that, and then I can just give it a... There we go. So that way I just have, like, nothing but ridiculous damage in hand. I still have a delete ability, which is funny. I have one seek in case I want to grab something later. I don't know what it'll be, but I could grab it in theory. Let's get more kunai, because it's funny. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's really no reason for me to at least get to the top of the tower and see what's there. I don't think it's greedy with the standpoint of I have so many cards in hand. Like, the odds of me dying are basically zero. I have so many copy cards. Or Wardens. I got another boss killer. That's good. We're gonna exhume it, so that way it's not in my hand. I have any more prayers, I do. Well, we just got two boss killers, so if it's not a mobile boss, this boss is gonna die nearly instantly. I'm gonna keep using prayer. And I can exhume them if I, for whatever reason, seriously don't draw them. Got a summon, which is a good distraction in some areas. I'm gonna hold off on using a prayer again. I've already put a lot in the grave. Yeah, I I'll just keep going for now, I guess. As I said before, I have damage. I have technically a get out of jail free card. I just need to conquer them. We're gonna go ahead and just, I guess, dump all over this enemy. We're gonna take some damage here, but that's fine. I can't even read our cards, we have so many in hand. It's kind of insane. It's like, what? what is the enemy doing? Who knows? We'll, we'll never find out in any meaningful way. I guess I'll teleport to heal. Actually, I should just... You know what I should do? I should use prayer. So I didn't use all my payoff cards. I believe I still have one left. Charging our curio. What does that do? Copy premonitions for each ward incarnate hand gets shield one based on the oracles. Oh. That is a lot of invincibility. That could be useful on the boss.
Yeah, I mean, I'm this geared up. I might as well just go beat the game. I wasn't originally going to, but I mean, just this hand is just so stupid. I I don't feel like building up this hand again. Like, we, we put in so much effort for it. Like, we're good. Alright, so we're gonna spam a lot of Queen's Gambits. Which we surprisingly have not really... ...gotten a lot back from our other abilities, which is actually a little concerning. In fact, I'm almost out of them. That's kind of crazy. I'm gonna save the black hole for when we're truly out of options. I think that's good enough. Shut them down really hard there. I can use prayer, because this thing is not gonna target me. Again, we're just repowering up our other abilities. Let's go. That poisoned basically everybody. I should be out of range. I move over here. Should not be attacking. Perfect. Okay, got fury swipes, which is okay. Thanks. Thanks to poison, we don't really have to worry too much about anything. Uh, we drew an AoE back, that's good. I should just be able to go backwards in Kunai. There are many, many Kunais. Where is it at? Get rid of him. Or not to take damage here if we don't have to. I think we're really gonna get a choice here. I mean, I guess they could target the other thing over me, I guess, technically. Let's get rid of them, I guess. We're gonna make sure to throw more Kunai. I don't feel like I actually have a lot left. Oh, never mind. They were just so hidden I couldn't see them. That's fair. So let's make sure we exhume here. But we basically have our deck in hand. We could do whatever we want. So it took it's kind of like Oracle. It took a little while to grind it up, but like now with this very long dungeon, this should benefit the format. I guess I'll take the challenge. Yeah, the the odds of drawing something that deals with the enemies are pretty high. here and unstealth that target. Maybe that's worth it? Then I can poison him before he does anything? Be worth it. That stops him from becoming immortal. Which to me is definitely worth it. Uh, getting kind of injured. Does I really want to expand? Really, I could black hole him. I uh, said so a feeling he is probably still going to become. He's dead no matter what he does here.
poison there is huge. I'm just going to up to walk away from this person. Up one, do prayer. Should be out of range. Another prayer. Ooh, Angel Companion is a fantastic thing to have for a boss fight. Power's out of the way. A great starting position, sadly. <laughs> I love that that's gonna put us over the floor. I don't really want to fall down. I don't think I want that. I almost have enough things in the grave to be relevant with the gravestones. We have at least 10 in the grave. It's actually not that bad. Having like even just two summons is useful. Uh, let's teleport over here, I think. Get full healed. there's a slightly better spot to Sam, but it's just kind of an awkward area in general. We removed all their stealth. Yeah, see we... I mean, I guess I could do this for maximum damage. Take a little bit of damage, which is fine. I'd rather Curio. Yeah, that's worth it. Then we'll throw a regular Kunai. We'll pray. And let us sleep to you. It could be useful later. Well, driver's okay. I keep using prayers though. Okay. Extra AP is good. Ability to draw cards and long range attack is also good. Let's pray again. But anyway, if it cares about how many warden cards we have or whatever, we should be really good here. Got my prayer card back. Put a little summon over here, and then I'm just gonna use prayer. It's just be GG here. Use prayer again. Ooh, is that the the copy all the cards played in the current turn? Copy target card. Um. Hmm. Angel summon's not a bad one. I don't know how much I really... I mean, how many other of these cards do I really need, is the question. That's very powerful being able to copy anything. I just don't know what I should specifically copy. We have so many things that could be useful in theory. Ludon is confused. I mean, just look at this chat. We, This is just a wall of items. I don't even know what to do with this. Like... Do I even bother copying anything? Like, does it even matter? Hypno Cube is amazing. It's one of my favorites. I mean, that that's so many premonitions. <laughs> if I activate that in a boss battle, that'll be sick. We have two killing arrows, so if the boss doesn't move, it's over. I don't know how we're holding it. It's a good question in Parameter. I'm looking at this, and I'm like, this is just madness. I don't even know what to look at with this. I could technically dupe Ninja Backpack. I forgot, we technically have an AP option in this wall of cards. Holy. Marion Heart. Flick two damage to target a combat unit, kill and flick to all close units and place the magma target. Oh, whatever. Mill 5, different effects occur based on the archetypes. I kind of want to see what that does at some point. The only thing is bad is if we mill, like... Uh, seeks. I could, I could also technically mimicry something if I wanted to. So many cards in here, chat. I mean, I, at this point, I could literally just play as Oracle. I think I have enough summons. I got like five summons. Discard selected library card and copy two of that. I mean, I should just use this now. 
<laughs> hold on, hold on. Gotta, gotta scroll through. Gotta scroll through like the five the thousand pages of cards. Um I guess I should always keep I mean I could get more seeks, which is funny. But I probably actually want to get more queens advance. Having two consistent teleports is pretty huge. I still don't know what origin orbs do. We have so many abilities, we I just don't even know if I'm going to use them. Alright, so we now have guaranteed teleport no matter how bad our luck gets. We have a dash move. Poor game is chugging a bit. Alright, so let's just find the exit. I probably want to use a curio here. I'll just recharge it before we go. Oh, geez, there's so many things to scroll through. I mean, I don't know what what should I copy? I guess is the question. I got a couple of AP moves. Like driving slice is technically AP. Ninja backpack is AP. Just nothing. It nothing is really screaming like I should copy this. How close to the end am I? I think I'm like ten floors away. But we also skipped through multiple floors, so I don't think it's like literally 10 more floors. There might be like 41, but we skipped 5 or something weird. Hopefully we're doing well with remote battery. Um, sure, I'll do this combat. <laughs> don't mind me, chat. It's like, how many cards are you drawing? The answer is yes. Look how powerful this is, Chad. Listen. We're asserting dominance all over the enemy. What can they do? Hmm. It's like slightly out of range. Or is he? Checkmate. Oh, don't scare me with- Oh, don't scare me with it. Don't you dare softlock. Don't you dare do that. Yeah, you better you better think about that. Don't you dare. We are so deep in a run. <laughs> right, chat? Don't you even think about it. Okay, let's get some prayers. Holy. And the worst part is if I even want more cards, I could do... Oh, Grave Summon's actually pretty good right now. We're at 22 cards in the graveyard. We got multiples. That's pretty good. Copy another card. You know, ju just in case, chat. If you thought I didn't have enough cards before... Warlock card, okay. So I can do whatever I want. It's just more, how do I kill the person in a way that amuses me? I guess I just stall? We're gonna draw three. Through Solar Arrival, so I guess GG. And we just play our prayer cards, because it's funny. Oh, did I seriously draw- did I draw Mourning? Well, that's- that's not really fair. Well, we're- we're getting our cards back, chat. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to not use them. Okay, I need to use one more card at random. We'll use this card. So, we are putting a lot of cards we can't get back into the grave, which is good. Maybe one day we'll be forced to reset. We have 35 cards in library. But we have like 30 in hand, so it's fine. As long as we don't get stunned, it should just be over. If we get stunned, that will be like the saddest moment ever. <laughs> just let me need to know, chat. Like actual tears might might form. We spent so long getting our hand like this. This is so much damage. I mean just look at the absolute brutal control this deck has currently over everything. Yeah, with the ability to now have any card, I think this is officially the best solo deck. It's- I don't think it'll be the fastest because there's a lot of buildup. I think Traveler or Raider might be faster in real time. This is just truly insane. We have so many kunai. And we're doing this just to guarantee that we recharge the curio. Oh, we got life exchange. I remember looking for that before. So we're in a bonus room. What is- oh god, I'm still drawing cards. Uh, what is this? 
Floating crystals brimming with ice mana, breaking it will release it as ice magic. Oh, okay. Does, does killing it do like a massive AoE to me or something? So many places that are rooted. Actually really sucks. Is there... Do I actually not have a good option for this room? Despite having all these cards? Am I gonna have to black hole one of you? I might have to. This is a very, very awkward room. Like, I can't teleport anywhere here because of the root. This enemy needs to die, 100%. Ugh. The ghost can wait. The ghost I'm not concerned about. It's more the enemies like this that need to die first. So I can do something like this to kind of loop them. And maybe announce my presence and murder them. Hopefully this doesn't do something terrible. See, I'm worried that this will like explode and stun me. If it stuns me, I'm gonna be very, very upset, chat. I just want you to know. Because if that happens, we lose our entire hand. I don't know if I really want to risk that. I'm honestly just going to move, like, over here. I'm going for the no-risk game. I've now... Oh, there's pawns on the floor. I... Are you going somewhere? Oh, it's trying to reach the promotion spot. So, I'm assuming something bad happens if I hit this. And I mostly just need to stop the other enemy over here. Oh, did I run out of teleports? Did I actually manage to burn through them? That's actually kind of impressive. Huh. I did actually lose them all. Let's use a morning. That is really unlucky. Don't I have like seven in the grave? How did I not draw them? Yeah, that sucks. I didn't know I didn't want to end turn. I just was canceling the graveyard. Oh, but we weren't punished, so we're fine. I didn't even hold it down, I just like tapped it. So I was like resting my thumb there. Uh, what do we even do with this room? We do have two backup teleports. I prefer not to use them unless we are seriously in danger. Um. I guess I'm not really gonna get another opportunity to use the gravestone. So if I'm not being targeted here, oh, I am being targeted. Let me do this then. Yeah, that basically did what I wanted it to do. Alright, we dealt with the projectile list. That's fun. There we go, we drew our teleport. Let's just now copy cards, because it's over. I'm gonna walk a little further away in case it takes that out. We're gonna just keep using prayer. Thank you for the good luck in Parameter. So sadly it looks like he got stomped by the battle by the room being ended. I was hoping he would still go towards the promotion spawn. That's good damage. We'll take a little bit of damage just to guarantee that we do take damage to them. to teleport here if I'm able. And I can maybe kill them with the Keen's ability. Ooh, that still leaves them with health. That's not good. Damn, we really just need like a four damage move. Three damage is really good at all, but like four solves all of life's problems. Um... I don't know what I could do for the remainder. Like, we have the night move, but it's like we've literally won. I wish we drew the others. Well, um, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll do this. 
Okay, he's gonna be immune, and as long as we can teleport away, I'm not that worried. We should have a good chance of drawing a teleport, and we did. Now I could do something like this. Just absolutely troll this enemy. And I can summon our own buddy if I need to. Just to get him out of our hand. And another buddy. No matter where he teleports, it shouldn't really matter here. Oh, he petrified. Interesting. Oh, he's gonna petrify and then teleport. That's funny. Um, I guess I can kunai my own thing. It really matters. We build our curio in the process. Murder him. So close. I don't really want to hit that crystal and ever find out what it does. I don't I don't think I want to learn. Alright, we're gonna heal. We have like a million cards in hand. It looks like it looks like we just have like floppy discs almost. They're not even recognizable as cards anymore. Kind of funny to me. We still didn't draw the one where money equals damage. If we draw that, then the boss is 100 percent dead. I don't care what boss it is. We have so much money. Nice. We drew another three. Okay, so we did that. Then we can do... Good poison. Don't really want to fall in the gap. Healing would be bad there. Although that means with the uh, summons, the, the key blast does like insane damage. Oh, we're out of teleports again? Wow, that is actually insanely unlucky. We have a lot of teleports, as a reminder, Chad. We have, like, 10 in the grave, so there's a 50-50 whenever we draw a single card that we're going to draw it. And then there's at least four cards we can't draw. So it's more like a 55-60% to 60 chance of me drawing it increasing per card. So to only have one drawn from that is pretty bad uh, when it comes to luck. Um, I don't really know what to do here. I thought we had one more teleport. That's also the downside of having all these cards. I just have to purely remember the order of them. Kind of sucks. I do want to keep Shuriken Storm as long as possible. If I'm really desperate for meter, I'll use it. I could zip over here. That would keep me out of harm's way and remove a card. Poison's actually a really good one to get there. actually like that a lot. Just need to do one more damage to him. So if I back up one space, I can punish them really hard. Oh, where they'll move. Uh... Oh. oh, there was a post there. That sucks. Um, wow. I wish I had literally anything that moved. I can't believe we ran out of teleports. I'm gonna have to use an emergency teleport here. I I'm like flabbergasted that we did not have a teleport. I'll take the damage from this. I should not do anything of interest to me if I move over here. I'm going to try to get our teleport back by stalling. I'll take the damage there. Uh, of course he's hitting like dead center. That really sucks. Uh, we're gonna use prayer. Uh, that card is not that good. Can we get a better card? That's slightly better, but not what I'm looking for. Can we get a teleport back, please? Got a teleport back. That's not good enough. I mean, like, charm is not bad. That would get us out of the same scenario we were in before. I have black hole, which I'm saving for basically the top floor. I would like to heal at some point. But we've also not drawn our healing cards again, which is a big turning. Like, this enemy is going to chip us out if we're not careful. What I'm going to do is I am going to... Kunai this repeatedly. That way we build the curio. Every time we play one of the purple cards, 
recharges the curio, and that means I can pull from our graveyard, so I really would like to draw any of our many teleport cards that I 100% know we have, because I drew seven, and then we drew at least three teleports, and I think the night one might still be in there. We're gonna just waste cards to hopefully draw into it. I don't want to use a regular card, because that'll fill the graveyard. So yeah, we have... I will take Solar Arrival, Queen's Arrival, and you can see like half of them are that. We can't pull Morning or Seek from there, so those aren't counted. I'd really prefer not to pull Prayer, but there's a pretty good chance I'm going to draw at least two. Um, Optional fight? I guess I'll take it. Please draw a Teleport. Alright, see that time we drew like two Teleports, which is fine. They all have random HP. Here. I'll do something like this then. If only there was a position where I can hit everything. You get them so close to dead. Sadly, it's gonna cost me another card, which is pretty expensive to do. I might not want to do that. What is your range? Oh, you just summoned more enemies. Yeah, I can't leave you alone. I think we're gonna teleport on you and line up with the other one. Okay, so we're basically at full health. And that's fine. So as long as you are not... Okay, perfect. You're not targeting me. As long as he's not targeting me, let's go ahead and use some kunai. That way we draw three more and I should be able to recycle everything I just used. Uh, I actually really don't want to use another card. I'm going to end my turn prematurely. Ooh, I drew the worst cards to draw. It's painful. Ouch. I think that was a 2 and 19 chance of happening. It was pretty bad. We drew literally our worst two cards out of 19 cards. Uh, a little sad. We're gonna go ahead and just keep throwing kunai. So I need to charge the curio. We need to do much better than that if we want to survive the next couple of rooms. So it's important that I always have a teleport. We have one spare teleport. I have one traveler card that teleports. I could use prayer if I want to here. I guess it wouldn't be the worst thing ever to use. In theory, I could get something useful from it. Oh, I got a teleport card out of it. Okay, that, that helps us actually in the future. <laughs> Just summon Bomb Beetle. Jeez, we have so many cards at this point. Yeah, so now we have a free teleport, so that kind of worked. But we we reduced the odds of us getting something useful. Also, I gotta go back for this trip. Alright, we drew some teleports. I have Seek in case I'm really desperate for teleport damage. Hopefully we should be able to make it through here. I am so worried about that. I wish that I had a single attack that would pop it so I could see how it does things, but I don't. Right, let me think about this. Do I want to teleport here for max damage? We lost our graveyard, which is not a big deal. Oh, we lost our hand, which is also sadly not a big deal. I just like to state, I don't, I don't really care about that. We, we have a million cards to draw still. Although I am tempted to, uh, what's it called? I am tempted to reset our grave, just so we draw into the other cards. Like we have a million options in here. I still have all my kunai. We didn't lose the bonus cards, which is important. I did lose my queen's. Ability, but I can get that back because graveyard is not like a permanent loss. Also, we have way too many cards. Um, what do I do? So I stun the other target, which is good, but we didn't stun the other main target, which is bad. Do I use the shuriken here? I might have to. So many cards in the grave. 
The problem is he's gonna hit us for a lot of damage. I don't think I can afford to get hit by this. Um... I think this will... All praise the Hypno Cube. Alright, so we're gonna redraw onto cards, which is fine. And that stopped them from uh, getting retaliated against. So that's actually huge for us. So we can just Kunai if we have to. We probably wanna summon Bomb Beetle. We're gonna suffer Hex or Sleep. Or to apply Charm 5. I'll supply. I don't think that really matters. Uh, I just need like an AoE. We have one emergency teleport left over. I did not use it. Did it here somewhere. I could use a really strong grave summons as a backup. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna summon a bomb beetle. And I just need to get out of here. Oh, actually, this is perfect. Let me do this because then I can kill the ghost and not need to worry about him. Alright, so that's one less enemy to deal with. I just have to kill this guy, and I think I'm good. Because I don't think this guy can reach me, right? Yeah, he can't reach me. This is the guy that's going to be a problem. If I leave him alone, he's going to annoy me for big damage. So he's going to pull them in again. So I'm going to take one step away. Yes? Do I want to do I want to do that? I don't know if I want to do that. I could copy a target card. I might copy my teleport, honestly. I think it's important that I have teleports. Whenever I'm out of teleports, bad things happen. I'm actually gonna go down here, just to make sure I'm not in range of whatever it's about to do. Ooh, we drew the knight's ability. That's actually pretty huge. So I could charm him. That would actually be huge, because there's no other time I'm going to use that card. And I can... basically just build meter. Because I shouldn't be targeted by anything. He's got five turns to kill them. I think he'll do it. We're gonna try to draw from our graveyard to make a comeback here. So he's gonna stall for me to draw. I... I drew into Mourning. That's actually really good. Let's draw from our grave again. We unfortunately drew our Kunai. We got Black Hole back. That's huge. So we're, we're slowly recovering. Ooh, we duplicated Knight's Jump. That's good. How many kunais do I have left? I have like a million. Okay, we're good. So our goal is to just... Use as many of these as we can. So he's just asleep. There's nothing the enemy can do about that. Let's get rid of a kunai. Hopefully we get one more turn to draw cards. We can start rebuilding our hand. So even though we lost a lot into the grave, we should be fine here. I'm gonna end my turn. We got our insta-kill back and a teleport. That's all that matters. Sadly, he did kill the target before we could do anything else. But that just proves that sometimes Charm is super useful. So I guess it was good to see that if you were playing Oracle here, you would have been able to very easily get around the Retaliate monsters. At this point, we just need to find the exit. I literally don't care about anything else that happens here. We just need to get to the exit. Through three more cards. Hopefully some of them are AoE. Perfect they are. So I now have a heal ability back in my hand. The problem is... This is such a bad room. I don't even know where to begin with this. What do I even do with this room? I, I have to kunai or do something. I could try to grave summon... 
I should probably, you know what? I should probably copy Grave Summon. We have so many cards in the Grave at this point. We'd probably summon like six monsters, which would be amazing body blockers at this point. I have a couple of teleports, get out of jail free cards. I mostly just need to make sure the middle monster's dealt with. We did draw the super breath. Try to get around that. Let's go ahead and do this. So we... That'll half his health, and it'll take extra damage. Then I can just... Jump on him and kill him? Because that enemy was going to take up the most space. Like, I would have had to have played around whatever he was doing most of the time. I think it's okay for me to move over here. Oh. Four enemies join the fight. That's kind of unfortunate. At least we could do a lot of damage. The question is, how much damage should we do? I think this is a good start. Get rid of those enemies. Now I just need another teleport, and I think we're good. Nice, I can almost kill them. I'm so close. So let's use the bishop, because this will hit more than one target. Which is why it's good to have at least one bishop. Then we'll teleport over here and just wound them a bit. That should be fine. So we'll draw three. Hopefully it's a good card. We drew damage cards. Okay. So we could kill you. You're going to teleport with something. Okay. I can get rid of you. Melee the chest so we can't destroy it. But in theory, black hole him if I need to. Don't want to jump in the hole. Oh, so it's just gonna constantly keep spawning enemies? That's actually really irritating. We're getting more kunai. I'm going to have to black hole if I ever want to leave at some point. The downside is I can't really stop him from doing anything because this room layout is so awkward. Um, prefer to save the gravestone for something a little more desperate. And we'll see what happens, I guess. This should just kill him. This might be worth it. Just to end this room. But the problem is, like, I can't get a guaranteed kill on the bottom one. Uh, I could charm him. Although it's not giving me a prompt that it works. Oh, it can only work at point blank range. That's actually kind of limiting. Oh boy. What do I do to get out of this? I need to somehow deal with this. That's so many premonitions. We have, a, we have a boss killer move. We have kunai. I have a couple of movement options in here. The problem is, I need to come over here. Do I swap? Uh, I can't swap places with him. Too far away. I could rocket jump. I could see what the discard does. But unfortunately, one of the enemies is immune, which is not useful. Oh, I did get Bat's Dive. Oh, okay. So I do have a... I have two really good mobility options if I really need to burn them. Um... Builder's Drive is terrible. I might actually just do that to get over here. Jump to target, then zip to another position. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not the, uh, that's not the one I was thinking it was. I mean, it, it's good, but it's not the one that makes me have flight after I use it. Not aerial ace. Um, so many cards. I don't even know what to do with this all. So we have to somehow cross the gap, but I also need to stop enemies from spawning. I would like to save Monk's insight for as long as possible. That will be my I really messed up button. 
but I'm really not seeing another way to teleport, so I think I have to use this. Unless I just jump like this. Maybe that's fine. That guy, so he's guaranteed to try to fight me now. Which I don't actually really want to have happen. Charm would be very good. If I can land that on the demon, the fight ends instantly. Man, I just don't have, like... I drew, like, non-damage cards, which is the problem. So I'm kind of, like, diving deep into my options here. This is probably, like, the only time I should probably use Shield Bash. You can't reach me, right? Okay, I'm just making sure. I was like, before I commit to a big mistake. Don't really want to use my AP moves. Oh, it's so painful. Alright, that's fun. Oh, come on. This room is so brutal. I can't kill fast enough to deal with these enemies. If this turns into another demon, I think I just lose. Like, I'm eating so many cards to basically do no damage. I could do double Knight's Jump to kill this target, I guess. But then if, an if another summon is a demon, I don't know what to do. Please don't be a demon. Really stally, annoying enemies, of course. Um... I think it's forcing my hand to black hole. I could charm the other guy. I think I have to. I need him to not split, and then I need you to just... Then he's gonna be blocking the chest. Oh, come on. No! This is so unfair. I just want this battle to end. Hold on for, like, way too long. I don't have any good options for this, though. Because if I charm him, then I can't get the chest, which is, like, half of the reason to do these rooms. Man, I don't have anything that does 5 damage. I have nothing. I have no damage abilities. We have a lot of utility, but no damage. That is so booty. I think I, think I just have to shut down the encounter. I I'm gonna have to leave the card. I don't like leaving the card behind, but... We, we use like 15 cards and this battle is still going on. Like, this battle needs to end. Alright, battle's over. I can at least collect the card. I would have loved that chest, but I'm not reinitiating battle in that room. The room was horrible. Oh, I drew a C. I could use that to correct so that I draw my Queen's Gambits. I think I need to do that. I was just complaining about damage. I think we have to do that. And now we just need to focus on clearing the room in a semi-reasonable time. Without using like all of our cards. It's one of these enemies again, seriously. Hate the demons, chat. They are so annoying. I think I'm actually just gonna poison breath them. Like, I could do more to finish this room, but honestly, I need him to just not do whatever he's trying to do for like a turn. I'll take the damage for it. If it means getting through one of his health bars, I'll take it. So I'm down a lot of health due to the retaliate monster. Um, so if he explodes, that's gonna take out multiple targets. I think I'm okay with. Oh, but then the target next. Oh, he's not dead still. Hmm. Three damage, chat. I need four damage abilities. I keep drawing three. I can't use the other one at all. It's so annoying. And I didn't draw 
can. I, I drew, like, nothing to deal with this enemy. This really sucks. I'm going to lose a lot of health, but I, I think I have to do this. And then we're going to hopefully get out of range. Oh, I can't do that, because that's how we spawned. Ugh. I really don't want to take more damage here. Can I really not... I don't want to use the knight move to retreat. I don't want to use the queens to teleport. I could use a blink. That's probably the least offensive use. Alright, let's try to grab some cards from our grave. I don't care how long this takes. We need to get our better cards out of the grave, like, immediately. Otherwise, I'm in big trouble. These enemies are very slow. So this will allow me to get my grave down to, like, 22 instead of, like, 37. So I should have most of the cards that I want on hand. Of course, it's a retaliate creature. We'll draw another three, and one of them should be one of our healing abilities. Because I think four of our heal cards are in the grave. So we should, in theory, be able to pull them. I should have more kunai, right? I actually don't have a lot of kunai left. This'll help, though. That's one more enemy dead. We're gonna draw three. Hopefully that's one of our heals. We drew one of our heals, okay. Let's keep throwing kunai. We could get one more. We could get down to 31, which is pretty good. We drew a lot of defensive abilities, which are eh. The damage is already dealt. So if we do need an emergency heal, we have an emergency heal. I have... Ooh, like four kunai left? Unless they're all back here. Oh. Oh no. We have too many. We gotta throw these away. The game can't even handle how many we have. I think it's gradually trying to chase me, but spoilers, I don't really care. If we could draw one more set of healing, I would feel really good about this run. I, we're on kind of an iffy spot right now. I don't know how I feel about it. We drew- okay, we drew one of our healing. That's- okay, so we have two emergency heals, and I guess nothing stops me from using at least one. Let's go ahead and heal with our teleport, I think. Alright, so we're we're at an okay amount of health, so I don't need to worry about using that later. As long as I don't throw away all my kunai, we have a potential of coming back from however bad our odds are. So we're gonna do one more pull, and that'll put us at about 29. I think I, I, think I even said I wanted it to be a 29, so we actually ended up being where I wanted to be anyway. So that gives us a better chance of drawing our AoEs, and our situational ones are in our hand. So that way I don't- if I'm looking for something that's important, I don't have to worry about anything. So we should draw. And we drew... nothing useful. I'll play Prayer, though. I mean, technically Prayer could be amazing, it's just probably not. Ooh, invincibility! Hey, we got a boss move! Hey! That's looking good. Invincibility for three turns is pretty powerful. That is no joke. That is a fantastic draw. I'm gonna do one more kunai, and then we're just gonna end it. So I'm actually really happy that we ended up doing that. In fact, I'm gonna dupe that. I'm gonna dupe the invincibility. Where is it? So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make sure we have more than one out. <laughs> and we're gonna throw a kunai, and that'll be the last kunai in this room. We'll go down to 30. Excellent, we drew our AoE. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted to see. I can throw one more kunai, I guess, to build meter. It's always good to at least try to build the Curio up. I think if we keep it around like 25 cards, I think I can still draw semi-consistently with it. 
I'm surprised the game has not crashed with how many cards I'm forcing the game to draw, to be honest with you. Like, the cards are unreadable. We drew our black hole again, which is huge. So I still have an insta-kill. The enemy splits and something terrible happens. So many things here. Oh, we get to heal as well. 433. It should go- Oh, this is the boss floor. Hey, I'm ready to stomp a boss. I got two invincibility things. It's like, how many cards am I drawing in the boss battle? Is this a boss battle? Put a skull. Maybe it's just a danger room. It had a skull icon in my defense versus the normal one. Maybe it just means the room is harder than normal. Which, to be honest, I don't know if that really matters with our deck. We need to do this for sure. I mean, I guess this room would normally be a huge problem, but spoilers, don't care. I need to make sure I hit the demon every turn. He's probably the most annoying of the creatures. And then I just need to be in a good position after this. How many more queens advances do I have? Oh, I have all of them in my hand to run anything to worry about. That is so much damage, but the demon doesn't die. It kills almost everything else, though, which I think is worth it. So no surprise summons, no long-range annoying damage, just the demon who has to teleport, and he teleported away from me. Pretty good odds, I would say, to have him go away from me instead of towards me. Any of the objects on the right side of the room, he should have been able to teleport towards, so if he wants to teleport like an idiot on the side of the arena, I don't really care. Um, if I get a little closer, I can black hole one of them out of existence. Which I probably want to do. I probably want to black hole to retaliate, to be honest. Um... What do I do here? I didn't get to hit the other guy at all, so I can't one-shot him with anything. If I back up one space, then I don't hit the problem enemy. So there, there's basically only... There's basically three problem enemies. The mage, I can kill if I hit twice with anything. But he's in a position where I can't hit him currently, which is awkward. I could teleport through, use a heal, then maybe use... I don't want to use another queen's ability if I could avoid it. Maybe then use bishop afterwards. I think that's probably for the best. So if we kill him, we're gonna draw potentially three more cards. I just need to be in a position to punish whatever they're doing. We get closer, actually. Hopefully we draw a good three here. We're back down to 29, the magic number. Ooh, we drew something amazing. That's a hard counter to them. That is a super hard counter. Does that get rid of their retaliate? Oh, it does get rid of retaliate while they're hexed. Oh, I didn't know that. That's actually huge, because now I can just stomp them. That's one of the threats just instantly killed, by the way. That's that's huge. That would have been like four damage to me, by the way, for comparison. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to throw Kunai on him. Wow, Hex, Hex paying off big time there. I I avoided so many nonsense invincibility moves there, Chad. If you haven't seen what happens when you let them do whatever they want, I am so happy we skipped all that. So we got a Curio again, so I'm going to go back down to 28 cards. So this is really good. The odds of me drawing something useful are pretty high. I have most of my junk cards in hand already, so I know I'm drawing to, like, basically nothing but god tier cards. And looks like I earned the right to go to the final area. I I guess I'll go do it? Question mark? I have 28 cards in library, so if something destroys my hand, I still have cards. The Bishop's Knife seeks to get stuff out of the grave. I'm a little sad my Night Jumps are in there. I'm not... Not thrilled to see a spider leg is still in there. 
I mean, I guess I'm gonna go further. Let's skip some floors. It gave me a star room? I, I guess we're almost at the final boss. Star rooms usually require you to find something special, and that's usually right before the boss. So I guess I'll just keep going. Boss time? No? I mean, I'm okay with this. We're at the final teleport. I know there are officially no more teleports after this. We saw the beginning of the game. New music change. Ooh. I only have a couple queen teleports. Where can I be to hit as many targets as possible? Let's start with this. Them splitting into slimes is really good for me. I'm actually not worried about that. I'm worried about... the demon gates unchecked. Those things are horrible. So I could do this to stop him from doing anything. Do I need to? Do I bull rush him and stun him? I think I do. I think that's a better use. We'll take one damage. I, I think that's fine. We, we can afford to take one damage over letting that enemy do whatever it wants. Like, that's fine. I can even heal if I really needed to, but we really don't. Um, I need to do two damage to the other target. Question is, can I? I guess I'll just kunai backwards repeatedly, because it's funny. Alright, so problem enemy killed. As long as I don't spend too many cards here, I should be good. So you can hit me for one. You can't hit me at all. You can't hit me at all. Uh, there's something I could do for some protection. I can move one more space. So I could move in a way that they can't hit me at all and draw cards. Let's draw cards. Ooh, we got a heal ability. That's perfect. So we could kill these enemies. This guy's still a problem, though. I might actually Queen's advance him. Thinking about it. Actually, you know what? This will work better. Get rid of these cards. Kill. If I take a damage here, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna heal it back. Oh, never mind. Shield says no. So I'm going to teleport stomp them because it's funny. And then let's draw another card. Uh, is that what I think it is? Hex oh, hex, hex 3 is actually good. I thought it was Hex 1. Hex 1 is terrible. Hex 3 is perfect. Let's copy another card. Okay, so we, we got a couple new outs. So Hex will basically stop an en a problem enemy from doing something. I don't mind a cauldron. I don't remember what that is. What is that? Oh, Hex Explosion Orb. Eh, that, that card's okay. Let's get rid of our prayers. And then we'll continue forward. Got a new ability. Is that the move seven card? It is. <laughs> then deal seven if you have exactly seven cards in my hand. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. I have too many cards. Let's throw a kunai and then draw whatever we can here. I wanna. We have a little too many cards in our graveyard. Let's draw three. Perfect. I got a prayer. That. Art is not really great, but I guess I could use it if I wanted to. So we have three teleports in hand and an AoE. Not bad. I probably want to keep throwing Kunai, if at all possible, to try to draw more cards out of our graveyard. So this enemy is giving us the mercy of just being really stupid and just never being able to reach us. What a great combo when all you're trying to do is fix your grave. 
We have 28 cards in the library. Most of them are fine for bosses. Alright, so we're gonna draw into something good now, hopefully. We drew kind of bottom end stuff. That's a Let's throw more kunai. Maybe some time later. I almost thought I jumped in the hole. You have no idea, chat. I would have been so tilted. And like, dumb, dumb ways to die. Well, these rooms are kind of annoying. I think the game wanted me to leave, by the way, and get another rune slot before we went into the boss battle, but... I think I'm just gonna do it my way, which is whatever I feel like. I'm a little sad we didn't draw back into Black Hole, because I actually would really like it right now. I don't have a way of hitting both mages, they're too far away from each other. Wait, can that target me from anywhere? Actually, I might not be able to. Might be fun. If he can bait me from here, I'm gonna be very, very, very upset. There is nothing I could do about that. Uh, I would like to not have my back to something that could do big damage to me. And I... Oh, I have one black hole. Okay, we're good. Um... That's so risky. I don't know what ice does yet. You can pull me in full screen. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Man. That is... It's not the end of the world, but that is really annoying. Because that means I can't use any abilities. I'm just going to discard these. Irritating. We're running low on teleport again. And hit him out of his stealth. Then we could kill the other enemy. Maybe that's worth it. We could get one space forward without walking on the ice. That would be huge. But I don't think I could do that. I could throw enemies away from me, but that's not gonna help me. I, I need to physically move. Is there really nothing I have? I have no more teleports. It's my heal for this. This feels like such a bad idea. I mean, I could... I could do that, but that would also be a terrible idea. I guess this is fine. We need to do some range damage so he doesn't annoy us to death, essentially. Is he summoning another bait? Oh no, he's trying to reach me. Um... Probably I'm going to shut down both of these enemies real quick. Let's hope we draw onto some AoE. We have a lot of cards in Grave, which is not great, because that means my consistency of drawing from the Grave is much lower now. Yeah, like, I drew a card that would help me, but not, like, the card that would help me. Let's get rid of you. I charge into him... Okay, I'd rather throw kunai. Assuming he- yeah, he's just gonna spin webs, I don't really care about that. He's gonna heal, which doesn't matter. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> the other guy's dead, which is perfect. So now those two are dead, I just throw kunai. GG to them. Perfect. Now we need to draw one more kunai worth of stuff from the grave. Let's end our turn. I could technically draw two sets of kunai from the grave. I might actually do that. I think that's worth it. 
Yeah, so I'm not even gonna use prayer. I'm just gonna make sure we use prayer. Okay. Which, in theory, I should not be able to run out of, but it's possible I'll run out of them if I miscount. We should have a whole bunch of them later on. I'm gonna get rid of the ones that are, like, really hard for me to remember where they are. Do we have, like, some deep in here? Let's do one more set. That'll put me at 27. That should be pretty consistent for draws. And then I'm probably not even going to use prayer after we're... I, I guess I could use prayer instead of kunai after this. I don't mind drawing more prayer. But it's like, I just want to make sure that we have at least some AoE. If I don't have room clear, there's no point to having utility. And after this, I'm going to make sure that we uh, build up kunai again. Oh, yeah, see, I just drew two teleports, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, we're gonna make sure we have enough of these. I'm gonna go ahead and place some prayer. Technically, that increases the odd of drawing prayer again, but that's fine. Throw a single kunai. What's this? Flush hand, copy target card for each discarded library card. Ooh, that is so strong in our deck. <laughs> oh my god, I am tempted. I can make a million black holes. That is really tempting to do right now. Oh my gosh. Or I could have like 7 million teleports. Honestly, all of those would be really good. I'm trying to think about what would be best. Oops, the Gravity Falls pick. Nice. I think I just do it, right? Screw my hand, draw like a million teleports. And I can draw them back anyway, because we're busted. Yeah, I think I just... Oh wait, what, what is it doing? Oh, the first card is that. I got really confused. I was like, what do you mean? Yeah, I think I just draw nothing but queen teleports. So that way I no longer struggle with the teleport game. I don't think I lose anything I can't get back. Other than black hole will be annoying to get. Oh, wait, we're getting rid of all those cards too? Oh, that's really bad, actually. That was a big mistake. That was really bad. I I didn't realize the hand meant the bonus cards. I thought it was set library cards. That was a mistake. Mmm, that's what happens when you're tired. Goodbye, our entire hand. Well, that's fine. I have a million teleports to deal with every enemy. So now we just need to... I gotta get Kunai back in my hand. Copy a random card? Yes, please. Oh, that's not too bad. Let's see what we draw into. I could draw my Seeks. My Seeks will be very interesting if I draw them. Okay, I drew my Seeks. Alright, we're in business again. What do I what do I want to draw is the question. What from my graveyard do I really want? I could draw my Queen Teleports. I might hold on to these. Exhum at random might be worth doing at some point. Yeah, let's get rid of some of our bonus cards. Then we'll work our way up from there. I need Kunai back at some point, or we're in trouble. Don't care about that. Let's exhum at random. Uh, that's not bad. We have Seeks to kind of fix things a little bit. So I'm not super worried about this. I might draw... I might put our Teleports in rotation. That would probably be fine. Yeah, that's probably fine. I'm not happy about the Demon Lord existing over there, but I think everything else is fine. So all we need to do is just rebuild our hand, which is fine. So this is now twice I've accidentally destroyed our hand. 
That's what happens when you play with a card you don't normally ever use. You learn the hard way. So we got something to shut down one bad enemy. The question is, do I want to use this? I probably do. Yeah, let's use one of these. And then we will teleport on them. That should stop the demon from getting close to me. Let's draw some cards. All we need to do is hit Kunai again and we're fine. We have like a 1 in 30. And if the enemy wants to stall and do whatever other stupid stuff, I'm okay with that. I will gladly take that trade all day. I will gladly hit this attack again. Unity there kind of blow. I can move here. I don't think I could do to buy turns. I could poison him. I think for now I'm gonna end my turn. I could do this into one melee, and this should kill him. Almost kill him. So we're down a lot of cards, but our deck is still really broken, so I could probably still make a comeback despite that mess up. Is it really an encounter room? That is most unfortunate. Really wish I had something that did 4 damage. This is so sad. We're gonna not kill them again. So they're gonna set up some morphs. I think I'm gonna use a regular card here. And hopefully we draw something nice off this curio. Ideally it'll be infinite kunai, but we'll see what happens. Oh, we drew our worst cards. That's unfortunate. Well, uh, unfortunately for them, it's still GG. So having Oops All Teleport is still useful. I will get rid of the Spiderlings, because they are our worst card, and they offer nothing of interest. They're not even worth it to me to hold on to for any reason whatsoever. I'd like to probably use a prayer here. Okay, we got an AP back. Let's use another prayer. Uh, that's not bad. We need something stronger, though. Denying Palm, okay. Okay, so we have two get off me moves and AP booster. So we have one AP booster. I would like to get to the boss with at least one damaging ability, or else we might be in trouble. We're gonna draw three, so we have chances of drawing something interesting here. Okay, not bad. Most of these enemies are not really all that threatening. This is another room I could probably take my time in if I really need to. The problem is, like, I can't teleport right here, which would have been ideal. Ugh. Are they so spaced apart? Most unfortunate. I'm gonna avoid using my bonus cards if I can. Yeah, losing infinite kunai there was probably the only thing I regret losing. Like, I can rebuild the hand. I don't super care about that. Losing the kunai stops me from rebuilding the hand easy. It's still doable, it's just more annoying than it should. I cannot believe I have no other viable spaces to teleport. Actually kind of sucks. I don't know why I can't move in that space. This feels like a waste to use. But honestly, I really need to make sure that this portal doesn't turn into anything. Let's do this. I'm contemplating if it's worth nuking my graveyard the next time I get a chance and trying to just draw into it to fix my hand. Because all my most of my seeks are in the graveyard. The only thing I lose is prayer, which is kind of annoying. But I also don't have kunai and I don't have other good options. 
I have a lot of Queen's arrivals. But when I do stuff like this, this is okay. damage, that's fine. Hopefully we draw something nice here, because a lot of our card is now in the graveyard, and it's kind of hard to... Oh, that was a good chain reaction. It's kind of hard to make a comeback if I don't draw a specific card. Okay, we got a Queen's Arrival, which is fine. They take damage here, we heal, this should be mostly fine. So much damage. Please, let's not go away. Alright, we're definitely gonna need to find the exit, like, ASAP. I don't know what that is. What is this? The judge will determine my fate? I don't know if I like that. Why is it nothing but enemies that take damage from other sources? More easily, I have. Damn. I am starting to doubt if I could get to the top. If we keep getting rooms like this... I don't know. It's gonna be real rough if I can even do it. I think I need to go here to deal with the enemies. I have to. And we could go here, maybe. Then I'm gonna take a lot of damage. I don't think there's much you can do about that, sadly. Need to draw Kunai... And basically only Kunai very soon. No, we drew a terrible card. Uh, I mean, we drew another damage card, but that's not good enough to get us out of where we are. I have enough to go like two or three floors, but if there's like something beyond floor 40, I don't think I can win what we have, sadly. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset our grave and then just burn all my cards in hand. And whatever whatever is in my hand will be something I can get back with Curio. And hopefully I draw into infinite uh, kunai. Because I still have all these copies, and most of my hand is just kind of okay anyway. So like, I don't mind drawing any of these again. I'd prefer if I had the Queen's teleport in my hand before I do anything crazy like that. I just need one. Uh, I guess the judge didn't like me doing something. I don't really understand his gimmick, but sure. Very injured. Let's go teleport on them. I'm assuming there's a countdown or something, but... Ooh, no healing at all? Uh-oh, this might be GG. I only have one healing left, and I have no ability to recover from this. If I'm given an out, I have to take it at this point. Uh, there's no healing. Yeah, I think this is GG, sadly. I think I'm about to loot all my items. Man. It had to be these enemies, didn't it? Is there a way I can teleport that would be useful to me? I'd have to hit them with two Queen's Gambits, which I don't have. <laughs> I believe I literally lost my combo engine, and I can't draw it. I Unless I get this combo engine back, the, the run is over. I was thinking I would draw it in, like, 24 cards? 24 attempts to draw it? But it is still not happening, because I'm going to end up putting more cards in the grave than I have. Um, in hand. And when that happens, the run is 100% over. There is no comeback from that. I don't know what to do. I could risk using the Queen's Gambit, but the problem is this stupid root. This root is going to eat an action, but I don't have another move I can really do. I'm going to try to heal. Stupid root. If this wasn't here... 
If this wasn't here, I would have been able to kill this room very quickly. The problem is I'm now potentially going to take a million damage. I don't know how to mitigate this. Best I could do is this to damage them. Maybe this will work. This is not going to kill any of the targets because I had to avoid the first spot. Oh, I could try to hex them. That's my out. If we draw infinite kunai, we're fine. If I don't draw infinite kunai, run is over. I have like four more attempts at drawing this card. Did not draw it. Okay. Go over here. Let's teleport again. I don't want this card at all. I'm gonna get rid of it. So I'm down to five cards in hand. I'm gonna copy a random card. Technically, I could copy something that would be useful. If I if I copy any of the stranger cards, we're probably fine. Burn five is too slow to be useful, so that card's pretty useless. I need one more. Okay, I'm gonna draw a card. So what's what's our out in the library? I have two seeks, which can pull me out of some danger. I have Dig Deep, which I can use to try to get Kunai back. Everything else in our hand- everything else in our library is a dead card at this point. Grave Summons would be very powerful. But it would still be a basically a dead card. I'm gonna try to exhum here and hopefully something good happens. Please draw something useful. We did not draw anything useful. Getting annoying. We're now in just pure RNG mode because I messed up. Very tilting. And I can't even fast clear this room either. That's what kind of sucks. Let me do this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very tempted to just quit the run at this point and save myself time. I don't see how I would make a comeback. As I said before, the only thing that will get me out of this at this point is now Infinite Kunai. We've drawn dead so many times with the draw three. It's actually insane how many times we've whiffed it. Alright, so we get another turn. Is anything attacking me from here? All three of them are about to whiff. Alright, so we have a, I don't know, one in, one in 44 chance of drawing it in three attempts. It's not like the worst odds ever. I keep rolling them. I keep not drawing it though. Because once we have that, I can trim how many cards are in our graveyard. Also, man, normal combat animation is so slow. Please draw Kunai. We draw a healing ability, which is okay. But it is not Kunai. <laughs> Most notably, not Kunai. Let's go over here. That dealt with most of the problems here. So I get a couple more chances. Once I'm down to like four cards, it's over. So I have a few more chances, but this is insanely bad luck at this point to have not drawn it. Because of the 49 cards, I wish I could get this thing to scroll consistently. Of the 49 cards, at least nine of them, I believe I can't draw at, at this point with the draws. So it's just a 1 in 40, 1 in 39, 1 in 38. But I keep doing it. So I'm like, I've done it like 14 times, I think, so far. And I still can't draw it, which is super bad luck. Um, What do I do about this? I think I have to dash, right? Oh, are both of you not attacking? Oh, that's actually good. Um... I have some like okay abilities, but if I can't get prayer back, which is like our main engine, there's not much I can really do either. This should be big for us. So most of the problem enemies are now gone. I don't need to worry about them. I would like to teleport if I could to get health. Rooted, that's fine. I 
I guess I could use the bishop, because if I draw the bishop again, that's fine. Alright, we're gonna go for yet another attempt at drawing the card that will save the run. We are, we are drawing, like, literally nothing at this point. Useful. We have 52 cards in Graveyard. I have, like, a 1 in 40-ish chance of getting it. Please draw it. Nope. Uh, I got some other cards that will let us go another room, though, which I think is okay. It's not the worst things we could have drawn, but it's not great either. So, are there any cards I could just chuck right of here this faster. One, two, three. Okay, so three bad breaths are fine for a single room, but they're not going to help us with the boss. So the further we get without getting something helpful for a boss, the worse shape we're in. Oh, there's like a little icon in the middle. I just realized what that is. So if I attack, I lose. Okay, now I understand what the judges look like. Um... Okay, so it's immune to hex, but it can be poisoned, which is not useful. Um... I think hexing that is more important. I shut down two of those enemies. Then I can almost kill the problem in it. And that's pretty good damage. So I killed three enemies. So any attacks at all failed the challenge. That's fun. We use two more generic abilities. Should be good. Let me teleport backwards and then maybe poison them. So if I go upward two spaces, where I need to go, so I'll go here. We're basically back at full health. I'm gonna shut down their turn. We need to draw it. We're gonna get another chance to draw it yet again. Brutal. Still not drawing it. Holy. That is... That is atrocious luck. I cannot believe I have not drawn my out still. Uh, I don't really want to use another one of these abilities if I can quit it. I just... Clean scan it? What are they doing this turn? Oh, they're trying to toxic staff? Oh. And I don't want to do anything. That might actually reach me. I was not expecting them to actually use that. Cute. Um... We have 20 cards left in the library. A seek would mm, sort of help, as it would reduce the number of cards in the graveyard. And if I have the queen's arrival, then I can have like six of them. What are you doing this turn? You're gonna heal. Oh. I'm gonna smack you repeatedly then. You. We're gonna teleport to heal. We're gonna melee you again. It should be GG. Alright, so we're gonna draw a card. So we're, we're drawing into options again. I'm gonna keep my heal. I think our hand is actually okay. Our copy cards are terrible. Unreal! Unreal! Okay, let's do something like this. This should be like a million summons. I swear if this does not end the encounter, I'm gonna be tilted. Please, end this encounter. I, I don't know why I can't draw it. This is in, this is insane that I've still not drawn it. It's so bad. Right. At least they're somewhat competent right now. So that that's an encounter. Oh, them killing that is that that is actually really unlucky that they managed to reach that. I can't believe they didn't stop the jellyfish. That's unfortunate. Uh, where do I go then? They help for a little bit, but then they split the big... Yeah, they split the jellyfish and that ended up screwing them, which was unfortunate. 
and this is just going on way too long. Now I'm getting like genuinely tired, cranky, because it's like almost three in the morning, and it's like, man, I just have like no gas in the build. And we're just not drawing what I need to make a comeback. It's like, do I even? I just might mercy kill the run. So we're gonna lose all those tower cards. Because I made one mistake in reading how a card functioned. It sucks. I, I could jump there, but that doesn't help us. Do this to kill a few of them. That would help. Alright, let's see. If I walk forward, then expret them. We're gonna try to draw again into our out, and I still have yet to draw it. I still have not drawn the out. Unreal. At this point, I'm just gonna ask the game to just reset my hand. I, I think I give up. Like, where's the downside in this? I can draw into my seeks again. I probably want to get rid of this card before we go forward, so let's jump that, because that card's literally useless. I think our hand as is is okay. I think I'm just going to reset. I've tried so hard to draw into our out, and it is just not happening, so we're putting the out back in the deck. If we then fight the boss, it's, it's over. If this goes straight to the boss, it's over. We're not winning. Please don't go straight to the boss. Okay, good. So now we just need to burn as many cards as we can. So I have one of everything, so I can seek anything that I need. Oh, this is such a bad... Or Let's do this. Gives me a couple outs. Can I multi-kill anything here is the question. Come on, seriously? Am I- can I not kill anything with our remaining cards? That is it's really bad, actually. I have some Queen Teleport. I think I'm gonna have to use these. And we're going to, I guess, use this again. Okay, this is actually really good. This might clear the whole room. Okay, so we didn't draw anything useful. Let's go ahead and throw away a card cycle more than one card back. Actually, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that. I want to see what I draw first. I would like a C if we can get it. But we'll see what happens. Or infinite kunai. Nope, did not get either. Alright, so we could... We can't shut down that enemy, so we have to use our teleport here. So it's like nothing but the endgame enemies. So we have three cards we could potentially return. There's no reason for me to hold on to these and burn these. That's just free damage. So sadly with Hex here, I can't do anything. Or lore, I mean. So I'm about to take a lot of damage. There's nothing I can do about it. Most I could do is melee. Hopefully poison will take care of some of the threats. So our goal is to burn as many cards in hand as possible. In fact, I might cycle out our entire hand every time we clear. This is, I still can't attack due to lore. Super awkward and super terrible. There we go. Oh, I didn't even notice there was a guy over there. That's kind of a problem. Uh, we have to teleport. Question is, what do we teleport to? Do I probably want to poison him? And I need to teleport, but I need to be in a way that I can punish something. Let me go up here and then teleport. Maybe that's the best. Yeah, there we go.
So I'm gonna go ahead and I <sighs> just drew another of the same card that's actually not useful. Um I guess I can try to shut this area down. Let's do something like this. I need to draw one more card, so let me go ahead and do that. We're gonna get our healing on. We're gonna kill this enemy. We should draw most of our damage cards back when we go into the next area, or there's no other room. Well, moment of truth, is this the boss? If this is the boss, we lose. Alright, we still have a chance. I need to draw insanely well here. That's a good draw. Black Hole is a very good item that I can start cycling. But we need to get learning. So I need Queen's Arrival in my hand. But we have an out. So now Black Hole is an insta-kill, which is what I've been missing. We're getting low on our bonus cards, which means that we're not drawing efficiently. There's not really anything I could do about that at the moment. I think this run is still over. I could try to hit with Bishop, though. We're gonna wound everybody, and then we're going to do everybody again. So we're gonna try to draw into something useful by burning some cards here. I want to hopefully get back the Queen's Arrival and pull it from our deck. If we can pull that from the deck, then we have a little bit of a chance, but we still need to draw Learning, and we need Infinite Kunai at some point. We need to draw the Queens. We drew the Queens. Let's go draw the Queen out of our deck. We've increased the odds of drawing from the other end. Yeah, this has been a brutal run. So we have a lot of cards we can cycle into. Having a lot of Queen's Arrivals is good because that's my pref preferred card. So our ability to clear has increased pretty much astronomically compared to earlier. Do one more Queen's Teleport, I guess. Should be fine. Take the damage. Don't know why it even bothers to tell me if there's an action I want to take there. The odds of drawing a Queen's Arrival are pretty much 100%. I can't draw Seek again. Uh, I probably want to dump my hand at some point. I probably don't want to challenge. There's the exit. I can't take the exit until I get a different card. If there's an option to leave before the boss, the run is also saved because there is no way I'm beating the boss. Like, we have a lot of really good teleports, but teleports are only really good for a room here. Uh. Good black hole, but that feels really greedy. I don't... I think I'm just gonna hold my turn here. Uh, we'll do one attack into Bishop, maybe? I could try to get rid of one of my mediocre cards. I could get rid of one of these for healing, maybe? If I draw it again, it's not the end of the world. At least then it's just healing. Alright, Mercy will have an exit right before the final floor, and there is secretly another warp to take. I don't really want to take that. Do I want to take that? I guess I guess I should take this fight. Let me clear these. Even if I get infinite kunai, it doesn't matter. Alright, so we drew our healing ability thing back, which is fine. So our hand is in a lot better shape than what it was earlier, but it's nowhere near good enough to beat a boss. And we still have really awkward draws. Let's try to kill the mage, because if he shuts us down, that'll be super bad for us. Let's 
try to draw all three. Do you see how we, we can basically clear a room in like three uses? So we have basically a three and five of drawing it again and again, because we have to use two other cards in order to draw it. So eventually we're gonna get to the point where we can't draw what we need out of it. But right now it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't care if one demon is at full health. I prefer we at least kill one of these. I could partially heal him, but then he's gonna poison me. Uh, get rid of a bishop. There we go. So we are 100% about to both of these. And I would like to smack them if I can, like this. That's huge. So if we're lucky, we're gonna draw teleport cards. Uh, not lucky-ish. I mean, it only took like 20 something bad draws in a row to finally get a decent hand. The problem is that I can't cycle through my deck like this. I might just get rid of Bishop. Oh no, no, I could do that while still attacking. That's fine. Let's do this. We're throwing away cards for the sake of throwing away cards, because I'm trying to draw something specific. I am surprised I killed him, but that's fine. We still can't draw a card, but we're getting closer. I don't see the point in getting rid of our graveyard. That would just hurt us at this point. So I definitely do not want to do that. <laughs> There's a skull. It's either a hard room or probably just a hard room. That is a lot of enemies. Uh... Is there a way I can clear all of the eyes? That's one. That's two. And we wound the other things as well, which is huge. <gasps> oh, they stunned instead of just doing damage. Oh, that is unfortunate. Oh, we got a really good card though. But can we draw what we need is the question. We needed to get rid of our hand at some point. It just happened a little sooner than I would have liked. All right, so that doesn't really matter. I zoom one from the bottom for you. Interesting. So I have guaranteed draw. That wouldn't have helped me with kunai. So technically we had more than one out against kunai, I guess, looking at our deck. Uh, I think I have to take damage here, but I could do that and also wound everybody near me. A lot of the problem enemies just died, which is perfect. Um... You can see we're almost out of bonus cards, so once that happens, it's GG. Because there's no way I can clear a room fast enough to not take a million damage and die. He exhumed again. That's a good draw. We need something to deal with this. If I could... If I go over one more space... That'll kill the other target. Okay, let's go for that. That way I can hit the demon, kill the other guy. Hit you. Okay, we finally drew a prayer. Okay. That's good. Can we draw something good off a of prayer? <laughs> nope. I don't know what the odds are of getting something useful from prayer. They haven't been great. Let's come over here. Now question, when I do that, is prayer now at the bottom? Oh, maybe prayer is at the bottom of the library? So if I exhume this, do I get prayer back guaranteed? No, I don't. So my... Does my graveyard not stay the same order that this pulls from? Because it says from the bottom, like, technically it's Queen's Arrival, but I don't... If I did that, prayer should have been at the top of the graveyard. Something's not right with the graveyard list. 
I think it's the correct in the order that it should be, but I don't think it's playing in the right order. Um, what do I want to do? Get rid of some cards. Uh, let's teleport. That way I can draw cards. I can't believe we made it here. Did we get a war book? I'm just embodying cold voice speak to you. Oh, hero of legend, here are tales. Knowing both lies and truth is the only way forward. According to legend, the towering structure appeared soon after the stranger came to be from an unnamed island in the Middle Sea. As it appeared, creatures of nightmares poured from it, corrupting many people to madness and fighting against the Four and their followers. People corrupted by its influence joined the battle to bring down the Four and destroy the world. The Four and the Twelve fought back and managed to reach the tower. After a climatic bow battle, the tower became crystal, sealed the stranger and its corrupting influence inside. Eventually, the tower and the island disappeared. No matter how much anyone looked for it, no one could find it anymore in the Middle Sea. As the eras passed, the tales of the Four and their fight against the stranger became myth. The tower, a distant fictional place in the minds of people. That was our first lore thing in forever. I guess I heal? I definitely do not reset the graveyard. We have so many cards, but I have no way of saving them because we have not been given enough. If there is mercy, this will take us to an exit. It will not take us to a boss. Oh? Oh my gosh, we didn't lose everything. Oh, there's no way I'm doing the boss. Return to town. <laughs> there's no way I'm doing the boss right now. Oh my gosh, that was mercy. We climbed like 20 floors. I thought for sure we were done. Thankfully, there was mercy. Oh my gosh, that was brutal. All right, what would make it easier? Increase the number of cards that can be naturally drawn by one, maybe. That wouldn't have been bad for what we had. That was the struggle, chat. Holy, when I ran out of my combo. Brutal. Let's get some, uh... I mean... I might as well see. I don't think I care about Dig Deep. Is there anything else we could do for damage? Oh, we can get another Bad Breath. That's actually huge. Um... Alpha Star's okay. I think I need more infinite kunai. Due to how long that other area was. Yeah, let's get five infinite kunai. So I have a one in or five in 77 chance of drawing it. So I have an, a decent chance of getting there. Am I going to get all endings? I mean, I was just going to beat the game as is. Unfortunately, I dumped my hand by accident. I, for some reason, thought the bonus cards did not count. I thought it meant, like, my library card hand. I think I made that same mistake a long time ago as well, which was very brutal. Or else we would have beaten that boss. So, very, very, very sad. But oh well. How much do I feel like retrying this is the question. I really did not like Cautious Dash. I'm just gonna get rid of it. I tried it. I don't think it's as important as drawing my other pieces. If I had more black hole, I would get more black hole for sure. Cool dash is also kind of okay. Honestly, I might just go down cards in general. See how I feel about that combo. Because not drawing infinite kunai was painful. But the downside is if I have too many, they just kind of get exhumed over and over, which is terrible. Alright, let's try this. Only return, here's what he found. At the end of turns, inflict stun to wall enemies. Okay. Okay. We have like three more things to do. Oh. We can apparently go back here now. Uh, another time. <laughs> Just not gonna worry about that. So I guess because we beat the ancient effigy or whatever.
Harmony helps with Miasma. I don't think it really matters. I messed up a game winning hand. Like, I literally would have beaten the game like a half hour ago. Easy. If that boss that we're going to was the final boss, 100% would have been done. I had so many immunity cards in my hand. Mixed with like four AP boosters. I don't think I want to act. Actually, I don't think I want anything in there. We didn't talk to her. We'll hand in the the strangers thing. How was your progress with mastering chaos? Going well? Oh, now that is impressive. Sure, you could do anything if you put your mind to it. The future is bright. Take this card and some extra goodies. The card is really fun to use. <laughs> it represents everything about the stranger. Hope you use it well. Take care, friend, until we meet again. And for chaos, exhume target card if able, then discard it. What? I'm not sure why I would want to discard it. If it's exhumed target card, I'm like, oh, that's good. But then it's like, then immediately get rid of it. I don't have anything that I would want it to do that with. I think this makes more sense if it's like... With Traveler, where they have discard effects. But I'm playing Stranger, so this doesn't really help me. The fact that that's only a one rank is kind of funny. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else we can get from this. We have everything here. All of items that are sold out. Unless I really want shard toss. I mean, I guess maybe I should bring... Well... No, if I'm, if I'm not going through the full dungeon like I am before, I'm not going to bother. Alright, well, let's at least... Oh. I got rid of something. Let's see what Pax gave us. Maybe we'll get something interesting. Question mark. If we get more black hole, I think I would love that. Big oof. Big oof. Nope. So far, I don't care. I mean, copycat is fun. But if I'm playing stranger only, there's not much I could do about that. Are there any cards from this that I can still get? I don't think so. This has a decent chance of having something I don't have. Oh, we've seen Rock's Charge. I wasn't impressed. Pawn's Advance isn't bad. We do need more 4 damage abilities. Slimy Fireball, Fire's 4 damage, and spawns a pair of Volcanic Slime Remnant. Maybe. Price... Apocalypse, inflict one damage to all units in caster excluded for each point of damage inflicted by caster. Uh, so we finally got Apocalypse, but I don't think I really want to use it with the build that we have. If we had like four of them, I would consider it. But just one? I don't know. We have Ancient's Gaze again. Or Seek, still need those. I mean, honestly, I was more complaining about not being able to do 4 damage. Maybe this is what I'm looking for, plus it is decoys. Maybe worth trying once. Yeah. Apocalypse is like, I have to build a whole deck around it, but I only have one. Unless I can, like, duplicate this with the other person, I don't see why I would use this currently. Also, I guess I should double check that you don't have anything for me. Hey now, I believe that my trouble is, so I will not be mad if you refuse. I news that a somewhat unusual stranger card was found in the forest near the town. I remember freaking out, of course. The reason is the card is haunted. It sometimes flickers with your image like a mirror. How creepy is that? Though it is a stranger card. It wasn't purified because of the garden. Guide maiden. Well, no matter. Matter is the card is still widely available and rare, as even the Harai in the Stone Temple don't know anything about it. 
Which soon found the card apparently was the fish skin. Diving into a lake and saw the ruin at the bottom. So find him and grill him to get the card. Okay. Uh is there anything else I want to do before I talk to the fish pin? Where's the bowling pin? I can't do anything with that. Triton says, indeed. Found an incredibly creepy card in the lake the other day. What of it? Oh, we give it to you no problem. The card is cursed, I'm pretty sure. But the thing is, we give it to someone else. Red-haired woman. Most stars find her super attractive, but I failed to see it. Ask me for the card and I happily parted with it. Because who wouldn't? The card as creepy as that one is bad news. Person with red hair. Um, you? He just thought that about us. few red-haired characters. Oh, you can make the mistake of talking to that person and changing the graphics. Alright, so that person's looking for cards. Redhead views we're referring to if it's not one of those. I guess I'll keep looking around. Maybe they don't mean the raider. Need to worry about those. He was the only character that was new, so that's why I had a feeling he was related to the plot. Hmm. Unless, unless it's somebody in the tavern, maybe. We talked to that person, they didn't have anything to say. I think they're one of the playable characters. Let's Red Adventure is it, and they just don't want to talk to us. Could be them. I don't see anybody else that really matches the description. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you either. I don't want to talk to most of you. I think at this point, I think we're good. Uh... Take one ancient gaze. That's like a black hole. Close to the slime mini game. Oh. Oh dear. Yeah, I got that beautiful. Thank you. I got that beautiful card from the fishkin. I was so stressed by it that I felt bad for him. There's no curse at all. Such a beautiful card. It falls to me, but you know, dear, I'm willing to part with it for your sake. I'm here to watch your heroics. Now I can also help. I'm pleased with this. Dear, let me kiss the card for good luck and give it to you. Good luck, hero. Hmm. Let's go down this way. I probably don't want to retry the boss. Well, not retry. I, I chose not to do the boss, because I wanted the cards. Oh, this card is creepy, huh? Many stranger cards in my ledger since coming here. This one takes the cake. What? Don't look at me like that. You have many stranger cards in your ledger as well. Look, I've never cast cards, only collect them. No danger of me becoming a mini of the stranger this way, right? With that, this one is registered. I'm giving it to you pronto. I would say make good use of it, but really, it might be better if you don't. Shadow Warrior, suffer half max... HP. 
to send attacks nearby enemies. Um, I think I'll pass on that. I don't really want to injure myself. I, I could see if I wasn't doing the tower, how much more I would like it. But I'm like, it's really easy for me to just get chipped out due to retaliate. That's why I'm not putting like a ton of ancient gazes in the deck either. We very easily go down to like four, four to six. We could have like literally dead cards. So yeah, we have a basically one in ten chance of drawing prayer. Once we draw prayer, I think it's over. I need prayer plus infinite kunai, and then it's whatever I want. I can have infinite cards essentially. Then we just need to find an easy enemy to loot, like one of the slimes. That's it. Why is it telling me that there's packs? I don't have any packs. <laughs> Chad, we were talking about this before. UI bug. Please remove that if I've already been there. We ended up with so much cash, even though I used so much earlier. That's kind of funny to me. Um, I don't really want to do another run, but out of curiosity... Did we get down straight to 38? It's... I don't think enough for this to win. So I think next time we play, I'm going to play from about... Would be a good amount of floors. Maybe... 28 to 37, and then we do the final four, final four floors or so. Because uh, it's kind of like with Oracle, if I just go there in like two or three floors, I'm just going to not have what I need. But as soon as we have infinite kunai plus prayer, I can basically loop it forever. To the point where my graveyard will be literally just whatever seeks and gravestones I have. We have grave summons in case things go wrong, and they did help a little bit when things went wrong. So they're not very synergistic with the combo. But if we don't get the combo, they are very useful. So yeah, I think we'll take a pause here. We'll we'll play, I think, tomorrow and probably beat that other enemy. So I think we corrected, based off of our observations, what would be useful here. I'm not a fan of having this many infinite kunai, but the fact that we were just not drawing them means that I had to bump the number. I think us having, like... 8 heals is probably fine. I'm hoping with Seek that we basically draw our queens out of the way, the bishops, Solar Arrival, maybe Knight's Jump, definitely Bad Breath. I don't really want to draw my infinite kunai. If I draw it, I draw it. Yeah, there's not too many things I want to Seek. I just want to potentially also... If I burn all my Queen's Arrivals before I get Prayer or Infinite Kunai, I could just return them back to my hand. The question is, do I want any of these new ones? I don't think I do. Because the Bull Rush was okay. But what's better than Bull Rush is having infinite cards, so not as interesting in that. It's more, do I feel like adding a projectile? We were fighting a lot of enemies where it was very annoying because I like, didn't have anything good to hit them with. But then again, we did add an Ancient's Gaze to go with our Black Hole. I like the Black Hole a lot. The fact that Ancient... Oh, Ancient Gaze only scales based off of Stranger Runes. That's fair. I guess that's why it's a one star. Yeah, Black Hole was useful because it stops them from splitting when we're in those like combat rooms where they just infinitely spawn. Bad Breath saved us many times. Morning was okay. Honestly, arguably, I could probably get away with less mornings. Like, the deck might run smoother if I just go down two cards. They're one of those ones that'll help if I mess up, but I don't want to draw a lot of them. Maybe five is okay. Alright, so let, let's, see, let's see if this smooths out our combo draw a little better. But probably next time. Let's quit for now. So I guess thoughts and feelings on it. I do feel bad about doing the uh, the one card that dumped our entire hand. 
We had literally everything we needed to beat the boss. And, uh, unfortunately, we tried drawing infinite kunai. I think that was... I think I lost track after 17 Exhum 3s. 17 Exhum 3s did not pull our infinite kunai from the graveyard. That was painful. That was really painful to not get it back. Because I'm like, that's all you need to stabilize. Because, like, with infinite kunai, you just hit, like, random furniture, and you dupe cards. So if you need five stranger cards to draw three from the graveyard but you always gain more stranger cards when using infinite kunai then it's like you could just draw out your entire graveyard and you essentially don't ever want to use the graveyard <laughs> or you don't ever want to do the thing where you restore your card count so we've seen the power of it it is a bit unfortunate as we learned in this session i don't know if that was always true when we played or if it was more true like halfway through when we we're playing but the fact that like we can't mourning to get our ability back is a bit sad so i was hoping we could at least mourning to retrieve mourning kind of things but alas i guess the actually there's one more thing i can double check i'm gonna boot it up one more time I want to see if there's any more quests from the stranger, because I don't think we got the thing for mastering it. Let's just very briefly go back. I don't plan on doing another run, though. Where is my full screen? There it is. Let's go check it out real quick. Oh. <laughs> it did the thing where I hit start with the, the keyboard, so it won't let me use the controller. Okay, so what I what I just want to double check is for the location of the stranger. Did the quest update? Let's take a look. I think it's enter to talk to him. All right, so he's just telling me to beat the server at the top. Okay, so I think Friday slash technically later this evening, we're gonna go ahead and I guess beat the game. Then we might see what the Guide Maiden wants, and then beat the game again. I don't think there's anything else to really do. And we'll probably give our final thoughts, assuming that doesn't take super long. It's probably going to be about an hour of setup to make sure that the Stranger... I kind of want to win with the Stranger deck. Technically, I guess I could do a hybrid of Traveler-Stranger to get, like, nonsensical poppies of things returned over and over. So like, in theory, if I got an Adrenaline, I could keep cycling that over and over if I wanted to. But oh well. I don't know. I'll think about it. But for now, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.